Hi, hi. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, hi. I hope you're all doing incredible today or tonight, whatever it is for you. Hey, PQ, Heaven Arnunta, Andika, Ame, Void, Bush, Yash. Lurkers, VOD watchers, I see you. Watching this three months later, a year later. Tell us the secrets of the future. Hey, EJ. Yeah, this is the stream. <laughs> this might be a long one. So, what should we do? Why should we do our sleep shaft? Who's gonna cover my sh sleep shafts? Literally, I think you can just call in. If you're, if we're all the doctor, right? Because we all play Arknights. <laughs> if we're all the doctor, we can just have our operators do work. Right? Right? <laughs> hey, Maple. But for real, if you need rest, please, please get that. <laughs> I, I'll be here. The VOD will be here. <laughs> Please take care of yourselves. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that quality. Let me raise this. So I didn't find story time. I didn't find a full playlist with everything. And, and so I made one that I think is in release order. That's what we'll stick with. And it starts with a flame avenue. And okay, I'll do my best to react a bit more the stream and I, I'm so interested in finding out more about the characters and I, I guess seeing a different side of Arknights than I have before. According to my doctor's license, sleeping is meant to be good. It's meant to be though, literally. Is it actually? Is it actually? Is it, Or the CN songs? I think it's just, I think it's just global for now. But, but yeah, if we get through, I can pull up the CN songs too. Okay. What kind of music do you listen to? I, okay, I listen to a lot of things, ignored, <laughs> oh hi Kai, <laughs> it's great to see you, but yeah, every Arknight song, and there there are a lot of them, so we'll just dive right in, <laughs> I'll try and answer chat as we go too, and be sure that the audio works, okay, <gasps> but yeah, oh already, <laughs> very, like rock heavy, like intense, like intimidating. I wonder, I wonder who's associated with this song. <laughs> no chocolate. <laughs> oh, also, there may be some flashing lights in these. Very bright colors. Oh, I love those. Is that counterpoint? It's not counterpoint. It's like the harmonies. <laughs> That's one thing I love in Newsark. Ah, oh, whoever's playing this. <laughs> I imagine a band recording in a garage. They're going. They're going off. <laughs> Those high notes. I don't know what this is called. Like the, the, the sequence of notes. It's not a major key or a minor key. It has like different jumps. I really like it though. Alive until sunset. Oh, it's an in <laughs> an in-game rock band. Everything is canon. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> this might be my favorite part of the song. It's like it's slowly building. And it's like confident, but also like maybe the perfect song to start a reaction to. <laughs> AUS best band, so real. <laughs> Do they have a lot of songs then in game? Oh, Obsidian Festival? No way. The first Arknight side story. You get to choose between three songs to be the event's background theme. And you get band furniture. That sounds incredible, Andika. <laughs> I actually really like this. It kind of hit me in the face at the beginning. I wasn't expecting it, but <laughs> it's growing on me. <laughs> I wonder if any of this like band's music has lyrics. We must go louder. Oh, okay, I'll turn it up a bit. Yeah, please let me know as we go if, if anything's too loud or too quiet. <gasps> Incredible. And that was a flame avenue alive until sunset. That was so good. I. I just want to say, before we dive into the next one, I'll give like a rating. I think, okay, out of five stars, I think I'd say like three or four because it's the first song. It's probably higher. Oh, there's one called Alive with Lyrics. Wait, I'm so, I'm so excited. Yes, later songs of words. Four is growing to become everything fan. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just kind of see, I don't know. I love when people who really like something can show me why they like it. Because then that thing is, I don't know, even more special. <laughs> it's like reverse show and tell, you know? 
This is Ready Here by DDD Here. Oh, wait, it's this song. The one song I probably already heard. <laughs> Growing. I am not a plant. I cannot reiterate that enough, chat. Oh, oh, no worries, Nitha. Please take care. This, this song is so smooth. I think that's one thing that I can't deny about most of the songs in the game. Especially, I wonder if the, the, the shop, like the store theme will be in this playlist. I just kind of added a lot and made sure they were in order. But for I can go picker. <laughs> Why do you want me to take your car? I will take care, Nupta. <laughs> but yeah. It's so, it's so like immersive. I feel like I should be listening to this in like the, the five or 60 headphones. What are those called? Surround sound. <laughs> this would be so good in surround sound. Oh, DDD is the second choice. Oh, a DJ. I see, Amdika. But yeah, this song slaps so hard. <laughs> I love how, I love how gacha games seem to be, <laughs> seem to be so good at making music, regardless of how good the story is or if it's like, I don't know, a little wordy at times. The songs just go so hard. <laughs> Every time. Oh, what game you have more fun in for streams? Oh, like a favorite game, Kyer? Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> I think, I think I have a soft spot for Reverse 1999, I'll be honest, but they've all been so fun, like seeing more of Arcanites in the best and getting closer to the end game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that vocal track in the background. I haven't really reacted much to this song since I've already heard it a bit. Oh yeah, you get to choose from one of three BGMs for this event back when it came out. I love that, that choice that they made, Terrible. Also, hi. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> but yeah, if there are other BGM choices that, that pop up as we go through, please feel free to let me know. Okay, I'll be honest. It's a really good song. Why, I've heard it so much. I've got to give it like middle of the road, like three out of 10 or three out of five. We're going out of five. Or I could do five out of 10. Five out of 10. <laughs> and, and like a good song, a good song. This one's Not Your Business Part 2 by Emperor. So this is the Penguin. This is Penguin Logistics. Emperor. Unfortunately, Obsidian is the only event that does this. That's rough. Maybe someday <laughs> we can dream. Other B BGMs maybe. Oh, but not selectable. Okay. Also, literally, you shortened your name. <laughs> oh, wow. It's above mid. <laughs> But, but compared to everything else dancing, this game is already incredible with the BGM. <laughs> hey, Anne, welcome, welcome. I love this, like, it has attitude almost. And that, like, lower, it almost feels like creaking or, like, breathing in the background. That's keeping the beat. Is it, is it on the off beats? And, like, the vocals, too. Is that Emperor? The, like, distortions here remind me of Splatoon. <laughs> Platoon music. It almost feels like spacey too. Or like very wide. It has attitude. <laughs> Basically Emperor in a nutshell. So true. So true. I want to see more of Emperor. Maybe it's inside stories. Maybe it's on the main story. I want to see Emperor get the spotlight sometime. People are screaming. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, penguin rapper. So incredible. It feels very... I could imagine someone rapping over this. Or I wonder what this song is like for in the game. If this is maybe another... It wouldn't be Menu. It could be Menu. Is this the theme of Emperor? <laughs> if you like Emperor, then you must love our April Fool's event. Is there a way to still play that? <laughs> to still play that on my... I think I've heard a little bit about it. If I can't play it, I'll have to go like find it somewhere. I could find a, a YouTube video. I think Emperor has two songs. Oh, but I may have missed one. I wonder if there's a part one. I didn't see it on the, like the EN, the Global Arcanites channel, but when the Mafia event reruns, you get to see him featured in the single hardest CG in the entire game. Okay. Okay. 
That's so exciting. I think I will rate this one a 7 out of 10. It's really good. I'm expecting there to be even better songs, though. Again, all the Arknight songs are really good. It's like in comparison to each other. Oh, you can play it again once April Fool's comes again. Is it the same April Fool's event every year? Oh, and this one's Code of Raw. DJ Okawati. The drones. I love this little animation. Like the live 2D. It's very chill. Oh, and lyrics. So, is this the Penguin Logistics song? Oops, copyright. Is this one copyright? Let me scroll down. I see shorts remixing. This is copyright. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Also, I... Karas... 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 You don't get struck, I think. Oh, but we'll get claimed. Okay. That's rough. Maybe I'll just skip this one. Ugh, 93 videos. Okay, this one is the animation music video, Untitled World. A music streaming caring about copyright. Well, the thing is, Kai, it's... It's Arknights. So not all of the songs are cop copyrighted, but some of them are. Another copyright? Wait. <laughs> Time to open a new stream. Okay, this one's short. Is this one copyrighted? Music reaction? Yeah. Just say, oh, Kappa. It's more convenient. Okay. Hey, Kappa. Hey, Matery. And welcome, Bloody. <laughs> if this one's copyrighted, I think I'll react. This is so short. We can react to the animation. So like all of these, something was moving, like a caravan or something. I ate Kappa. <laughs> this reminds me of the Undertides. Yeah, it's like the Medicine Ward in Rhode Island. I know. I'll keep four legs to live in danger. The animation is so good. And that's Liskarm. I wonder if I've seen the story for this. Which chapter this could be. Oh, I think we have. I think I saw, was that Papukar? <laughs> With the, the chainsaw. So this is us against... This is like chapter 4 and 5, right? Been kind of busy these past few days. Oh, no worries, Maiduri. Also, the animation quality. And this is when Amiya has that moment. Like with... Yeah. And everyone's freezing. Oh, chapter 5. That's Blaze. And here's the moment with... With Chan. The confrontation. Chapter 6 fight. I love... All these visuals... Like the people like chained up and floating. This is so pretty. I could see this being the anime like opening or ending, honestly. Okay, I'll unmute. I think the rest shouldn't be copyrighted. Chapter six fight. Oh, any song. Oh, is this Rayona? I oh, it is. I didn't realize. <laughs> Play fleeting wish. <laughs> and next we have. Boiling blood. We're unmuted. But the last song, anything by Rayona is just incredible, I think. I, I'd i say like a solid seven and a half out of 10. This one's okay. Blaze theme. The Blaze PV. The hive mind brought me. Oh, welcome nut. Welcome, welcome. Again, the animation is so pretty. And it's very like up in your face with the beats. I love how Ami is like looking back to. It, this makes me think of that, like the time when Blaze jumped out of the helicopter or like the flying transport onto the roof. And it was like the Mephisto fight. The epic animations versus the normal gameplay and cutscenes. Yeah. <laughs> this looks so much better than the end game cutscenes. <laughs> like that moment when <laughs> would recommend Untitled World just for listening off stream. Okay, Bush. Thanks, thanks. Hey, L bound. <laughs> so good. Oh, and I see the lyrics are over there. Nothing to lose. It feels very, like, free. Like, Blaze is very, like, outgoing or extroverted. And doesn't really have care in the world. At least doesn't seem to. Like, like a steamroller or something that, that can't be stopped. Like a bowling ball. <laughs> Hey, Mag. Also, Blaze is extra badass because she's a Rhodes Island elite operator. Yeah, it's such a vibe. Taking what's mine. Yeah, very, like, self-confident. And not in, like, an overconfident way. But, like, like, knowing who you are and your strengths. 
and yeah, <laughs> like being skilled and confident, you know? I like a lot of the Russian songs from Arknights. <gasps> oh, that's right. I saw some like, I think it was Cyrillic and some song titles. Well, she's an elite operator and all elite operators are on another level. So true. I, I need to go back and look at like the, the sheet that shows all of the departments that everyone works on and groups, like how they all connect. And I think it's in the archive, the archive in game. But I wonder who the other elite operators are. I'm gonna hype at certain songs. You're so real for that, literally. Oh, speaking of elite ops, who are your favorites? Also has big sister energy. No, for real. Absolutely. Oh, logos. I'm gonna wait for logos. I don't know. Have I seen logos? I feel like I have. Logo sweep. <laughs> oh, I like Mechanist a lot. So many to look forward to. I still, like, I'm not new to the game, but I haven't gotten a lot of, like, six stars or elite operators. Mechanist looks sick. Oh, a giraffe is fun. I think I have seen giraffe at some point, like, watching the PVs. Still waiting for Radiant to appear. Oh, Christina V is the singer in Blaze's VA. No way. That's actually kind of crazy. I love when the VAs sing their own songs. I, I know Reverse 1999 does that a few times, but uh, also the Rhodes Island sign. I love these lights in the background. I wonder if this is among them. You heard Awakened. I wish they released logos. <laughs> soon, Mag. Soon. That was very... That was so good. Like, very energetic in your face in a really good way and like you're it felt like I was driving you know like the music you listen to late at night if you're driving you have a long trip maybe through a city <laughs> that's the vibe I'm getting eight so true she sang this before she became the VA for plays also hi Brum <gasps> that's incredible that's actually that's kind of crazy how that happened I want them to re release Allerdale so badly <sighs> soon soon Christina V does a few for Arknights. They're all good. So hype. And this next one is Timeless. I think out of 10 for the for the Blaze theme song, I'd say a solid 8 out of 10. Like, really, really good. I also think there are even better songs too. But yeah, the singing, the singing really took it home for me. Oh, this animation style is so pretty. Is that Beagle? Beagle and Cruz. These are like all their three stars. <laughs> That's so nice. And the twins, Lava Hibiscus. I love that so much. Boiling Blood is good, but there are better. Also the little, the banners in the background with the plushies. One of the, oh, Chinese New Year celebration songs, if I recall correctly. The Wrathful Cerulean Flame. <laughs> I really like, I love that like traditional music. Like Eastern traditional music. I there's like a melody or like a, a key that a lot of those songs are played on. I think they're so pretty. Ancient Forge of an of an theme. I don't know if I played Ancient Forge yet. Oh, about nine to ten elites are revealed. Wrathful Cerulean Flame is a spoiler song. <laughs> oh, I see Umber. I feel like at least with the PVs before. There haven't been too many big spoilers. I love how this song has like, it, it has so many little things going on. Like, it's like, like traffic passing by. Like sometimes there's a lot of it, sometimes there's not as much. It has that sort of random flow, but it's, but it's still flowing. I really like that. New Year, yeah. <laughs> how far are you in the main story? Oh, last boss you can remember. Who was our last boss? I think it might have been. It's not Frostleaf. It's it's the other. Oh no, it's it's past that. The last one we fought. Is it Mephisto? It might have been Mephisto. At like the end of chapter six. I think I actually got stuck on a boss fight because I was underleveled. Not a spoiler if you don't know the context. <laughs> so true magazine. Frost Nova. Yes. Chapter six Frost Nova. Oh, that's Vigna down the stair. Also, their portraits are so nice. Oh, is that Vigna at the very bottom? Oh, that's right, Vigna and... Vigna and... It's not Moose, is it? 
there's another operator who's like a healer with another plushie. I didn't notice that the first time. Lee's theme is goaded. <laughs> also, those guitars. The way they're like... I love... It sounds like thirds almost. Thirds playing together. I love that used in music. Oh, there, there's like hibiscus and lava together. And then down at the very back. Like here. To the right. <laughs> I think it's Vigna at the very bottom of the stairs. And maybe, maybe Moose? But yeah, they're, they're kind of hard to see, kind of small. And the, the, the piano, it's like, it's so like airy and, and, and floaty. Also the stars and Beagle's eyes. This might be the most excited I've ever seen Beagle. Oh, Mer, it is Mer, not, <laughs> it's not Moose. The healer is Mer. Yeah, Moose has like orange and white hair, right? Yeah, and Mer has glasses. That's right. But, but yeah, this is like a celebration song that feels like funky <laughs> and groovy. I like the like sort of swing beat. Like almost jazz too. Mer. Mer de. Hey, you'll train I hi, hi. Hope you're doing super great today. Also, is there a reason that Cruz always like keeps her eyes closed? I feel like we've talked about this before. I, I remember someone saying that in like one of the official art books, Cruz's eyes are open and they're like green. Also, there's a cute Sona banner on the back. Oh, oh, like, oh, you're right. I didn't see the name Sona. That's so, that's so fun. She opens her eyes, the world ends. <laughs> have I, have I seen the Cruz altar art? I don't know if I have. Just doesn't want people seeing her eyes. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> that, I think I'd give that like middle of the road too, like five and a half out of ten. It's not bad. I could honestly, that feels like the song I would listen to like, while working on something in the background. And next is Solitary Journey. Shared brain sale for real, for real. So real. So real. I want to see more lava hibiscus interactions, honestly. Tired, funny. <laughs> and... Cruise is so real for that. So ominous, the puddles. It's like a reflection. I wonder if we'll see. And shoes. I love the cinematography in a lot of this. Like, even though there's only like one animated scene, the camera angles still manage to make it seem more than just an animated picture that we're watching. Oh, it's KOP. KOP moment. KOP just out here. I wonder if this is Rhodes Island because there are all those like yellow and black lines on the buildings. Oh no, there's Orogenium like poking out of the ground in the back. First time hearing this one. Oh wow, this is not the real Kei Chan song. <laughs> oh, my favorite operator. KOP. KOP made. Nice, nice. <laughs> but yeah, it's very ominous. And the voices. Those like. They remind me of the Attack on Titan song. That one Attack on Titan song. If you know what I'm talking about. KOP has a unique OEP in Japan server only. Sung by Japanese VA. I'll make a note of this, Jensorox. Because I want to react to that eventually too. If there are any I I've missed. Oh, also the music's getting loud. If there are any I've missed. Please let me know. KOP, very nice five stars. <laughs> So true. And it feels so like I got in cinematic. The music is like out of a movie. All these strings are so beautiful. Okay, KOB JP VA song. KOB one mushrooms. Oh, KOB six stars. I think this is like the second event in Arc Nights. Oh wow, we're going all the way back. Yeah, these are in cr chronological order. So we'll be moving our way slowly to the present. <laughs> Which I'm excited for. All Honey Biscuit shall be surrendered to KOP. <laughs> and the way that the, the opera goes up and some of the like, bass notes go down. And the counterpoint of this is so good. <laughs> this KOP edible. <laughs> Everything is edible. Everything in her sight is edible. W where? <laughs> Does W have a song? 
We'll see W eventually, maybe. Well, I know she's a six star. Oh, I'm at five out of five stars. Oh, <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, on the close up. This is really nice. Like the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Kaobi's expression is so. <laughs> head empty. No thoughts. <laughs> no thoughts, head empty. I'm sorry. Or like horrifying, about to eat you. Oh, W has a wrap. When you're out of honey biscuits, honey berries in danger. <laughs> yeah, honey berry, just just stay stay over there. Stay in your dorm until Kaobi has a chance to eat something. <laughs> Fangers song, so real extended. Incredibly, yeah, long laces. Those are so, I feel like long laces are so fun to tie, but also they're kind of a pain. <laughs> oh, love sweets, and yes, no thoughts, head empty is pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I've seen much of KOB yet. Oh, Renegade is W's theme. I love these zooms. <gasps> and they're in, in time with the music. This reminds me a lot of Reverse. Some of the, the soundtracks we've heard that are associated with like the the antagonists, the man has been dictator. That's what these strings and guitars sort of remind me of. Maple with the real song. <laughs> My explosive mommy's theme. Oh wow. But so nice. And that's... That was so... It, it almost felt like it was intimidating. It had highs and lows. And it was almost like, re like not relaxing, meditating, meditative to listen to. I had, I actually really liked that one. I'd give it an eight also. I, I'm i scared of giving any songs like a huge, <laughs> a huge score so early. And the next one is Hometown Wind. I don't get W people. <laughs> They're a different breed for real, literally. And they're very real for that. We gotta put some specifications on what qualifies. Ooh. Oh, also, this animation, the yellow flowers, moving forward into the light, bagpipes. <laughs> Chat, we're in Scotland. Or is it Switzerland? We're in Northern Europe somewhere. Is that a Celt too? <laughs> Time to plant some potatoes. Oh, Honey Funny Days is KOBJP song, but please check copyright, okay. Thank you. I'll make a note of that. Time for potato farm. <laughs> Jot, if you're from Ireland, rise up. <laughs> this is your this is your time. <laughs> oh, it's so I love how the birds are animated and the leaves too. The hair looks so good also. <laughs> Scotland forever. <laughs> Scotland forever. That's forget I said that. There was there was no horrible accent for me. Oh, Oh, it's not Irish. If you're from Scotland, rise up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Void. I don't know why. I don't know why my first instinct was Irish. I. I've learned. Oh, no, Irish is reads the him. Bagpipe is Scottish. I see. Wait, and who's this? Who's this operator? Reminds me of what's heavier: a kilogram of steel or a kilogram of. A feed. I've been lied to. Where's my potato? Sorry, no potatoes, only bagpipes. <laughs> Ireland is not real. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Ireland's definitely not real. <laughs> Wait, this is bagpipe. This is. I... <laughs> this is the operator named Bagpipe. That's incredible. <laughs> the bagpipe ever. For real, for real. I want to consume potato. Oh, bagpipe. Uh, an operator from Victoria. I see you, I see you. Do I have bagpipe? I'm not sure I do. But yeah, the animation is so pretty. It's very, it feels very like proud and, and almost like, like I would hear this in a JRPG. I could see bagpipe in her own JRPG, honestly. I want to grow potatoes. This is the first time ever that a Scottish song has turned an entire group of people in chat into potato farmers. <laughs> I never thought I needed to hear Forrest say feathers in their best Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, now you have void. Just, just don't clip that. Give me all of the potatoes. <laughs> oh, and here, we're moving. I love the dynamic camera. It's so, it's so nice. I, I think this is the most polished animation we've seen so far. So beautiful. Absolutely chill. Yeah, I would listen to that on like a road trip or something. Not, not like the sing-along songs on a road trip, but like in the afternoon when it's already been a long day on the road and you're all just kind of vibing. Maybe you're on your phones, maybe you're napping. This is the song in the background. Yeah, Volt Song vibes. Don't clip that. <laughs> wait, wait, no. But Gazing from Great Heights is next. I, I'll give our, our bagpipe song. I mean, it's bagpipe. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. <laughs> I'm sorry, the fact that Bagpipe's name, or codename is Bagpipe, is incredible to me. <laughs> don't clip that, the clip channel. Um, I please don't start that. Oh, also, this is Ursus. So this is like the, the Slavic group, right? It's very patriotic. <laughs> it's like, like Yankee Doodle or something. This song, wait, and I see the static too. Is this propaganda? This feels like, or not propaganda, but like a government making their music. Oh no, PTSD growing. Oh, Victorian military operators have in instruments as code names. Oh, I see. Oh, these are the Slavic group. I don't see Silver Ash. Yeah, it's Ursus. Also, hi, Jean Riel. Oh, an Arknight's brain cell. Very nice. Nothing happens on Ursus. Oh, on school, by the way. I wonder who that is reading in the background. Is this an Ursa school? They're all like at the top, or like an observatory or a boat. Silver Ash is not Ursus. <laughs> Wait, also these, these feathers. It's like, I have to pause. The way this song is so happy, and it like, it, it shows us some glitches, some static, some like other disturbing imagery. That's, that's the most horrifying part. Oh, Silver Ash is more like Switzerland. There is no war in Passing Say. Oh, that's Istina. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> There's Gummy in the back. <laughs> Very wholesome story. Which side story is this? You'll understand if you play Children of Ursus event. Yeah, these, wait, these visuals. This is like, this is like those animes that are so horrifying. <laughs> and all, that's terrifying. The glitches. This event was hard to read. I had to stop for snacks because it riled my appetite. Also, hi, Eggy. <laughs> I'll have to play this soon. This is so, like, beautiful in a music video sense, but in the static, in the fire, it's horrifying. I wonder what all the feathers mean. I know, like, ashes were rising into the air, but it's a horror series. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Matasa. Yeah, Arknights is really a horror game. The more I play, the more I realize. Gummy has a habit. I don't know what that means. Fun fact, this event has an audio drama CD set. Is that JP? Does it kind of remind me of that one anime about a group of girls in a school? we are definitely not going through a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> it's like, yeah, in your own little world. <laughs> when you're all together, when you have a, a class meeting with the officer team. <laughs> It's, it's all fine and dandy. It doesn't matter what's going on outside. So do yourself lucky. Chop, chop. Oh, there are translations. I see. Oh, it's decent. <laughs> I'll try it eventually then, bloody. Also, welcome, welcome. Oh, what they eat though. It's a horror game for the enemies. That has me so intrigued. They're not yet ready, but they dream of a better future. This feels very, like, promotional, if not, like, propaganda, at the very least, promotional. <laughs> this is a PR video that's horrifying. The CD drama's been released all for free on Arknight's JP Official. Let me make a note of this, too. Okay. But yeah, okay, out of this, I think the music video pushes this to a 9 for me. Out of, <laughs> out of 10, it's... It's disturbing. It wasn't necessarily my favorite song ever, but I, I'm writing the whole thing, presentation. 
oh, Kirag has a lot of Nepal influences. It's like the setting of, oh, it's set around the Himalayan mountains. And also Kadan is sort of like Everest. Their culture has a ton of Nepalese influence. Remember, no cannibalism. Is that what Gummy does? <laughs> it's Gummy a cannibal. This next one is Lily of the Valley. But at least I has four and five days. Yes, Eki. <laughs> I'm so hyped. I'm bored. I just finished building Taiwan. And Hodera is coming soon. The cat. The cat silhouette. I'm assuming. We're like dog. Why do you think... <laughs> Why do you think Gummy cooks so well? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, it was a cat. This is so pretty. Cat elevates my rating instantly. The music is so ethereal, too. It's like, like you're hanging in suspense and you don't know what the outcome will be. Like you're drifting back and forth between good and bad. It's edible, it's a food. <laughs> Do I, is this, let's be chill. Oh, I can't even be diced too. <laughs> is this Suzeran? Oh, I see, Suzeran. Oh. I, I love Susanad's outfit. It's so... I think it'd be so fun to cosplay. It's like it has that shawl that sort of looks like moth wings. Oh, and now it's picking up. I wonder where we are. If you drop the emote, I'm, I'm dragging you down. But, and now it's like picked up. It has this rhythm. Oh, wow. It, so it was floating for a while, and now it's like we're locked in. I wonder about Susanad. And like what the story is. Oh, Susadon also had a unique EP for JP. Okay, I'm making note of this. Thank you so much, Rox. They put Aggie on the list. <laughs> I wonder, I see a lot of flowers and plants too. So I wonder how these are related. And like the cat is looking at Susu and Susanon's mother is, oh, a Syracusean mafia boss. Also, hi, cool. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. All, <laughs> all the crying emotes in chat. They should be on a list. Okay, of smiles. Oh, why do I get the, the feeling this is also a really sad story? Is this, does this have anything to do with Texas Alter's story? And like that event? I wonder if Suze is involved. The JP song is named Okay of Smiles. Oh, okay. Thanks, thanks. Susie's father is a Higashi monk. Wow. The, the, the juxtaposition of like one parent being a monk and the other being a mafia boss. And this switch up. The piano too. The little noises like static or electronic. Like the synth waves. It's like we're, it feels like floating. Like we're on a boat. Like they're coming, like, it's almost like waves that are coming closer and moving away, or a tide coming in and out, unrelated to Texalter. Oh wow, there are so many mafias, <laughs> gangs, and Arcanites. Do me a favor and feed nuggets to Meatlander. <laughs> Maybe that seems like a little much, literally, but who knows? Oh, my my mistake. I mean, our light. So the cult of Susu is a meme. Oh, this transition is so good. I, this is the sort of song I wish would be like as a menu theme. It's so pretty here. Ah, oh, we're crying because Susu is our light of salvation. <laughs> the mom and dad are still alive and still keep in touch with Susu. She's so wholesome. Is Susu really wholesome? Or is it growing too fast? <laughs> we're gonna get forgotten. I'll never forget you, Kai. <laughs> You're all so memorable. Oh, so the cult is a meme where she appeared to be unknowingly and unintentionally starting to have a cult form around her. <laughs> People took it a bit far. That's so funny. I'm gonna, oh, be straight. The song sounds mad to me. I get that magazine. It's not for everybody. I I can definitely appreciate it. I really like it, but I also see how it could be seen as sort of slow. But, but yeah, it feels like the sort of song I'd put in my playlist and like work to. I love this part. It's so quiet and peaceful. The like suspense between these piano chords. Also, Suzu's name is Lisa. Full fighting. <laughs> Just more fun to be. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. Oh, that visual effect. The tail's turning, like, holographic. Or, like, ghost-like. Where did this come from? <laughs> Hypergriff is very aware of this cult. Is this cult leader, Zuzu? It's skill three. That's incredible. The way that they incorporated this. I don't know if it was intentional, like, with the song or added after. Like, the animation was made after the song or if they were made alongside, but... Oh, that's so visceral. Little little kitsune, so real guns. I'm with Ame. <laughs> oh, no worries. That's, and like the beat is building again too. This song has so many phases. It's like, it's like it has everything, which makes me think that Suzu's story will also have maybe some quiet, sad parts. And then this feels like the climax, like the boss fight at the end. It's not the HR people who say our light. Somehow our mother's mafia members got their hands on her files. They added the addendums. Oh, really? That's, I don't know what to think of that, Aki. That's kind of horrifying. I'll have to go read because I have Suzu. I'll have to raise, I'll have to raise trust. Oh, but there are tons of funny comics where she's literally used as a light source. <laughs> but for your own sanity, I suggest you steer clear. Oh, of the more intense sections, okay. If any of you have recommendations for comics or like artwork, please feel free to send them in Discord. We have a whole like gotcha channel. <laughs> so, so yeah, the link is in the description. Remember Suzu versus The Rock. <laughs> Suzu versus Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Suzu would win, absolutely. <laughs> wait, you have Suzu? I think so, Void. Oh wait, or is it Susuru? This is an Eye of the Sus character. The one that people made like jokes about the name looking like Sus. Do I have Susan on? I'll have to go look again. Octodeco was like a really good comic artist. I'll, I'll make a note of this EJ. <laughs> Arknight does official side story manga that you can look at for free on their website. Okay. Thank you so much, Andika. I am making notes of this. Official side story and Octodeco. <laughs> oh, I have Susuro. <laughs> Not me confusing Susuro and, and Susuron. <laughs> Forget about that. <laughs> But for me, for me, this is like 8.05 or like, I'll give it an eight. It's really good. I, I understand it might not be everyone's opinion though. Our next one is zone 10 to the negative eighth degree. I think that's how I read that. Oh, Octodeco is, is great. A thousand percent recommend. Best comic artist for Arknights. Oh, it's Ethan. That was such a smooth animation. And Ethan has... Ethan's so real for wearing the, <laughs> the earbuds. All the imagery, like the telephone and everything. The like writings on the wall. I wish we saw more of Ethan. This is also giving such Jujutsu Kaisen for me. <gasps> There's nobody there. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anybody. There's there's no one here. <gasps> and okay, that transition, like smooth beats to the music. It's very like like futuristic, like synth wave. I also love the dark, the black light showing more images on the walls. This is about, I don't see anybody in the frame. <laughs> I'm not really into this one. Oh, I get that on me. Oh, the look at me. I wonder if the pink and blue writing means something. Like if different people wrote those. Invisible graffiti artist. Wait, that's perfect because Ethan can just become invisible, but can also, like, can make visible graffiti or invisible graffiti. That'd be so clever. Like, maybe don't, I can't advocate for people to go break laws, but making, like, invisible graffiti with the sort of paint that, that doesn't show up unless it's shown under a dark light, that could be so creative. Is that an Among Us in the back? <laughs> Wait, I think I might've missed that. There might be. Uses the invisible invisible ability to prank people. But I can break laws. <laughs> I love how like the subway transition works. It's so oh that is an Among Us with like a tongue and a mouth. <laughs> oh wait, no, that the one like to the left. You're so right. Good eye. <laughs> but yeah, it's so smooth and like it it, it also feels very like not an arcade. What would this be? Almost even like a horror, like Stranger Things, but like Synthwave or something. Yeah, that's amazing. 
Oh, CC music is the best, CC. Oh, CC Pyrite, the best song. Fight me. <sighs> oh, I also love these higher synths too. It's like, it's also like, it's a representation of like the surface and what's below. I wonder if Ethan has like a very, like a deep inner story that no one sees and it's like invisible to other people. Maybe it's by choice, maybe it's for some other reason, but I wonder if Ethan's been overlooked in the past. That's just the theorist in me. Oh, CC Pyrite is Arcanite's anthem as well as Golden Age. I've heard so much about Golden Age, which I think we heard during the last reaction stream. Also, I hide inside. Ethan's a cutie. So true. I love Ethan's big zipper. That might be one of my favorite design choices. Ethan's an axe for Union Ghost. That's right, Eggie. I remember a few of you were telling me about this. I, I want to know more about Ethan as a character. Also, Ethan was so clutch during that one IS2 run. And it's like the tone has changed to, to more like hopeful or positive notes too. I did one pull on the new banner and got an Evan Hulls. <laughs> Literally, you're stuck with Evan, whether you like it or not. The Golden Age will return again. Bowling alley lighting, no for real bush. Yeah, the like, I think it's so funny how bowling alleys have the, the most whack animations. <gasps> Ethan's eyes are open. The way Ethan, Ethan's eyes opened at the end. That was, that was so good. Why would I dislike it? <laughs> He's my husband. That's right, literally. <laughs> good for you. I'm not jealous at all. Hey, Dusty, I made a solid 51 pulls in the span of four days. Struggling to get Typhoon. <laughs> I still don't have a Typhoon. I, I've kind of saved a few. I don't have a ton of pulls though. I got Passenger. Oh no. <laughs> Hands off my man. Ah, fine, literally. You can have Evan. But oh, I don't have Rosa, so I mastered both skills. I had to use all my recourses to get Typhoon 170 pulls. <laughs> That's so many. I, I wish you all the best gotcha luck, everybody. So the rating, I thought that was very smooth. And like, again, sort of like a Zen state, like meditative song to listen to. You could work and study. I'll give it a six and a half. Like really good. I think we can still do better. This is Curtain Call. Passenger's a true god. <laughs> do not slander. <laughs> That's right, who's slandering Passenger? Also, again, speaking of horror, the candles, the cinematography, the like, piano notes that are oh and those ominous like dissonances and the, the way the candles light up with the percussion are those hands or no that's like coattails phantom theme is this phantoms is this is2 <laughs> also oh it's phantom i did 300 on ling and 300 against texas banners oh Eki. i think the most i rolled was 280 that's so many they gave me the boss killer. I love how we're slowly revealing these outfits. It's more of like a gradual thing. Oh, those notes are so good. It's like very magical, ac academic. This outfit is incredible. Ah, oh, that transition. 300's enough for hard pity. Lucy and the Blood Diamond. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> I see it literally. I want to know so much about Phantom's story. It seems like Phantom is the protagonist of some other story I know nothing about. I still have to clear IS2. It's been, it's been rough. <laughs> but, oh, and that piano, the angles, it's the angles that are doing it for me. And like the lights, <sighs> reflection. This feels the most, like the song was made for the animation. Can you hear hints of the Phantom of the Opera main theme? Oh, the late motif. People were pointing that out during the our IS2 run. Terrible. Yeah, I wonder how many like other references I miss with Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> the Phantom doesn't know either. Ever oh, since Neon and Scotty altar banners happened, oh, before my time, it was on purpose. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. 
I guess you hadn't been released at the time when this EP was out. Really? Now I'm even more curious about Phantom's character. The way that the music fades out and comes back. It's like, I would watch this movie. I would watch the anime movie about Phantom. Phantom holding hands with, oh yeah, with the cologne or reflection. So Phantom can kill people with his voice. Really? <laughs> yeah, hand holding in my YouTube stream. <laughs> the nerve. Honestly, it's like every operator is a protagonist in their own story. <laughs> I guess you're right, Matery. But I, I'm getting especially protagonist vibes here. Like, like the protagonist vibes that make you want to know their story. Your Arknight says, Bondo, if you have one. Oh, I haven't pulled for a lot of characters yet. Like, I'm still so, so new. I think I really like, I do like Elysium's design. I like Ebon's design a lot too. Didn't they delay Phantom Banner for Suzu event? But Suzu event had a stage that forced you to use Phantom. How cruel that would be. <laughs> Think carefully. <laughs> Literally for your sake. I'll, I'll just say, Ebon, you have a good taste for Ebon. <laughs> Elysium, <laughs> diamonds moment. Oh, do you use playlists to react? Yeah, what Ali, also hi hi. <laughs> I do. I had to make my own, though, because I didn't find one that had everything in release order. So it took a while. I thought the I thought the playlist I had was release order, but I made one this morning. I, I love the different waves of this song and how it shifts and like speed and tone and rhythm and tempo. Good taste, Evan. <laughs> yeah, Evan is just Evan's just built different, not going to lie. Oh, Phantom dropped after Suzu's event without anything. So, Phantoms was so cinematic, but it didn't feel... I think I'll give it like a six and a half or seven. Like, it's it's good. And it's not bad at all. There wasn't anything that, like, grabbed me. It felt like the, the stereotypical, maybe mystical, magical movie music. Oh, that was for your sake. <laughs> Oh, I see, literally. Whenever you hear of these event timing screw-ups, just play Meal Star. <laughs> so real, PQ. This is Renegade. Oh, it's Renegade. We're at Renegade. Probably the only one looking forward to that banner. <laughs> the rapping. I'll turn it up a bit. It's time. <gasps> nice, nice. W theme. This is incredible. It's a cockroach time. Big W. <laughs> <sighs> Incredible. Also spitting bars. The stewards is real small. <laughs> Cockroach moment. The granny one. <laughs> I wonder. <gasps> also, we do hear W singing. Literally huge W. Lift my life. I still don't know much about W story. But this feels very like on in character. <gasps> and the transition. That's perfect. I need to see an animatic for this. I need to see someone animate this. The song was nominated in the Hollywood Music Awards beside LOL Music and other games. No way. <laughs> Deserved though. I'm really, did it win anything? The only thing I've got to know. This is so catchy. <gasps> Very nice. Dark Knight's memoir is her story event. I'll make a note of playing Dark Knight soon. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it didn't win. Yes, the pose, the presence, it's so there. It's so good. I wasn't expecting. I think at the beginning it was like the rapper, and I wasn't expecting W's voice. <laughs> Gaslight Gatekeep gate, gate, Girl Boss, the song. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. But looks like, oh, W dance on YouTube. There's an animation. Okay. I'll look that up later. I, I don't know, coming from like a blind perspective to the story, it feels so, like W doesn't care whose side she's on, it's very, like as long as W is in charge of her own story, and like, again with that, like the confidence that Blaze has, I wouldn't be surprised if W was an elite operator, a leak song one I think, <sighs> League of Legends, 
a league. Oh, yeah, the Rhine Labs logo. Also, yeah, those billboards in the background. I'll use on one person's side. One person's side. A merc after all. I don't read much story. W is pretty cool. Interesting. So everything's for one person. It could be herself. Is it Crown Slayer? I don't know. Two birds on one head. <laughs> and yeah, a unique name, just W. Yeah, sometimes song lyrics. <laughs> Just kind of take it on you to understand what they mean. It's so good. I'm trying to read some of these billboards, like Hotel, Continental. I know there have been some logos in the background. Also the keys. The key lanyard. It's like W's a, a room monitor or something. You, like in college or like like dorms in general. Also, she actively wants to kill you, like us as doctor. I wonder why. This this song, other than just being like incredibly well put together, it makes me feel like I want to know more. <laughs> I want to know why. Also, this pose, the animations. It's like an anthem, I think. Oh, so good. Just don't eat when W gives you a potato. Is W Irish? Not that potatoes have to be from Ireland. W is interesting. Nothing good ever comes of her laughter, and she's always laughing. That, I think we'll give that one a 9 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> or I will. It was really good. And very, I think the closest to like a mainstream song that we've heard so far. And this one is Requiem. Reverse 1989 has X and Miss C. Arknights is W. <laughs> so where is a Y? Oh, 10 out of 10 coming up. The guitar. So pretty. Is this Ursus again? Or will we see Silver Ash, I wonder? Oh, seven. Oh, mysterious cool women. I love them. Oh, it's another Slavic. Is this Russian? Frostnova. No joking about the, <laughs> the landmine. All the O7s in chat. The Russian War Aftermatch song. Oh. We're smiling, glad of their release. I love the instrumentation. Is this like Bras Nova's goodbye? Yelena, no. When like, oh, the O7s. Oh, Silver Ash is from Kirak, not Ursus. Thank you, PQ. Thank you. Love The imagery. Oh, the tattered like clothes too. So it's like after the conflict of some kind. And looking back, the symbol of reunion. Ah, the guitar playing. The, like, classical acoustic guitar. And the chanting, or like the, the group singing. That's so good. It's a beautiful song to end a tragic story. Oh, oh the harmonies are so good. And it's like, it's the beautiful but ominous harmony. Oh. Listening to my delirium. Oh, sevens. Oh, it's all the same one singing. This is all one person. Just remember that human body is 37 degrees. Hi, how am I? I'll have to keep that in, in mind. Oh, degrees Celsius. Is that why 37 is 37 in reverse 1999? Props to the people who love to read Arknight's lore. <laughs> it is so long. You're right, Mag. Now only dusty flowers. So yeah, this is after some... Oh, that's Frost Nova's adopted parent that we've sort of seen. That, open, that opening transition is so good. There are three songs sung in Russian, and all of them are so good. Still a contender for best song for me. Also, hi, Thang. Yeah, Saj. I wonder, like, whose perspective this is from? In Homer's style. I enjoy Arknight's lore, <laughs> but I admit it's it's a bit verbose. Yeah. I I need to go back and just read it all. Bye. Oh <laughs> enjoy your, your food run and that. <laughs> My body temperature is around 36.5. Oh it differs. But that's like an average or something. The high crocs decline. 
it's such a barren forest too. And how like, it's so airy. It's like the wind is singing, like the howling wind. Great river doesn't flow ahead. Oh, those, those bass notes are so good. And you're telling me one person sang all of this. Oh, all the little like details too. The way the guitars, oh. 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 Well, Trusky, the Wendigo. Is that this character's name? I don't remember. It's been a little while since I played the main story. Oh, Ludrokasti. Ludrokasti. Something like that. If you're interested in the lyrics, do look up Requiem by. Okay. Requiem by Anna. The lyrics are adapted from that poem. Oh, really? Patriots. That was so, that was so beautiful. I wish I knew how to play guitar. So real magazine. I know I don't have like access to a car, not a car, a guitar. <laughs> like now, but I'd love to play on stream someday. I know a little bit. Oh. That song was so pretty. I have that might be my first ten out of ten. Like it wasn't necessarily flashy or or any anything out of the ordinary, but oh, it just came together so well. Patriot, oh, it's Patriot. I see. Also, hi Twilight. I bought the pack with Chan for the song in my face. Oh, can you can you unlock this as BGM? It was so good. I wish Russians were real. <laughs> You're so real for that though, Kappa. Oh, is this the weedy song? Sparking, sparkling hydraulics is next. The bright colors. Oh, there's a hummingbird too. And the, the little logo. I'm not sure what to think of this. It almost feels like, I love the percussion. It's like, like real sounds. Like those. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. Oh, that's a seahorse. <laughs> Oh, you're right, it's not a hummingbird. I thought the tail was like a hummingbird's tail. The seahorse. And do I know much about Weedy? I don't know if I do. Do you know that seahorses, there's a furniture that plays Requiem. If you click it, it costs $30. Wait, I might kind of need that kappa. I'll have to, I'll have to make a note of that for someday. But I want to taste kind of salty. Oh, Weedy is a sea dragon. Very interesting. There's a furniture in the Chen pack that you can tap. Oh, I see, I see. I want Patriot to be my dad and my daddy. <laughs> Chad is so unhinged. But, oh, and the transition to the actual seahorse. So we're underwater. Again with the percussion. Are we deep underwater? I, I'm so curious about where we are. It also feels feels mechanical, like a submarine or a research base. Weedy's like one of the OG Rhodes Island members. Oh wow. I wonder if this is like this video shows like as the Rhodes Island caravan is traveling through water. Sea Dragon is just an Australian seahorse. Oh, people just don't want to accept the fact that she's a seahorse. <laughs> oh, I see bloody. <laughs> Oh, and the music's swelling. The way it all had a triumphant moment for a sec. I, this makes me really, it makes me picture like a very long journey with a lot of, a lot of momentum at times. You think killed would be enough to make it to die? Sterelia mentioned. <laughs> yeah, the, there are so many, there are so many people who show up sometimes from Australia. Also, hi, LP. <laughs> oh, she's not an OG OG, just a recruit from Iberia. Oh, so you're originally from Iberia. Weedy's a clean freak. I'm usually cleans up after closure. <laughs> oh, I see Andika. The animation is so pretty too. I wonder what all of those like, like the hair bands or hair ties remind me of like leaves or or almost ears, like bunny ears. 1 a.m. game. <laughs> Upside down game. Oh, it's basically watching her work as an engineer. Oh, I see. 
And that's like a lunchbox or something with, with like cans. Four is an Aussie magnet, apparently. <laughs> that's right, so many of you. I wonder if the seahorse shows up as, as part of Weedy's ability though. So, I love the animations, they're so good. Oh, not an OG OG. I suppose one of the older ones, more proper. Oh. For real though, she could probably cut her hair if she were an actual clean freak. <laughs> so, so like a mechanic who also does, who is also obsessed with cleaning a bet. I feel that. I feel that. Mechanical sea dragon or whatever. Yeah. I really like its animations. That was like a very short and sweet. It felt bad. Not bad. It felt good. Not bad. And... Yeah, it was good. <laughs> I think I'd give it like 5.5. Weedy gameplay is incredible. The only operator that can push a tanky enemy across the map with S3. I, I need Weedy. Do I have Weedy? I might already. Next is Abrio Solitario. The OGs of Rhodes are... The OG... True OGs of Rhodes are Calcet, Amia Locos, Ascalon Ace, Scout, Outcast, Misery, W, and Swordmaster. Wait, W? That sounds like a spoiler, but I'll forget I read that Matasa. <laughs> oh, it's Thorin's time. Wait. I'm so curious about Thorin's story. The Poison Blade. The animation, too. You can't push a dead enemy. So majestic. Incredible. Oh, Spanish Swordsman time. The Thornification. I love these guitars. I love... Is it called Spanish guitar as a genre? I love that genre. It's so... Ah, uh, it's like Gerudo Valley. Ah, uh, and the piano used as percussion to emphasize the notes. Corecoso ga Iberiano de Treza. I don't know what that, that means. Uh, no. Did you know that sea urchins? Oh, Thorns has historian IS3. Oh, it's an... I haven't tried IS3 yet because spoilers for Stultifer and others. I'll have to play it soon. Supreme Arts of Iberia. <laughs> so real. Oh, Spanish, please. Spanish. So good. Oh, and the, the chanting. I love the... I love the like, momentum that a lot of songs in, in this genre have. And the like thirds moving down. The horns are, are so good too. And the way percussion, it's like everything works into this larger rhythm. Ah, like like 16th notes are really common in these songs. Espanol, por favor. No, no me hablo espanol. Pero un poco. Un poquito de espanol. You hear this? People hear this song and say, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see, I see. The did you know message was, oh, cut off because I'd rather save you psychic damage. <laughs> but yeah, it's so, I love the melody too. It feels triumphant or I don't know what to think about, it, but I really enjoy it. Ah, oh, and those like the resolution and the chords. <laughs> By the way, Thornification is a meme where people edited thorns to become other operators. <laughs> That's so great, PQ. I'd love to see it. Thornification, so real. Oh, that was cute Spanish. <laughs> I don't know much. I know like, hola, como esta, que tal te fue la joy? Te fue la joy? Te fue joy or te fue la joy? How was your day? the spawns in random moments but i need to learn more i studied spanish a little bit and i haven't really i haven't picked it up recently and the guitar is just going off people who play in this style are so talented what is going on <laughs> but nunca it doesn't have normality <laughs> but yeah i I also love the animation too, and how it's like, it's not, it's not like there's a huge breeze going through. It's like a calm, composed demeanor that it's giving off Thorns having. I also, I don't think I've met Thorns in the main story. I, I'm really curious about Thorns. Or his Spanish level is my French level. <laughs> That's so rough. That's so rough. Long ago, Thorns was really good. 
Then the meme started that Thorns is the only operator you need. <laughs> Thorns kind of goes hard though, not gonna lie. The only Spanish I know are the things my all the canados say. And are you for? Oh, what do you mean? He's still good. <laughs> I still bring Thorns. Yeah, I think Thorns is still pretty incredible. Also, the finger work must be crazy. That was beautiful. That was incredible. That was like... <laughs> They put a pep in my step. Thorns has range, air target, DOD, lane holding, AFK, and self healing. And is, <laughs> and is hot. Waiting for Irene up as EP if it's on the list. I, I think it is. Nexus evolutionary mechanization. I, I think I'll give Thorns song a seven. It was, it was pretty good. I love the the style and how they incorporated the genre. Yeah, the animations were nice too. We have so much variety. Oh, this day and age, I don't even bring him. <laughs> this one's evolutionary mechanization. But, yeah, monster siren. Again, lots of percussion. Oh, like a jungle. Oh, I wasn't expecting the rock. Oh, is this Gavia? The Gavalta? This is neck. Oh, it's Unecties. Oh, this neck lady. <laughs> it's the Nike, it's Nike. Oh, wow. It's very, it reminds me of that first song, Zumama. <laughs> oh, you're the writer, huh? Your backstory is completely in your control. Oh, that's right, gamer. Most important question, thin tail or thick tail? Chop, what do you think? <laughs> We've talked about this a little bit, but I love the whistles too. It almost feels like a sports song. It has so much, like, like it, it comes at you. All the jungle themes go hard, I think. Oh, boy. Everyone's saying thick. <laughs> I see. Thick. Both is good. Thick, thick, thick. <laughs> well, Chad has spoken. Thick tail supremacy, apparently. I love the chanting in the background, too. It's almost like the voices are instruments in this song, and it's the instruments that are the singers. The thin versus thick tail debate is actually in the event story. <laughs> hey, Nikki. Oh, that's so right. <laughs> I think it's so fun. Happy medium. Oh, Estelle. Oh, Estelle from, from Trails. They're great for different things. And tails for wrapping. Thick tails for laying on. Oh, I don't care if the tail is thicker than. <laughs> oh, but for thighs. I love, ah, oh, it's, again, I like the, the role reversal, how the focus is on the instruments and the voices are just kind of there in the background. Oh, so AUS visited the Sargon jungle. Oh, this is AUS. I knew it sounded like that early song. The first song we reacted to. I love their stage equipment there. So the Krog started playing. Wait, so it's not AUS. This is canonically a group of, of crocodile people. I'm so glad I know that now, Andika. <laughs> that makes this even better. Oh, Estelle from Arknights, a four star. I see, I see you. Intel for cultured. Well, thick tails for oh, unga unga thick tails. <laughs> yeah, magazine. Might maybe drink some water. <laughs> but oh, she's a boa constrictor. They live in the Amazon. I wonder if this pose is meant to seem like like Unactis is hunting, like fish or something else. Oh, Ar Archosauria, Archosauria. Thank you, PQ. The Archosauria anthem. <laughs> So real. Estella's recruitment only. Oh, that might, that might explain why I haven't gotten Estella yet. What, what's the combination? But, ah, oh, I love how, I love the melody. It's very, I guess, standard for like this sort of song, like a sports theme. A, I could see this being an anime opening or, or like a rally cry of some sort, like dodgeball or, <laughs> Or a similar thing. Oh, not an engineer by trade. She doesn't do much hunting. Oh, so this is just new necties on, on an off day. So real for that. And the voices, the chanting is so good. And now how they're like working in tandem with the melody. New Nectis song is pretty good. Oh, but doesn't stand out too much to BH. Oh, <laughs> maybe it's just because I haven't heard a lot of songs in this genre that it's hitting me more. 
Sargon is like a mix of all oh, Brazil and Africa, since it also has a desert. Yeah, that's right, because a lot of the, the continents or the countries have like mixed influences, and we don't have snake people in Brazil. <laughs> oh yeah, the, her arms I think were crossed on the bridge. Estelle is harder to get these days. She has no guaranteed tax anymore. Used to be AOE plus guard. Okay. I'll make a note of that. I, I'll be honest, I know that might have been like a middle of the road song for people. I kind of really like that. And, okay. I, I think I'd give it like a 7. 7.5. A 7.5. Next up is Alive. And we are 19 songs through. And it's, okay, we're making good time. I, I added part one to the title, just in case we don't get through them all today. I'll go as, as, I'll go as long as I can, but we might have to break this up. It's a live time. Oh, Sargon's more like Persia and Brazilian rainforest. Also, hi, Rushton. <laughs> oh, AUS again. This is AUS. Oh, it's so ominous. Frost, Alti Dan. Or are those their names? And it's animated. Wait. <laughs> They're drums. It's time. Hey, Osea. Six hours streaming coming. Probably, Kappa. This is so pretty. And the guitars. Oh, that's so. That looks like a violin. <laughs> oh, what a bass. That bass looks really fun. And they animated all of this. AUS's in universe band. Healer and Defender used to always give gummy to you. Oh, it's the thumbnail. That's so good. I. Are any of these playable characters? I don't know if I rec recognize any of them. Mommy! <laughs> so iconic. And all their clothes are in tatters. I feel so alive. Oh, no, not yet. Just NPCs. We free the band. We need playable band members. Oh, and those glitch effects. The way, like, the wind is blowing. Oh, Saj AUS is stuck in NPC jail. I feel so alive, so real. They're not, at least not yet. Imagine we got the AUS side story. And the stepping back and forth. Oh, the voices are so good. Alive until sunset. Oh. Oh, they aren't unimportant. Okay. I'll keep an eye on them then. <laughs> also, the drummer in the back is going up. And the way the animations line up at least a little bit. They show up in some events. Hey, Nemesis. NPC band. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not playable, but have an important role in some of the stories. Oh. Now I'm curious which ones. No spoilers for where they show up. Ah, fine. <laughs> I'll find them eventually. If I recall correctly, that name's a reference to an actual rock super group, Dead by Sunrise. Oh, really? Yeah? Also, the singers is getting it. <laughs> I love the whispers in the background too. And the ominous, like, closing. All of these camera angles are, are so doing up for me. The static on the TVs. There's a demon among us. I wonder if that's connected to the Sarkas. Or the Sarkon. Is it food though? <laughs> they literally changed, oh, a tribe's culture in Sarkon. So they are related to Sarkon. I hope the list is Emperor's theme. I feel like it should, on. We had an Emperor theme earlier. They would work great as a single banner. Yeah, double six and five star. So real. And the drummer just kind of there. That's why their band name is Alive Until Sunset. Oh, they're actually called Alive Until Sunset. I think some of you said that earlier. I didn't register that. Also, the guitar solos. AUS just visited Sargon. Demon among us. <laughs> Yeah, this is an Among Us collab, actually. Their outfits are so good. Ah. Uh, and the, these could actually literally just be VTubers. I feel like their designs are good enough to be VTubers. Ah. Uh, they never being real. Oh, fear. 
oh, someday, someday. <laughs> I need to see those, now I need to see like those fake doctored images and the way the lights like damaged, but their eyes didn't. I need to see doctored images <laughs> showing them in Arknights. What brain? <laughs> Me too for brain rat, let's go. That was, that was so good. I like froze for a sec. I think that was like, it was incredible. It was, it was everything I wanted it to be and more. And nine, 9.5 or 10 out of 10. Like incredible. I mean, oh, you John is a streamer. Oh, really? Lots of roads operators are fans of Emperor and AUS. <laughs> They're all hot. Oh, Eureka's coming soon. I miss you, A Alter song. <laughs> yeah, miss you. Oh, I love miss you. That's such a good song, Nemesis. I think I heard it on the live stream. It's on our playlist. Next is Spring's Pulse. That song is so good. Yeah. All of the all of the A Alter event, the anniversary event soundtracks. So good. I love this. It almost feels like not a xylophone, but those sorts of instruments. Like a, a not a pan drum. And I want the like the, the the descending notes. And this is Burr again. I don't know who's on the left. I could hear this in Animal Crossing, not gonna lie. <gasps> Springs pulse, yeah. The song was for the COVID situation. I guess that makes sense that it reminds me of Animal Crossing, which is also known for COVID. Oh, Nightingale. Thanks, thanks. Also, the the background is so pretty. And the violins. And the transition was so good, too. Nightingale and Mer here. Oh, Obsidian Festival had a group chat of Rhodes Ops discussing the three bands. That's actually incredible. Oh, that's right, because at the end of Obsidian Pulse, there was, like, a concert. Mer. If I recall correctly, the composer did the soundtrack for Your Lie in April. That explains it. <laughs> This has no business being so good. Also, the snow falling. Oh, seven to the doctors. Oh, wait, that, that might be my favorite part. That's so pretty. Hype for phenomenal agents. Oh, the song was dedicated to the doctors who lost their lives fighting COVID and to the students studying for exams. Oh. And that, that explains like their expression. It's so like peaceful and hopeful. <laughs> it's actually really sweet. Hi, Ice. This song was made for the medics working, oh, incessantly during COVID. Oh, wait. And it's all growing into color. Why is this song the one that's going to make me cry? That's so pretty. Oh, there's also one of the seasonal songs on that year. Autumn mood, summer wave, winter absolution, and this, spring pulse. That's incredible. Oh, did we dead Salish? Oh, I don't know if we've gotten to say the chat, what are we? Bag vibe only. Oh, I'm blinking back tears right now. That's so pretty. Is the herb tasty? <laughs> oh, the composer is Masaru Yokoyama. Oh, and this like triumphant piano and the strings that are swelling. I, I can hear the lyrics in my mind. Oh, I need a song. I need a version of this with lyrics. Don't worry, the song makes everyone cry. Oh, that's why both of the girls are medic operators. Oh, that's so perfect. And this, the swirling leaves. And are those, are those butterflies or just leaves, like the white ones? Oh, don't worry, the song makes everyone cry. I'm all ready. <laughs> that's so, and the way the lantern was the last to fade out of sight, 10 out of 10. I don't even need to say anything else. That was like everything. And the fact that it had like a connection to the real world and like, I guess a deeper reason beyond just the game. Oh, that got me. If it's consumables, I'll eat. Oh, they're petals. First time I saw crying emoji. Not for cute and funny things. Oh, I, I see. Um, oh, X Asterisk is just an excuse to make more space inspired music. Yeah, X Asterisk came out recently. I I really want to play it soon. I've just had such a packed schedule in honor of those who sacrificed for others. Yeah. Next we have Reconnection. Okay. We're making good time, I think. 
Laura Shining is actually world's strongest swordsman. Winning game is a medic. A medic. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Volcano. So is this from Obsidian? That event. Are we back on that island? A chain into the volcano. I played Exastras. Oh, in my free time. It is such a music company. Hypergriff, my favorite music label. For real, for real. Oh, Exastras is fun. I played for a bet. Oh, it's Zerda. Shining Altar Page. <laughs> Eventually. It is Zerda. And the animation is so good. I wonder what connection Zerda has with volcanoes. Just Zerda. <laughs> oh, the lore. Oh, and it's shaking. Oh, so Zerda's flying. Above the volcano. The lore is, and that's it. <laughs> I love how there's like this, this rumbling and it's part of the music and part of the animation too. It's almost like Zerda's riding on something that's walking or moving. Like it's a giant or something run, run the giant's crown. Zerda doesn't have lore for now. <laughs> oh, standing on her stand. Did you get the Arcanite's collab outfits for X Astras? I, I don't think I did, Ice. Ugh, oh, I really want them eventually. I don't have a ton of characters yet. Oh, welcome back, Dax. One day we'll get an event centered around Zerda. I hope so. The music company is called, oh, Monster Siren Record. Oh, that's the official music label. <laughs> oh, also, so the rumbling stopped. And now it's this like lower electronic sound. This, I feel like this is such an iconic animation and the sound just works so well. Surter is a name of a fire giant in Norse mythology. IRL Surter is one of, oh, the ones prophesied to bring Ragnarok. Oh, could that be what this is? standing on as three summon pretty much Surter from Norse mythology all the references all the references I thought Limbus was the only one that had so many literary or mythological references but no <laughs> but no Arknight's a lot do you just have to read oh when was the X asterisk collaboration furniture I think I might have gotten some of that PQ Lord Surter's actually oh Oh, it's actually useless pre-amnesia. Really? I wonder who Surter used to be. I'm sure Surter wasn't useless. <laughs> but maybe not as powerful. We did get lore for her in CN, but it's for way later. And it's not a proper event yet. Ugh. Fire Titan that earned Asgard. The plot twist. <laughs> yeah. Lucent arrows. CN coming soon. Exciting. Oh, and Monster Siren Record is an in-universe record label as well. <laughs> and the steps are back. It has me so curious. It's like, maybe this giant was living in the volcano, or... I wonder where, where is Surter from again? In-game Surter's so OP. <laughs> Arknight's the whole country for classic music. Oh, and HP themes. So true, Ice. <laughs> You're so real for that. They're so real for that. Oh, wow. Again, with these, like, the- I feel like the rumblings are getting even stronger as we're going on. And that ominous, like, like the brass in the background. It has such, like, almost sass, like it's intimidating or taunting the listener. We're all super curious about her, too. Oh, there's not enough info. Oh, I see, I see here. This theme doesn't stick to her in-game usage. I'm thinking about, oh, more metal. But it's just a great theme, by the way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, on. Very powerful. Which I think is on brand for Zerda. <laughs> it's so on brand for Zerda. And, yeah, if I heard that in the distance, like echoing, and saw some, like, giant thing lumbering toward me, I would be shaking in my boots, absolutely. Her is quite different, though. She can't differ which of her memories are real or fake. Oh. That sounds like lore. That reminds me of Spectre a little bit, instantly, but I wonder if someone's tampered with Surter's memories to make her stronger or believe that she is. Interesting. Zero out of ten brain rot. <laughs> but yeah, I would say 
that song was like 9 out of 10 or 9.5. Really good. And the animation really brought it home for me. Stay gold. Is this the golden age? Oh, 1K. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. That's crazy how many of you there are. <laughs> That's so exciting. Pony boy, you'll not have time to shiver. You'll get bonked and burned. <laughs> oh, Suzu's song also doesn't fit her, but it's so cool. Oh, this is neural. Oh, my close your eyes. <laughs> Again with the bagpipes. Oh, wow. So much neural. <laughs> this also feels like PR propaganda. <laughs> oh, it's like we're in a locker room. Oh, Blim and Shine. Neural's little sister. I don't think Golden Age is an EP. Oh, that's right. No spoilers, but her lore isn't that connected to the rest of the stories. Oh, okay. Blimmy. I love how triumphant the, like, bass, the brass bass is. And then, like, the bass goes away, and it's just this, like... Is that a violin? It's not a violin. It's another stringed instrument. Or is that... What are these instruments? They're all violins, or, like, different stringed instruments. The wink. Yeah. Lemon Shine feels like I, I'm getting from this in the PV, like an athlete, like we're in the locker room and and Lemon Shine's really popular. She's Maria Neural. Oh, our neural, our neural is called Margaret. Continue the neural bloodline. We're in Poland now. <laughs> so real. So, so this is part of that Casimir story and Flame Tales here, where they're like gladiators. Or they fight in arenas. The instrument. Oh, bagpipes. It might be. Maybe I'll bound. Oh, they're so pretty. And also, like, the percussion, too. It's so intense with, like, the light and feathery, <laughs> like, melody. Ah, oh, that's so good. Let me try so hard to live up to the family name. Oh, she is a knight, but no horses because she's a horse. <laughs> that's so funny. Like... <laughs> A story about knights who have been fused, not fused with horses, but like horses who were knights. <laughs> Putting those two ideas together. Also, every neural is an obtainable character. Oh, wow. You calm down. <laughs> oh, she is the cavalry. So real. I love how they're, again, the counterpoint is so beautifully written. Whenever the melodies like duel with each other. Oh, and all these like strings. Oh, like the fifths. Are those fifths? So good. So good. Hyper intelligent horse people. <laughs> Absolutely. Sign me up. Oh, wow. Okay. You mean centaur? <laughs> I know, Anne. I thought, I thought Nora was a centaur for the longest time. I think we've talked about this. This is so triumphant. Again, it almost feels like a climax of some sort. My Minor has his motorcycle, and there's been mention that they use <laughs> bikes as cavalry. That's right, Minor has that motorcycle artwork. Plot twist, allure, blemish, shine, weak. I, I refuse to believe it, Nemesis. <laughs> but blemish, shine, strong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's different. IS3. Oh. The neurals are not normal. Kudanta, they're actually elders, not ancients. Oh, okay. The horse family, Uncle Minor, Big Sis Margaret, Little Sis Maria, and a relative, Auntie Sophia. Oh, they're Pekasai, and they're knights. The armor knight aesthetic is very cool, so real. Oh, I don't know about the last night. I don't have a problem with Lemmy. <laughs> so real. Oh, we haven't done Neural's event. Yeah, not yet, Waddily. I need to, though. I need to do Neural's and I think Near Light, too. Or is that Neural's event? I think there are a couple to do. War Bikes for the win. <laughs> Next is Confront. That song was very, was very hype. Like, moving, always changing and swelling and quieting. I'd say, like, 8. 8.5 for the wing. <laughs> but yeah, up to Confront. Lost the first round in event. <laughs> Oh, just lore stuff. Don't worry about the classifications. <laughs> oh, I think it's so interesting, though. She's my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> oh, so intimidating. 
This is giving IS4 for me. The triangle. It's like Amiya's, it's not Amiya's symbol. But the colors remind me of Amiya and that like infection. Not yet you don't, the lighthouse. This is so pretty. Oh, that's the Rhodes Island Triangle. This animation. So that's all on the screen. And I don't know if I've seen this operator. Is this Vigilo? Oh, I'm staying until, staying until Flame Shadow. Rosmo got. Roscot. Oh, yeah, daughter. Oh, all the headpads. Rosmontes. Oh, yeah. All this technology. This is so... This is like a lo-fi beats to react to. <laughs> I love the, the synth that it's not, it's like hovering up and down and it's, I don't know how to describe it. Like it goes back and forth and isn't always on its note. Like it's a little off, off key sometimes. This Montes is unlimited op and appears later in the story. So no wonder you haven't seen them. <laughs> yeah, Rex. It kind of reminds me of like the, the store theme in some places too in the background but i'll have to keep an eye out as the story goes on need to take care most for attack yeah same age as amria oh and good friends that's so sweet i'm glad amia has friends like i know that amia is on good terms with a lot of other operators but it seems more like like a leadership role than than like friends a lot of the time but sniper but she can't attack flying enemies <sighs> the travesty the nerve oh that distorted effect i love all of these like sequences in the background and like the growing static it's like it's like not a stress toy but kind of like a stress toy to listen to <laughs> oh the little writing animations she's also an elite operator <gasps> really Laura Rosemont is kind of strong. Another elite operator. Another tragedy. Oh, our dear kitten daughter. Yeah. I... This... I would listen to this so much. And just be entertained for hours. <laughs> because so much is happening in the song. There'll be modules allowing Ross to hit drones. I'm not coping at all. <laughs> oh, dang. We... We can believe. Trust. <laughs> trust that Raz will be able to hit aerial units, please. Oh, don't spoil too much. Okay. I don't mind, like, small things, as long as they aren't huge lore. I think they can give us more insight into, like, the animation and the song. In-game, why can't I attack the drone? <laughs> the drone. <laughs> the animuses. Oh, Annihilation Specialist. Nukes everyone but drones. Also, it's so smooth, these trans transitions. I love like the keys that are higher and like that lower, like staticky electric percussion. I doubt she'd be able. Oh, too slow to hit small drones. If I had a nickel for every time Arknight says, a child experiment, I'd have three nickels. Oh, it's always the child experiment stories that like, I know it's a, an overused trope maybe in anime. Those wreck me. I feel like people can relate to them. But... Oh... Oh, on the way... Like, th this ending translation. Oh... Or not translation, transition. I thought it was like eyes closing for a sec. Or like a camera lens. I... That was so smooth. I would absolutely put that on a gotcha lo-fi. <laughs> to grind too like a solid eight eight and a half or nine. Oh, it's not nuke it's an or orbital bombardment <laughs> next is crystallize i i'll be ready the next time i see Roz, maybe i'll use a rosmontis support unit next time we play oh wait this is so pretty oh and doctor <laughs> Doctor with the glow sticks in the back. <laughs> this is incredible. This is peak. <gasps> Neotopia. This would be such a fun song to cover. Oh, and the <laughs> raising the glow the glow sticks to the beat. Kalsa just kind of sitting there. Is that Amiya too? 
do singing. Oh, it's, it's Roz again singing. Our daughter's an ex-wife. So real. Oh. I love, like, the little the disco ball effect rotating. Yeah. This MV kind of tilted me a bit. <laughs> oh, because the video is like two seconds late to the beat. Oh, that's a rub. I'm so sorry, Nikki. <laughs> but, ah, uh, this feels like, this feels like one of those like fun, cheapy seasons that some anime shows have, like off to the side. Oh, oh, <laughs> and Doctor's animation. Repeating all the while we'll, ca we'll carry them on. So it's like a song about moving forward. I like this one, very cute. Hey, Buddha. Oh, I'm, I'm new. I'm a veteran, Dokta. Oh. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Looks like ending to the anime. Yeah. Like the good ending to the anime. Or this would be the ending that plays after like the most horrible, gut-wrenching scene happens. And then it's just this like cheapy... <laughs> A cut to this cheapy, fun ending. The peaceful one. Yeah, good singing too. Projected spectra. The cracks brittle as they are. I, I wouldn't be able to tell up this apart from like an anime ending, personally. It's just so good. Oh. And it's like a song about going and, and doing things in life. <laughs> you'd be traveling, you'd be like checking off your bucket list. Anyone from day one. <laughs> Not the PTSD. Oh, it was so cute when it dropped. Everyone odd. <laughs> oh, the singer is Oh Minase Inori. Oh, that's right. I, I see the credits off to the side. Wow. Redacted. Dies. Episode ends. Song starts playing. Yeah. And there is Arcanite's anime. That that's right, Matasa. I haven't seen it yet. But I want to. Can't wait to get back to drama songs after this. <laughs> what do you mean, literally? This is the trauma song. <laughs> this is the drama song. Where are the arms of the singer? <laughs> oh, they're, they're like in, in the jacket. Definitely. <laughs> Utopia. I love that line. Oh, for me, the best Arknight TP is Dorothy's Magic Theorem. All Arknight, all Arknight TPs are not copyright. Well, most of them. <laughs> but... Oh, is the anime on Crunchyroll? I'm actually not sure where to watch it. We cover up to the end of episode six. Oh, that's right. Season two is like to the end of chapter six. And season three is in the making. I hadn't heard about that yet made her, yet made her year. For all the sad things you can share half with me. This is so sweet. Oh, it is on Crunchy. Yeah, there are like, <laughs> like three copyrighted EPs. I think we've gotten through most of them. Uh, but yes, I want to learn this song now. <laughs> I'd love to learn this. The cheering one's tired now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. We're like, the flame around Dokta. <laughs> but that's the burn in, in our muscles. I'm on fire. <laughs> Ignited by burning desire. Doctor's distorting. Oh, only the collab ones with certain artists collapse. I see here. My Arknights playlist is absurd. <laughs> oh, there's one more. Okay. <gasps> Doctors filled with determination. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> STP is oh stand shy because I'm uh, a thousand, ten thousand percent biased for my husband. <laughs> that was so good. I. That, that's just incredible. That's like so made cafe coded. I think. I. Nine and a half or ten out of ten. <laughs> It's great. Next is Lola. Bye. Like, goodbye. Everyone looks happy but Cal's it. <laughs> because she's the one who pays. That's such a good headcanon. I think that's so funny. Oh, not distorting. Manifest an ego. My bad void. Is this a blood drop? Like a red droplet. A monster siren again. Oh, a monkey magic, I think. But literally, Stunge Chen is indeed fire. This is so... I like that xylophone. You know how people like do a, a key smash or like hide a low keys on the piano, like up and down? It sounded like someone did that with a xylophone or similar. No way, this is about Mephisto and... What's the other character's name? 
how many are there? <laughs> yeah, they so cooked. The clock and spiel, yamipo. But this pairing, Faust, thank you. <laughs> Mephisto and Faust. The way, okay. Another Slavic song, Russian again. If you see your star, it's the copyright song. Okay, thank you. It's what I'm waiting for. Oh, it's so smooth for real. Yeah, Misha and Eno. Oh. And the like music notes animated behind them. All the specks of dust. I need a happy AU where these two grow up and live happy lives together. Oh, this song has a JP version for anime. I'm making a note of this. I won't go watch it because if it appears in the anime. Oh, Misha's school crusher. Or school crusher. Sasha and Eno. Yeah. Sasha and Eno. Oh. Spoiler. Yeah, I think I have played up to that point, Maple. But, oh. This song rocks me. Lullaby JP version. <gasps> Makes so bad. I'll have, I'll have to make a note of it. Futa. Song good. Fisto still needs a punch in the face. <laughs> oh, what a <laughs> Yeah, Mephisto is kind of... Mephisto could use some... A lot of things, probably. There's a really good English cover for this one by... Oh, Musak. Okay. I'm making a note of that bush. Thanks, thanks. This song is so good, but... <laughs> but Mephisto... <laughs> oh. Oh no, we're the Skull Crusher. They're... We're the Skull Crushy. They're the Skull Crusher. Oh, as your little eyes close. It's like, it's like a song they heard as kids. And now it's, now it's painful. Oh, a punch. Mephisto needs many punches. <laughs> I think Mephisto might just need a hug, honestly. Mephisto, Mephisto and Fowls need like a happy ending. And at least a one alternate universe, please. Mephisto needs therapy and another friend. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Oh wait, Frost Nova singing. Is it actually Frost Nova Aki? The Bistone needs to touch the grass. They are kids, yeah. I I know they've been through a lot and this is like maybe a coping mechanism or a result of a lot of the bad things that have happened, but oh I wish they had a happier ending. It's a lullaby song to Mephisto. Oh. This is the song Frost Nova si sings to Muffy. Oh. We have an alternate universe where the world gets devoured by sea monsters. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> oh, is that IS3? I've heard IS3 is like a bad ending. We're still Tifera and like Undertides. Oh, and the way Faust, Faust's eyes are open now. Chat's 50 50 on this. <laughs> Yeah, for real. And Laura, yeah, it's Frost Nova Lullaby. Song to them. Oh, singing them to sleep in reunion. And the way it's black and white. And now their eyes are both closed. It's like it was a memory that became a photo. And now it's faded. Mephisto means selling your soul to the devil. Oh, and that, the ball just rolling away. IS3 is brutal. It's not at all bad ending. <laughs> oh, it's brutal and the bad ending. I see, I see. That, just because it was so relevant to the story and because of all the, the emotion that, that comes with that, with like Faust especially and Mephisto's story, oh, I'd say like eight, eight or 8.5. Anime Muffy's being shot like beehive. Mud, mud. Yeah, Lithos is next. IS3 is easier for me than IS2. <laughs> Way more collectibles. Oh, I love that like opening shot of the forest. It looks like a rundown place, like with the lights hanging from the ceiling. Where are we? Some sort of tent. Again, this, this really ominous like face note. This almost feels horror too. Like a horror theme. Mud rock song. Mud and rocks respectively. Oh yeah. And that ribbon on Mudrock's hammer. I still don't know much about Mudrock. This is such a good animation. The Child of Earth. Dorothy's song. 
What rock is this type of mineral? Oh, not a horror. <laughs> Samba. Yeah. Or like unsettling almost. Oh, and those, the like vibrato on the strings and the way, the way it got darker in the forest as the vibrato went down. Now, now introducing mud mud. Slow grin. Oh, I like your better the thick operator, the thick armor. <laughs> the thick armor does go hard, Maple. Being fooled, oh, during a boss event. Big hammer bonk. I, this is such a pretty, it's like a pretty image. But you know those like, what are they called? Images of abandoned buildings, like liminal spaces. It feels like a liminal space. And like a liminal soundtrack. We have these chairs and this tent sort of in the middle of nowhere. No one's around. Madrock boss, summon Golem. Madrock in game, Spain without the A. Oh, Spain. <laughs> I hope they'll give her a bloodline of combat skin. Oh, that has her in Rhodes Engineering armor. That could be so good, Matasa. Madrock gets bigger in her armor because she stuffs, stuffs it with their hearts. <laughs> Oh, the Samus of Arknights. Yeah, no, for real, Andika. She looks like such a unit with the armor on. So real. I would be terrified, too. <sighs> that swelling change, like the cord switch. That's so pretty. And it goes minor. I love that. Zero out of ten, give her abs. <laughs> Liminal spaces are more like in between. Oh, that's right, like hallways. Or like, like a road might count as a liminal space. If it, maybe in certain context, like on the way somewhere. Never in my life would I have thought there'd be a lore more complicated than Genshin. <laughs> oh, just you wait, Twilight. Just you wait. Reverse 1999 is getting there, it's you. Muscle girl. <laughs> yeah, so real. Our suit has soil, clay, sand, soil inside, which she controls directly like a puppet. Oh, an arts powered power armor. Oh, I see. And that's. That's what you meant by filled with art. That was such a short song. <laughs> but it was so good. I think it really set the tone for Mud Rock. And like this air of mystery of like, like you were saying in chat, like a somber tone. Like a little, a hint of sadness, maybe or regret even. Genshin's not even that deep. <laughs> oh, just the tip of the iceberg. So real. I think just because of the the ambience, the ambiance and like, and like tone that it had, I'd give it a nine. <laughs> AB2, have you watched the Terra exploration videos? Oh, were those in the last one? Those might've been in our PV reaction, but hi, hi, good evening. <laughs> it is tipsy. Oh, there's a two hour Arknight's iceberg. I need to go watch that, Antika. Oh, this fire, this reminds me of Oh, it's not a fire, that's a drink. Watch this be a restaurant commercial. Is this Casimir's? Like a bar? The story also touches a lot of real life problems and conflicts. Yeah. No, literally, Nikki. I really love it for that. Also, the saxophone. <laughs> this horn is going off. A mountain song. Wait. Mountain sipping. That's so smooth. And mountains. Mountains chest. <laughs> the window. <laughs> Genshin's isekai with plot twists. Arknights is racist and political agenda, war crime, slavery, and so on. Ya'an. Yeah, um. Wow. Okay. The animation here. <laughs> oh, Anthony. <laughs> Mountain's just having the time of his life. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Drink wines and read book. <laughs> wow. Okay. This song. It's so smooth. It's like... Don't ever say Arknights doesn't do anything for it. <laughs> yeah, if you like men, you <laughs> Arknights is for you. Arknights is always at furries. The lures are insane. Yeah, there is so much. Oh, and Scalies too. <laughs> there, are, there are so many different characters in Arknights. Oh, decorative ring. It's on the right hand. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, just a normal ring. <laughs> oh yeah, so much mountain... Mountain not married. At least, not showing it. But this like crest over to the side. 
and the saxophone combined with is that like a guitar too the way they're just like going off <laughs> they're just having a time bisexuals be winning <laughs> marriage rings are on the left hand finger yeah that's right and yes oh the bass there's like a bass too a guitar that's like a little higher and the horns the drums are good the drums are actually actually so smooth that they blend in so well mountain's quite young actually oh really yeah the guitar too gamer and and other instruments that are mixed in in the background ah oh, there are so many layers to this the other like electronic percussion oh mountains colombian arknights us <laughs> Mountains from, from North America and Arknights. I want this theme played in my Barbaria. No, this would fit that vibe so well, Maple. <laughs> it's like luxury. Luxury, relaxation, class. <laughs> Already a serial mascot. Oh, in game, really? Or just, you're talking about Tony the Tiger. Hi, Ruthik. <laughs> hello, hello. We're just reacting. We're reacting to big, big mountain tiger. <laughs> The best songs of this type are from, oh, the Mafia event. Okay, I'm looking forward to those ice. Oh, and like, whenever that drop happens, incredible. Mountain just built like a mountain. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have, oh, really? Is that, oh wait, I know who you're talking about, Amir. I don't remember. But yeah, there's somebody else too. Like a young master of a rubber baron family. That Arknight's Iceberg mentioned earlier is a video by Soon Noel. Oh, it has some spoilers, so either skip those parts when prompted or watch it in a couple months. Okay. I'll make a note of this, PQ. Oh, I might just... I'll play more of the story and side stories. That was so smooth, but I'll watch it eventually. He is a mountain after all. Wait, his name is Antony. Tony the Tiger. Can I give it anything other than a 10 out of 10? That was just iconic. The music, the animation, perfect. Oh, appears in KOB's Cute Slice of Life. That's right. I have seen some of those, Andika. They're so pretty. Till the bell tolls. And they're so wholesome after, like, the really sad stories. Yeah, that'd be conviction. Since conviction is literally conviction. <laughs> oh. So majestic. Till the bell tolls. Jazz out of ten. Yes, matey. <laughs> Oh, I love these strings. The architecture in the background is really nice too. I know what it <laughs> Big boy. Yeah, conviction. Just conviction. Arknights uses the real world for inspiration. I think it's so funny that they do that, Antika, and say that, <laughs> and say at the beginning loading screen that if any events in, in this game mirror or reflect real world events, it's only a coincidence <laughs> when they're so blatantly inspired. But yeah, Conviction, represent. I haven't heard Archado's theme either. Oh, this is Archado. A goat multi-target sniper. Oh, Archado's a nun. Oh, I see. No, I don't have time to talk about your church, Archado. <laughs> a nun. I wonder if it's for the same like organization that Suzuran's father is a monk for. This, this feels very Lord of the Rings. I, have I seen all of the Lord of the Rings movies? I don't, I feel like I've seen most of them at some point, but it feels like that soundtrack. Archetto's a nun that's trying to get bread. Oh, the Laterano church. Oh, and also an idol, also a high nightmare. <laughs> that's such a clever name. Archetto's a nun from Laterano, so they worship ranged weapons. Oh the Shire. <laughs> That's right. And yeah, their relationship with weapons is really interesting now. From a monastery, since out to get paid. <laughs> oh, Archetto's actually a, a liberi, a bird, not a feline. Oh, the way these horns are going up and the strings are so ethereal or like ephemeral. I love this theme. I like to put it in the background. I could see this being such a good, like a menu theme, a good, it almost seems like a loading song in a way. <laughs> the holy gun and bullet. 
Oh, I like this late motif in the song, like in the Suzuran's event OST too. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly, Nikki. It's so swelling. It, it reminds me a little like the melody of Trails in the Sky or like the Trails main theme, like just a little bit from Trails in the Sky. They gave Ursus a literal Karl Marx and they gave him their ears. Incredible. <laughs> so, icon so iconic. Oh, the monastery is actually a warrior knight organization. Oh, sort of like Templars. Oh, so like, yeah, like warriors associated with religion. Our title's the equivalent to a griffin. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it on. Oh, and that's right, the heterochromia. Rochetto had red and blue eyes. Lateral's Vatican that has guns and dumb snuff media. <laughs> that was very short and sweet. I I appreciated the, the the genre, I guess, like the style of music. And it'd be so good to have one in the background, like some of you were saying. Seven, seven and a half out of ten. Next is Summer Wave. Is this the first summer event? I mean, the real Karl Marx wasn't a bear person. <laughs> oh, oh no, absolutely, gamer. Absolutely. This is so pretty here. I, I love this. Is it? It's not a kazoo. It's like a recorder. <laughs> the animation, that little like bat wing thing. Oh, it's like a speaker playing music. And it dropped an originium slug. Funny. <laughs> the silly goody theme. Let her Lateral music is sick, not gonna lie. Yes, the Chiyo boss theme slaps. And Landon also does beer. Okay. There's real in more ad for the Argento's Monastery. <laughs> not the propaganda again. I love how the theme is like reiterated. Like it's out of tune and then it's played again and echoed in tune. With that really high note. <gasps> and these chords and the bass. <gasps> and another... Is this, is this like those Doom cars? Or not Doom cars, the, the Gav Alter event cars. And that's, wait, our robot friend. Are these all the robot units? Wait, that's a closure robot. Oh, the closure bat. Look at little Lambda flying around, yeah. The song's become Arknight's official pre-stream song. That's, that's where I've heard it before. Oh, is that a ship between robots? <laughs> Is there a robot ship canonically? What's the name of this song? It's Summer Wave PQ. T H R M E X O One Star. The One Star Unit Representation. <laughs> we don't see that very often, but finally, but finally, we're missing a few newer ones. Yeah, there's one from like Casimir's, right? Yeah, the Night Bot. <laughs> I love the like. It's so, it's so like playful. Oh, the water's rising. <laughs> And Ami is just kind of there. The most important ro robot. I see fiends everywhere. <laughs> yeah. This would not be... If if 37 from Reverse 1999 saw this, there would be problems. The lore robot. Anything from Laterono always slaps. It makes me wonder why Vatican... Oh god, the law. Like, step step so much. Oh, oh, is that Chosen? Or not Chosen, Closure. <laughs> the Closure... I wish we saw closure more. Honestly. Closure in like a chocolate bunny or a blush. Oh, the beat changed too. And there's that like ASMR sound. <laughs> the clicking. The meme spot. <laughs> oh, yeah, Thermal EX got an ice pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we will. You can always see her in the store. I know ice, but like. But who is the closure? Why is the closure? <laughs> See closure each time you open the shop. Okay, I know this. I know this shop. <laughs> but like the story, there's like a couple of name drops, but we don't really see anything. You will see closure in a few events. How is closure? <laughs> no, exactly. Oh, the origin of slug. <laughs> They're so cute here because she wants your money. We have to pay to find out more about closure. <laughs> that was so playful. I, I think it was really cute. So like a seven or a seven and a half. Like the engineer leader of Rhodes Island. Don't ask who or why or how. <laughs> ask when. That's right on when closure. Oh, closure has short or four comma, I think. Do you need closure on the story? 
No, uh, absolutely, literally. I need closure on closure story. The next one is till the wave ends. Three seconds to detonation out of it. <laughs> so clever. Oh, we know closure's real name. What's closure's real name? The trauma continues. <laughs> yeah, when she's ready, when closure's ready. I love how, like, the song starts so strong. The, like, the, the horn, the wind instrument, not the horn. Ah, uh, and the way they work together, like flutes. Ah, uh, it almost reminds me a little of, of Xenoblade 3 in the beginning with the flutes. But now this, like, traditional sound. Oh, Dusk. Oh, is that Closure's name? Also, this is so nice. These two sitting on the roof together. Are these both dragons from the CN event? The Chinese New Year? Ada Church. Oh, it was on our intro splash page. Oh, Closure is named Ada Church. Is that the famous bean? <laughs> yes. Also, the dragon in the background, too, just peeking out. Dusk is the green dragon. Oh, that's so pretty. The, like, trills. The really fast notes. That's incredible. Neon and Dusk. Oh, also, they are the beans. <laughs> Oh, Dusk and Neon. I've heard a lot of people really like Neon. I love these like string trills that keep coming through and it swells up and down. This is so beautiful. Oh, fitting for a vampire. Oh, it's closure a vampire. Ate a church. <laughs> oh, famously known for being beans. I wonder why here. This is such a playful and like, majestic song. <laughs> It feels like the world, a new world is opening before you. A fog is clearing. Oh, and the, the guitar too. That's my other nickname. <laughs> oh, it's dusk. Oh, it's twilight and dusk. I see that. Next in line is removing every Arknight's operator. <laughs> oh, and like concerts. I know a lot of you, or like some of you have recommended concerts in the past. I'd love to see the animations for the concerts. Did somebody say eight? <laughs> Where's the food? <laughs> oh my, you can have a snack. It's okay. And these like cranes or storks flying by. Neon Bean can cook food. <laughs> oh, and Dusk is the odd one out for having an English translated name. The Chinese name is Si. Really? That's so interesting with this up. I wonder if that has any deeper meaning or if it's just like something that happened. These two are sisters, and they have ten other siblings. Yeah, Ice. And they're like fragmented versions of one conscious. That might be like an elevated being. The iceberg video has the origin of the beans. Oh, is that sort of a... Is that their origin? Like they were all fragmented from one higher being of some kind. Dusk been mistaken with some dragons from other games. Oh. Oh, these horns. I love how, I love how it goes from, it's like the, the rhythm changes, the, the intensity changes, and it keeps finding new, new ways to swell and go back down and build again in new ways. Oh, those thank you see, those are dusk, oh, it's the art that she draws, those like cranes flying and the ink in the air. I'm really down bad for you. <laughs> oh, thanks for stopping by Twilight, please take care of yourself. <laughs> Twilight's escaping. <laughs> Twilight's leaving the, the enclosure. Oh, for concerts, you might want to get permission. Oh, because although I can't think of any cause of copyright strike for people who took some precautions, I still think it's best to be careful. Okay, thank you. I, I will check them. I'll see if there's anyone I can email. Though, I also heard the second... Is it the second anniversary concert? Is That's good. There's one concert that's okay, but I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I think, wasn't it the second? I'll have to go back and, and look. That was very, that was like nine, nine and a half, maybe even 10. I really liked that last song. Yeah, you should ask, they will, they'll usually be okay. They're all great, okay. I, I'll make a note of that on my to-do list to reach out. Okay, and next we have the neon lit bustle. <laughs> There's at least one song from each ambient synesthesia that's copyrighted. Oh, the first is okay. The second is good. The third won a Hollywood award. <laughs> I'm sensing a trend here. Oh, very electronic. 
I don't know why my first thought was Steins Gate. But this, it seems like another Chinese New Year song. Ask the people working with content creators. Oh, they have that now. Okay, perfect. I'll look up their like content creator team. And the drones. I wonder if this has Penguin Logistics. Oh no, that's Ak. We're in Longbin. The second one they removed the copyright song made me. Oh, it's Ak's theme. <laughs> Neon Lip Buzza. So not necessarily Chinese New Year. Oh, they do remove the copyrighted songs in the vibes. My boy. <laughs> Iconic. Just chilling. Just, you know, looking at a phone. All these signs in the background too. Back mentioned. Oh, and these like sort of electronic synthy horns. So good. The percussion too. The fireworks. It's also dynamic. I forgot to build him. <laughs> oh. The first one was nominated as well. Didn't win though. But the visuals and vibes are better than the second one, IMO. Oh, mostly because the stages were bigger and there was a live audience. I see here. I wonder if COVID affected any of these concerts in the past. But, but yeah. I'm glad I've built my axe since this module came out. Oh, that's right, Dax. We're in Lung Men. The men can breathe. <laughs> yeah. No one can breathe here. CHO3. So Axe shoots your operators to give them extra attack and extra attack speed, which is really strong. Yeah, this is like the team killer, but in a good way. We just need good healers. Or like really strong operators, I guess. Oh, really? Oh, it did have a big effect. Their whole festival got delayed by it. We had Untitled World in the first concert, and it was moved. And that happened for other songs by Monkey Magic and so on. Oh, they had monkey magic. No way. Dak is a funny operator. Also, I love how the song is like evolved and the beat changed again. Oh, it's so satisfying to listen to. Or with module, you can have, oh, Ak act as CCDPS machine gun. You can buff your operators, but also just team kill. <laughs> it's sus. Ak is a really size. Oh, really? Yeah, I haven't thought much about the new modules to build. Like, I'm just, I'm just completing my first module. I think it was Gavials that I finished, like all the way up to rank three. Shining S3 helps in keeping more fragile ops alive. Ooh, we need defense buffs if you want to use it on Sukoshi operators. Yeah, yeah. Then maybe here's me ignoring the song. It's incredible. Again, with these like melodies that are very, I like the little trills too. But in my mind, I'm thinking maybe Ak would be really good with certain relics and like IS. <laughs> that would help buff your operators. Modules are late game and pretty complicated. Build E2 operators first IMO. Okay. That's what I've been doing PQ. I, I was just raising one module all the way for like the extra rewards because I think there's a, an award that gives you something for that. It's nothing incredible, but... Oh, you can use Neon S3. Shining S3, Sculptor S S2, and so on. It deals 500 minus defense times 15 damage. <laughs> That's so much. I also love, again, the electronic sounds are like morphing and changing. Oh, and it's blurring. What a fun transition. My first module was Calcet, because she's the OP that I turn to most when I meet difficult stage. <laughs> oh, don't do that yet. Okay. Understood, Matasa. <laughs> Are there any... I I can show you all my Ar Arcanites, like my operator's team, when... I think I stream Arcanites again. Not tomorrow, but the day after. We'll be playing the Typhon event. I can show off the team a little more. Self-observation. Axe song. I think Axe song was really strong. Like a solid eight. Done with the farming. Nice, nice LP. Oh, it's not like you can get modules before E2. That is true. Also, hey PM. <laughs> I love the artist for LDA. Another very like cinematic orchestral song. The leaves falling. Self-observation. I wonder what that means. <gasps> Saga, is this a character we've met before? I think so. Like a one time is a cameo in the story. I just realized this means you unlock stationary security service. Oh, what do you think about it? 
Wait, I've unlocked SSS. I don't know if I've played it yet. <laughs> I need to go double check. I know I've, I've gone through some of the like training stages. Saga has a theme, apparently void. <laughs> Not the Gohan. I didn't get dive fine. Oh, and I can't go all in. I, I get that ice. This is such a traumatic and like intense theme. Rokan, Rokan Chocha. Our loud doggo, so real. Oh, Aburage. All these battle lines. Oh, you can buy module parts from the shop. Yeah. I believe that every six star has a theme. Oh, really? This makes me wonder more about Saga. Because Saga is as affiliated with Longman, if I remember correctly. And is pretty high up. And these like eerie flutes too. Oh, and the transition. So it's like Saga's looking inward and is now, now has eyes open and like ready to fight. Saga ASMR. <laughs> Saga shouts a food name staring battle. <laughs> That's incredible beat too. It reminds me of Jujutsu Kaisen and that one character. Oh, Saga's from Higashi. Oh, so not Longman. Oh, and those hands forming. It's like we're in like a, a graveyard or something. Oh, and those eyes. They're, you can see them now. And they're like peeking through everywhere. More hands. Oh, equivalent to Japan. I see. This is horrifying. It's like facing inner demons. With eyes open. Not faltering. Not true. I can't recall any specific thing for excuse yay. Oh, six star with the longest skin drought, right? Oh, is this? Did Sokka not get a skin for a while? By all means, her inspiration is a Japanese warrior monk. I I feel like I really should do some more reading into a lot of the inspiration for these characters. Oh. Again, I love how their outfits display so much of their personalities or the thought that went into making their character. Hey, Raven. Hi, hi. Higashi is Japan. And Saga's a Higashi nun. Oh, a traveling warrior nun. Oh, when Saga's skin came out, the world rejoiced. <laughs> and they're so valid for that reading in my forest stream. <laughs> oh, not on stream, literally, off stream. Maybe off stream will do some reading. Because obviously, I can't read on stream. Saga's true power is her focus and mental power. So like mental resilience or determination to focus. It's more likely than you think. Oh, and again, so intimidating. The drums almost feel like a jungle or rainforest too. The speed of light counts for Exusia. Oh, and this like enlightenment and how like Saga's form like flashed and changed colors. I wonder if that's like a skill. Oh, and like triumphing over those inner demons. Eyes closed again. And Mosima could be in cold ga and best moments of. Oh. Oh, she achieved enlightenment basically. Oh wow. That must take so much focus. And like meditation. Saga's S2. I love when they incorporate like skill animations into songs. And their like artworks. So pretty. That I feel like more than all the others, that last song just told us a story. A story and like and a few animations. Sakura is secretly a demon slayer. Oh, I so see that. I so see that magazine. Hey, oh May. We we just watched Saga's video and we're on Day Day Dream. Saga the Unbreaking. But yeah, Saga's song, maybe a solid like nine. Eight and a half or nine. They daydream. All these shots of like food and drinks. Oh, they literally tell stories when we get the more lyrical ones. Oh, speaking of. <laughs> Unsatisfied with your life. Is this a vocaloid? The song is weird, but I love it. <laughs> and it's in English too. I'm curious. This band is awesome. I wonder what band this is. I didn't like it at first, but it grew on me. Yeah, it's giving like weird core, but not in a bad way. Also, is this shot on a GoPro? <laughs> funky, the funky song is spoken. 
so true. It's not a Vocaloid. The singer's just this good. Okay, go up. Oh, band name The Ether. I love the melody. And it also feels very traditional too. Like Eastern music. Just like me. <laughs> doing this with... The singer's doing this just as a normal voice. That's crazy. I thought it was so weird. But as I listened to it more, I began to like it. This is so talented. Mixing modern songs with packing opera. And that's the end game Hoshikuma skin. Oh, really? The harmonies are so good, too. This reminds me of another artist. Her name isn't coming to mind. But I love this like style of music sometimes. I don't get to hear it very often, but we'll find the tune for your own song. Day Day Dream. Yeah, on. Oh, the lyrics. Wow, I wonder what all these lyrics mean. The hive mind brought me, and I watched a few bots. Oh, hey, Max. <laughs> Hello from the hive mind. It's great to see you. The song is actually pretty deep and a bit sad. I feel like I'm in Hong Kong in 20... Oh, it's 2000. <laughs> nice, nice. I wonder what it would be like. So it's like someone unsatisfied, someone who doesn't feel good with what they're experiencing now. I wonder if it's about like misconceptions and like your world is shattering. Sorry, I typed wrong. Oh, the Aether, the I, which I have mind. <laughs> I think it's the Arcanite's I have mind on me. I like the arm wraps. They make it seem as, oh, as she had them fully tattooed. Yeah. I really like that too. That's such a good stylistic choice. Ah, oh, the song makes me feel sleepy in a good way. <laughs> yeah, like, if there was such a thing as active sleeping or like focused sleeping, awake sleeping, not quite lucid dreaming, but maybe. Oh, now nah, Lungman's a tough city to live in. Oh, basically Jen. <laughs> oh, Chen Loi. The four I find. <laughs> Is that really a thing on me? This one's make, making me more eat beer. Yeah. I guess it being like a daydream. Dreams do have a connection with sleep bangs, you know? The song tells you to get drunk and escape into daydreams. Oh, that's what the chorus is about. I see Matasa. I wonder if those are like beer cans too. It's a dr drunkard song. <laughs> I mean, in moderation, absolutely. Whatever you have to do to get by, as long as you're not hurting yourself. As weird people say and do weird things. <laughs> it's normal. It's so... I feel like I've been introduced to something so new. I get... I hi. <laughs> it's great to see you. That was day day dream. I actually... That kind of worked with me. I kind of like it. I'll give it a 10. Oh, you got the song. I see you. I don't drink, but the song makes me feel drunk. <laughs> I I understand what you mean, Ame. Oh, it's Autumn Moods. It's the other... Another song about a season. So there are four. Autumn, Spring, Summer, and Winter. And the spring song... The spring song is so sad. Oh, it's a happy song. <laughs> we need a happy song. It's giving anime opening. I love this animation. It feels like the sort of animation you'd see when you pull for like a six star operator and the leaf falling and getting caught. Oh, it's the girl from Enfield. I love this one. Life is so sweet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just the combination of this and the last song being back to back, seeing rainbows, shooting stars. <laughs> oh yeah, like a 90s anime. More like 80s, 90s city pop. This is an Arcanite song. Yeah, Ame. Oh, an old anime. Okay. The songs in IS1 make you feel like you ate magic mushrooms. Yeah, I feel like I haven't seen a lot of those like 80s or 90s anime. I need to. The seasonal songs usually are so good. Yeah. Oh, and that's Angelina. Imagine if plastic love just starts appearing inside everyone's playlist. <laughs> it's alright. Plastic love summoning noises. 
still in Hong Kong 2000. <laughs> the two sides of the Hong Kong in the year 2000. Wait, Ama, you've heard this? We didn't know it was, it, it was an Arcanine. Fake fan. Such a fake fan. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go, Angelina. AOCL. Girl from Endfield. <laughs> Is that the one on the right? I love that about Arcanite songs. They don't sound like phone game music. No, for real, I... They're like... They're so polished and varied. Like, diverse in so many genres. I probably have heard the song before somewhere too. Magic Girl anime. It could be Andika. <laughs> Guaso. It's a Guaso. <laughs> but yeah, Japanese city pop is so real. Imagine having plastic love in your metal playlist. <laughs> Nayari, that sounds like a self report. Angelina's basically a magic girl. She can fly with her staff. Oh, so like Lilia from Reverse. I actually didn't know that. I have Angelina. <laughs> I've just heard that she isn't the strongest I haven't built yet. In my opinion, most DPs are kind of obscure. <laughs> also, oh, with love with the doctor. Sasuka Music Company. It's so, it's so catchy. And it's giving, is this like Penguin Logistics? Like they're moving some pa packages. Oh, I, I swear I heard this song somewhere in a mall. If I heard an Arcanite EP in a mall or just anywhere in public, I would probably distort it. <laughs> oh, hey, Midnight, she died in Enfield period. Oh, that's so tragic. Hypergriff is a music company that just happens to make games. This is true, we do. She can fly using gravity arts. Oh, what do you mean self-report? You know what I mean, Matery. <laughs> Though also, maybe send me your playlist if you don't mind. <laughs> that was so fun. I'd say the past few songs have just been hitting the spot for me. Like an eight and a half or a nine. Like can't go wrong. So smooth. Gearing up is next. And field is like 500 years later. <laughs> Bravery isn't that sad. Oh, you're right, PQ. It's straight up like Mahler store music. And this like orange, like these warm tones. Carrying up Canary. It's fine, but I expect more. Oh, is this Passenger? No way this is Passenger. No way. Wait till you hear Pala's song. I'm so hyped for that midnight. Gearing up. This feels like a countdown. Also the shattered window. That's such a like graphic image. The God. <laughs> That's right. It's Passenger. Godsinger. <laughs> I have a Japanese restaurant in my local mall that plays piano versions of anime songs. Oh, your Lion April opening came up once. That's incredible, Andika. Also, this is so... It's so, like... I can tell it's starting to swell, like the bass is there. Passenger just has an air. Is Passenger giving us a side eye? Yeah, major tactical vibes incoming. Hey, Alexi! <laughs> but yeah... It feels like a strategy game. Like a dystopian strategy game soundtrack. Passenger's actually pretty strong nowadays with the bubs. <laughs> yeah, Passenger carried us through the Gaviol event, the Gavalter. Oh no. <laughs> wow, it's that guy I got instead of Typhoon. <laughs> Bomb bombastic side eye. No, exactly. That's exactly what's happening. I'm I also don't know a lot about Passenger's lore. Other than like the meta side and the fandom jokes. I like how Passenger gets bullied when Z unreleased. <laughs> Is that true? Also, there's like that younger version of Passenger self and that one outfit art. I use both versions in every single deployment, no matter what. Can't wait to play Arknight's Minecraft and Reclamation Algorithm. I've heard so much about Arknight's Minecraft. Again, it, it's almost like like a horror song too. Like it's giving tactical, almost like space or galactic, like an alien invasion. Passenger lures in a walk in the dust event. Okay. I'm typing all of this down. Okay. Went from Ed to God. Passenger's pretty good in IS with that relic that restores 2 SP every hit. 
and is pretty good on SSS once you stack buffs. Oh, okay. I see. So, in some settings, Passenger's still pretty good. How about we share the title and spread your to read? Oh, oh wait, really? Passenger on release was a joke. I feel like that'd be that'd be kind of funnier almost. <laughs> like Godsinger being a joke. Oh, and like the percussion building. It sounds like strings in the background too. And like this this airy synth pad. And the bass. Oh, and it just drops into this like electronic. He's good normally, just bare but stainless as too. Oh, or stick start on release. Oh, hey, cat. Passengers V8 has Godish voice. Oh, I only ever got the God title at IS2. This is so powerful. And, like that percussion that sounds like like a jungle or, or like a beach sound too. Yeah, great design, great VA, great lore. And the game was so bad. <laughs> now he's good. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> but again, this is so iconic. Like. It's like the song is slowly getting more serious and tension is building and building and building. Also, used to be terrible. Oh, now there were six stars for Joel. Oh, we're criminal out of 10. I'm so, I wonder so much about, and the lantern went out and passenger disappeared. And like the feather, wait, that was such a, that was such a design choice. That was incredible. That caught me so off guard. It reminds me of and Limba's company, like the butterfly and Demian, the blue butterfly, Rem and Demian. That is the joke. <laughs> the worst six stars so community memed that he's a messenger of God. <laughs> that just takes pity on enemies. Oh, that's how it started. I see beat two. Okay, purely for the cinematography, I'll give it like above average. The song felt like standard horror. Like it was really good. I think like 7.5 or 8. The Sand Soldier, the most dangerous man of Sargon. The next one is Feels. Oh, no, not yet at least. Did it ever change his JPVA? Oh, there was drama. I see, I see. Oh, this is Platinum? Feels. Feels what? Oh, wait, Amre, is this, is this Undertide? Or like about the Abyssal Hunters? We have all this water. This one's interesting. It's such a different visual this time. Like more than just one animatic. Low roar. <laughs> have we gone through flame shadow yet? Oh, I don't think so, Ice. We might have though. Oh, not yet. And the voice, this singer's voice is so good. Oh yeah, we're going chronologically here. Sometimes you feel. Oh, is this copyrighted? Let me just pause and scroll down. Oh wait, this might be copyrighted. Wait. <laughs> I I think this is actually. Because it's tagged with music. Low Roar is the band. Oh, they're also behind Death Stranding. I will listen to this off stream. This song is so good though, I can already tell. Oh, I wanna look at the visuals. This was revealed during the Arknight's official stream. Oh, YouTube watching. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it feels the copyright. Yeah, we feel the ban hammer from YouTube. Okay, next is voices. We'll be back in just a sec. The frames dropped, but internet's back. Okay, I think we're back. We just stuttered. But yes, next is voices. Oh, is this undertides now? Oh, the water. And like the dramatic horror music in the background. Oh, it is. Again, with Monster Siren, the company. Oh, the voices in the background and their dissonance, their dissonant harmony. Is this Gladia theme? Wait, the squad. Nice, nice. Oh, there's Spectre. Oh, my. Oh, my. These are your people. Voices is such a Lovecraftian song. Wait, you're so right. Abyssal Hunter theme. Yeah. I feel like that's such a good way to pu of putting it. Like, like water creatures, otherworldly water creatures, killed the ocean. <laughs> Sculptor. Yeah, the whole Abyssal Hunters theme, and the way it has this like light melody in the background too. 
Their animation is so good. Spectre. <laughs> Be going back to the sea. Prepare for the golden age. I feel like Gladia gets overlooked so often. But I feel like this animation does Gladia justice. Wait, the ocean. Do you like some Bloodborne in your tower defense? <laughs> it's so... I feel like their placements here too are very like relevant to their characters. Even for it. Overlook to Gladia. <laughs> I have Gladia. I just haven't built her yet, okay? Okay. <laughs> Mommy, sorry. Oh, Gladia has her own set of rabid fans. Really? I don't know if I've met any like diehard Gladia fans. Oceans. <laughs> Olympus Company reference. That horn is so good. The like powerful horn. And like the quieter horns in the background echoing. Poor Andriana, always being forgotten. She's also an abyssal hunter. I love an aesthetic section of Gladia, but I refuse to point out. <laughs> Fine, Ice. As Toasty says, keep your secrets. Oh, Gladia's my top two. Oh, wow, Kat. That's the problem I didn't build her yet. Ah, soon, Ame. I got a altar. What do you expect me to do? Oh, Gladia's very versatile. CC12 made me M3 her as a one. Oh, Gladia's amazing in design. Over so much. I think Gladia, at least in this picture, looks the most abyssal hunter of the three. Oh, and this effect. All of these. It's like a school of fish. Circling them all. And like the halo around Scotty. Andriana's as much of an abyssal hunter as Amria is a sarcasm. <laughs> these are strong words in chat. Oh, and Stabiat. I borrowed Gladia for CC12. Couldn't install the boss, so chef it is. I don't know if I've played CC12 just yet. Gladia's probably my five or six favorite unit in the game. Really? Maybe I'm just new to all of, like, the Gladia lovers and appreciators. Oh, hey, soul. I'm a bit late, but I'm at work. Oh, and I'll be listening. Enjoy your lurk. <laughs> and good luck with the work. You've got this. And the fleece out of it. <laughs> Yeah, this is just an iconic image, I feel. Oh, and like the orchestra, and the way there's like this pause between the chords as they keep swelling. Oh, she's useful already at E1 using S2. Oh, worth building. Okay, I'll add Gladia to my two build list. Oh, you say Tex Alder isn't that strong, <laughs> so who's to judge? That's fair, Ame. That's fair. <laughs> I, I think I'm coming around on using text alter sometimes. Oh, this part, yeah. Oh, oh the suspense, the like cliffhanger the song leaves you on. I have to say 10 out of 10 just because of how iconic that group is. The fish halo on Sagati, yes, fishy out of 10. <laughs> Very obviously drawn by, oh, Alchemanic, Scotty's artist. <laughs> of course, Scotty would be front and center. Or Gustra. <laughs> The puns and chatter, great. Immutable's next. I had no idea Fora had a favorite operator. Oh, I don't know which one's Fora's favorite. I, I feel like I haven't seen all of them yet midnight, but I think I've been kind of partial to Eppen. I have Flame Tail. Oh, is this Cal this is Calcet's song, the old well, the triply resharkable. I love this landscape. It's so pretty at sunset or sunrise. And those lyrics. The vocals are so good. It's kind of iconic. The way Calcet, I feel like Calcet is this iconic, like, Gojo character that we just don't know a lot about. I love this one. Calcet, God. <laughs> the first ever singing fossil. <laughs> Everyone roasting Calcet in chat. Mission Sub Rosa. I want to know more about Calsec. Oh, this is Low Lights OC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely on me. The, compar the comparison with the Gojo was great. <laughs> they performed this at one of the concerts. Okay. The ephemeral background, like it's floating and we're like suspended in the air. And the lyrics are so good. Oh. The first Arknights character ever made. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The song was also nominated for some award. Really? 
Oh, I love the vocal effects. And like the way it's like a whisper song. Or like the, the whisper lyrics. And then there's this melting too. Cal looking at you and silently judging. <laughs> yeah, you really decided to wear that outfit today. <laughs> Old well out of ten. The second Arknights character ever was O W. I remember someone said that Arknights copied Calcid's design from low lights. <laughs> That's really funny. Love listening to this one. It has some lore in it as well. Concealed and Umbra. Doesn't Umbra mean light? Oh, judges you silently, then launches into an hour-long rant as soon as you open your mouth. <laughs> oh, exactly. So Calcet left, some left something behind. Oh, Umbra's shadow. Night or shadow. I was so wrong. Oh, like Umbreon, the Pokemon. Isn't that the dark Eevee? Monster out of death. Uh, I love the, like, the low slide and some of the melodies we've heard. Yeah, and like this elemental, it's almost like, I don't know what genre it is, but like the Stranger Things themes, and even that like, other wavy synth too. The lyrics describe Calcet's journey. Oh, okay. Standing Eclipse. Cal's skin is amazing. And the light response with a big brain moment, Jeff. Oh. A blind bargains then. So like Calcet cut a deal with somebody and moved on from something in the past, maybe? Shinsab Rosa. Oh, it literally means under the rose or in secret. Oh, thank you so much, Kent. So like no caution and some sort of secret mission. We're seeing it for the lives, but who else? Oh. So like for someone else that that Calcet's left, told them so hard, but they deserved it. <laughs> Calcet is amazing, given her oh advanced age. <laughs> also, hey Red. <gasps> I love the lyrics. It seems so sad. So like Calcet is someone or had someone, maybe even some ones that she cared about in the past, and and that's kind of part of the journey that's brought her this far. Oh, another <laughs> brown reader. Calor is so intriguing and full of mystery. So true, extended. So true. I, that's absolutely like 10 out of 10. Calcid out of 10. Next is real me. Calcid's age out of 10. <laughs> Do we know how old Calcid is? Remember when we say old fossa, we mean it. Why do I feel like today there's a lot of people I don't recognize? Oh, is this Carnelian? Wait, Car Carnelian's incredible. Carnelian's incredible. The song reflects her destiny. Oh, hey, Lom. Her journey. You could say she holds the world on her shoulders. Oh, this animation is so good. Incredible. I feel like Carnelian gets so many outfits. Spoiler years old. <laughs> oh, a couple centuries. Dark Knights, I might going crazy. It's so peaceful. I love the guitar too. The EP slaps hard. I love it. Oh wow, the transition. And the sky is red. Also like the way Cornelian's sword moved. The guitars and drums. Pretty good EP. Seventh favorite operator. Oh wow. Oh and it's so peaceful again. I love how it switches back and forth from like soft to hard. Motivated, yeah. It feels like motivation in a song. People keep calling Carnelian mommy. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't get it. <laughs> ah, maybe someday you'll understand on me. Oh, Carnelian is, oh, Lithania, really? The theme fits the characters. <laughs> so reeled on. It perfectly describes how two-sided she is. Oh, and like, which one is the real Carnelian though? That's the question. Oh, never eat do be Carnelian. This reminds me of other song, but I forgot what or how I remember. Oh, is Carnelian related to Beeswax? Oh no, she's Sar Sargonian and lives in Lithania. 
they're both the real side. So it's like a dichotomy then, Matasa. That's so interesting. So they're both true and both real and authentic, even though they're so different and contrast each other. It's like so intense too. Oh, Cornelian's outclassed by a Lin and game. <laughs> That's a rough. Born and raised in Sargon, but traveled the world and stayed in Lithania to help a young noble. Older sister of Eastwax, okay. The guitars are so... I know it's peaceful again. They remind me of like, I don't know, a Sonic song or something. <laughs> like Sonic the Hedgehog. Or like the, the newer Sonic songs that have been more intense. I know this electronic side. I love how the strings are incorporated some too. And then like the white birds flying away. Oh, Cornelian's stronger than Len, but her kid is harder than Len. Elegant in one moment, battle junkie the next. <laughs> Honestly, goals, Bush. Oh, one of my favorite EPs. It's so good. And like the, the dueling guitars too. Kind of crazy. Oh, especially the battle lines. I'll have to listen to the battle lines. I actually went to Rhodes to see her baby sis and one of Beeswax's skin. Skins have a boy that said it was given to her by Cornelian. Honestly, Cornel Cornelian seems like such like, a strong character. I want to know more. <laughs> I want to know more. There are so many like characters who feel very defined. Like they aren't weak characters, like weakly written in Arknights. They're they're definitely some, but <laughs> so many have so much depth to them, and I think Cornelian is absolutely one of them. She likes causing the harm. I'd like more Carnelian's story. It's mentioned that she met at a young age. Oh, a duke during political turmoil and being his caretaker. Oh, and they never expand. Oh. Oh, it's like a fantasy romance. <laughs> oh, maybe Kent. Basically a Sargon Amazonas. Oh, really? Also, those horns. <laughs> They're so iconic. And the guitars. And again, like these red, these distortions and cuts to red. It reminds me of that, that Ursus song. Can we agree? Her, <laughs> her legs are hot. I recently read Akafuyu's lore and love her character more now. <laughs> I'm so hyped to read more. I never thought I'd say this, but Orgnites has me excited for reading. <laughs> and that one, 10 out of 10. Hearing these old EPs is so nostalgic. Yeah, we are going in order, so we're creeping forward. Her design and the red eyes really sell it for me. Yeah, absolutely extended. And this next one is Heart Forest. It does that to all of us. Oh, I like these like slow, like the, I don't know what these harmonies are called off the top of my head. And the cheapy Angelina Raz Amiya. Oh, it's Susie Ran too. Heart Forest, gem workout song. Oh, and there are lyrics too. This is so sweet. This feels like, this also feels like an anime opening. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Cute time, yeah. Oh, so cute. No one starts crying. Oh, no one's spam crying emoji. Yeah, I wonder why the crying emoji is associated with Susie Ran. Another just hopeful, bright song. Moving into the future. Oh, let's take a break and enjoy some bright songs. Yeah, after the the tragedy and trauma that have been those others we've listened to, we we deserve a break. Ah, oh, those high notes. We find ourselves at a loss. Shima, oh, Shimada is in the back. Or Shimer, Shimer in the background. <laughs> Looking on the world and making our way there. Susan's bloodline is special. Interesting, all these hints. Yeah, daughter's for real, Leo. So true. I'm always making you worry. Also, <laughs> like Susan looking at the flower. The like little animations. Angelina closing eyes. Raz and Amiya looking at the butterfly. <laughs> Or a flower covered Shamir. I am not a flower. I promise, okay? Okay. It's a pom pom. It's just a pom pom. But yes, Shamir. Nani Anj. 
Try not to cry challenge impossible. <laughs> the floodgates have opened apparently. Hey, Vortex Dial. I'm not that shaman, I probably wouldn't care. <laughs> pom pom cute. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks. Raz is the one who sings the song. Oh, And she's in charge of the field truck. I, I can see that. That's so sweet. They're here. Yeah. The cute bunnies. <laughs> Head empty Rosamond's face. No, absolutely. I just want them to be happy. Yeah. Oh. No matter how many times, there will still be hope born in you. Not Roz wiping away a tear. And she's the oldest there. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Three foxes, a kitty, and a bunny. <laughs> Walk into a field. Oh, this is such a sweet song. I love, I love the piano and the strings. This genre just feels so hopeful to me. It's almost giving like drawn to life. That's a really obscure reference. With the Toronto like soundtrack. Also, Donkey or Rabbit. I don't know, I've heard Rabbit on. <laughs> but I, I could see Donkey, maybe. And she's only about, oh, 18 ish. Oh. <laughs> well, the VA for Rosmont has actually had a unique voice in her singing. As I played Uma Musume. <gasps> oh. And she's not a catastrophe messenger, she's a transporter. <laughs> Ah, uh, someday I'll come back. I'll have played through more of the story. I know what the crying me means. And finally, I'll understand the pain that you feel. Um, our overlapping stories, let's have the stream again. Emmy is a donkey. Very real and definitely not a meme. Also, who is that? That little creature that just flew by chasing the butterfly. <laughs> the way it just fell down. Oh, is that, oh, it's Shamade's doll. Better pray you don't understand it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, in chapter 10, there's art of Ami's back with the bunny tail. Oh, that's Shamade's scarce doll. Oh, it's Morte. The doll has a name. That's so funny. I mean, yeah, creepy. Uh, okay, as a breath of fresh air. Also, it's, it's manifesto. As a breath of fresh air. I'd give that uh, that song like a solid seven. It it was bright and fun and definitely not foreshadowing some horrible thing. Manifesto. <laughs> nice, nice. Fire and <laughs> hole. Oh, is this Emperor's song? Don't go further on the crying. Okay. <gasps> okay. Straight to manifesto. Oh, it's the short version version, by the way. I'll have to find the, the longer version another time. Emperor is one of the best characters. They animated the lip flaps. The animation. This is incredible. Okay, Emperor. <laughs> Go off. And are these penguin logistics people popping in? All oh, the cars. <laughs> I don't really like it. Oh, the style of rap isn't my thing. I see. I kind of like this. Oh, this room. Breakout. Oh no, the king is in the house. Emperor Siege left London Intra. Oh, are they more of... They're all in... They're all in Penguin Logistics, though. <laughs> this is such an only up image. <laughs> or setting. Their animations are so good, too. It's like a an actual music video. Spitting fire. So true. <laughs> oh, male lappy. Oh, really? All the rapping. <laughs> I, the animations are so fluid. I want those skins. <laughs> Imagine we got these. Oh, the boxing. I heard Endra too. Emperor flexing. <laughs> yeah, this is such a, a flexing song. In like, a flexing way. <sighs> oh, and is this Ethan? <gasps> Ethan's in the song! <laughs> Incredible. Do you plan to watch the concerts? Yeah, so eventually. I need to, I think, reach out and get permission from there. PR team. Oh, it's actually Hannah. Operator Entra. Oh, I heard this so many times. Never knew there was an animation. It does look so good. Their moves are incredible. And these like zooms. All the 3D assets. Truly the king. Even has the best of our TBH. All the crowns. The visual effects are impeccable. 
again with like these flashes from like a bright city to ruins. And if it looks fluid and natural, Yaket. Intro and siege are part of Glas Glasgow Gang, Emperors and Penguin log Logistics. Oh. Oh, is this the Emperor moment? <laughs> We're hyping up to something. Oh, Ethan's verse are about gameplay. <laughs> oh, this is the short version. I need to hear the full version of the song eventually. Siege, Siege part sadly wasn't in the MV. Oh. <laughs> I'll listen to it later, Nikki. <laughs> I'll listen to it another time. Just because of how iconic it was, like 11 out of 10. Like it gets its own tier. It's beyond. Winter Absolution. But yeah, I want to go back and rewatch that video for all the little details. Intro's real name is Hannah Jackson. <laughs> oh, so this is the other, the third season song we've seen about winter. We've seen spring, autumn, and now winter. You ready for some Latin? Oh, it's Shining's theme. The amount of outfits that they have shown in concerts and songs that are not real outfits is criminal. Yeah, Vortectile. Oh, candles again. So this is about Shining. Oh. Oh, it is Latin. I'll turn up the volume a bit. Summer wave already seen. Oh, that's right. The more I hear winter absolution, the better it gets for me. 1100 out of 10. Oh, my flesh. Of my flesh, the mystery sing. It's so ominous and mysterious. I love the, like, I don't know what, it, what it's called, the, like, shaking, the tremolo of the strings in the background. And the bell. Another streamer got so mocked listening to this song for the first time. <laughs> oh, I don't blame them, beats you. Shed by my immortal being. Is Shining... I need to read up on the Shining War. What is Shining? Shining card win. <laughs> yeah, they really should run, like, an exclusive concert skin event at some point. When we said that it's in Latin, <laughs> we meant it's in Latin. <laughs> I, I wasn't doubting you, but I'm a noble womb to spring. Oh, warbling, I think, is what the strings are doing. Oh, warbling. Oh, and now this, like, this progression and all the vocals, the vocals combined with the horns and the way they're, like, descending. Hey, she it away. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Incredibly, we're having a winter absolution right now. Forget New, New Year's resolutions. Maybe that, that would count as a New Year's resolution. Shining has Lauren, chapter 12, I think. Yeah, this is full Latin. <laughs> this is totally Latin. Great sacrament. I wonder if it's like religious in some way. Oh, chapter 12 lore. <laughs> I have so much catching up to do. Oh, from memory, they took an actual Latin ham and modified it to remove the religious references. Really? Yeah. So that's why it has that, like, religious vibe. Shining is very important. She's key to the main story. All these other, like, chants in the background, too. It's really... It's the melodic singing that carries the song, I think. Latin is the sarcasm language. Oh... Okay, that sound I've heard in Fate Apocrypha, very same vibe. Oh, I think I can kind of see that counts. Hey, for when will we get boss theme reaction? It's, I'm adding it to my list, Dan. I'm adding it to the list. There are so many, like, games that are getting updates that I have to catch up with. But I'll do my best to get through as many as I can. And this animation. I wonder what Shining's doing. It's like a chant or... A ritual in this snowstorm. Sarcas is based off all oh, different tribes. Her family, though. Oh, sweet home. A medic, but her and more power is just crazy. Wow. Maybe it's like Gavalter. <laughs> like Gaviel. You know, starting as a medic, but actually so strong. Probably in a couple weeks, those dreams are long. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> We'll get there. The gotcha hole is too real. No, for real. It makes me wonder. Also, the way the music is getting like warmer and less intimidating as this light gets brighter at the end of the song. 
Oh, like she never unsheathes her sword. Really? So, went through absolution. It was so, it was so beautiful. And the animation, I, I think I have to give it like a solid like 7.5 or 8. Oh, praying to her god. Not the law that's the Vatican's god, I see. Lore, lore why she's leading people to safety against a snowstorm. What a very spoiler-free way to share that. <laughs> Thanks, B2. This one is Keep the Torch. We're, we're at video 43 of 94. Yeah, I loved it so much, for real. Okay, Keep the Torch. Oh, is this Penance? Palace is also one of my favorites. Oh, Palace. Oh yeah, I think Penance comes later. The visuals are so... Again, the soundtrack. I love how like the visuals are flowing, the animation so smooth, and the electronic swelling. <laughs> the flower. Okay, chat. This is a great song, but I just have to show you. This is an example of someone with a flower on their head. Okay, it's not me. It's very much not me. <laughs> the flower kills me every time. I just have to give you a side by side. Okay, okay. <laughs> I identical what do you mean? Fantasy Greek. Oh really? Oh, it's the exact same image. No. <laughs> this is having the opposite effect I intended. <laughs> we don't know oh, you don't even know why she has that. <laughs> we do have the same hair color. We're not the it's not the same picture. Come on. <laughs> it's your long lost great great grandmother. <laughs> Oh, also, that note. The voice is so good. Forehand Arknights. <laughs> Maybe this is a distant relative of mine. Also, this beat dropping. All the, like, electronic parts. We need water buffalo horns. Is Palace really a water buffalo? Also, is this... Is this a mace? I don't know what kind of weapon it is. I could hear this in a club. Like, the beat drops, people are dancing. And that vocal chanting is so good. The song is using a fake, not real language. Oh, I see, I see, Nikki. The thigh makes me weak. <laughs> Corfit wants you to spot the difference. Oh, string chains maze. Oh. And like the drums. I wonder what the falling petals mean. Drunk priestess. Oh, oh. The chain whip with a flail tip or something. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen a weapon like this before. I'm not well versed on my... <laughs> Vaguely medieval weapons. Oh, you can see the animal she's based on in her E2. <laughs> what about the flower? Why? <laughs> the vocal... The singer is so talented. It sounds like... Like, almost ghost-like, or... Again, like, ephemeral. Like, floating and fading. Basically, Arknight's Athena. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I read the comment below. It's just there. Hey, espresso. Hi, hi. Yeah, that flower. I. It's hard for me to take this seriously. I can. The ruins in the background, too. And the beat drop and transition. These transitions are incredible. I also wonder what these. Like, the rock. Like a chess piece. I think it's a rock. Is part of the Rhodes Island logo. But it also shows up other places, too. I wonder why. Oh, the fact that it's like a fake language, but it still sounds so good. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, it's a chains with the mace at one end, and the spirits at the other end. Oh, it's all cool, but the freaking flower. <laughs> no, exactly, Kappa. I just cannot with this flower. Interlocking competition is her event. Oh, which is pretty fun. I'm writing this down. Like, this line. So beautiful. It's like we're ascending by listening. It's a part of her. Oh, it was from an event that happened once. That's why it's a different rock than Rhodes. Oh, a different rock than Rhodes. Oh, so they are different. I think the rocks are from, oh, this event specifically. Flowery from Undertale. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, I'll be finishing Undertale. I think the, the peaceful ending tomorrow. Just like a certain someone with flower. 
This is not true midnight. Making it out of the ancient Greece with this one. Yeah, it's crazy how <laughs> Arknights had this ancient Greece event a long time ago and reverse 1999 is just having one. Oh, random fact, Sarkaz and Sancta don't have anything in the arts. So what is Sora? Oh, kill or be killed. That was very... The flower? I'll give it flower out of 10. I can't take it seriously. <laughs> Maybe like an 8 or an 8.5. Next is Across the Wind. I'm so praying for a Minos event in the future. Oh, Palace Home. Also, these horns and this beard makes me want to like snap or clap along. <laughs> it's so catchy. It's like that song, like, Welcome to My House. Ballads. Oh, Chalter theme. Summer song. So good. Chalter. I love the vocals and the lyrics. Chalter's little flesh too. Ballads. <laughs> okay, this singer, incredible. I have this one on my phone. Oh, nice. Yeah, the lyrics are so catchy. I think they really fit Chalter's vibe too. I, I don't have Chalter. I wonder whose flesh is that? Yeah, the lyrics are really great. Sometimes Arcanists will try out events. Sometimes they won't make it permanent. And so far, interlocking competition and multivariate operation haven't been made permanent. Someday. Blue woman power. So real. Uh, it's like so hopeful too. I feel like Chalter needs, or not Chalter, Chen in general needs this energy <laughs> after some of the story. I love her smile, yeah. I need that water gun. <laughs> can actually knock people out. I love the like pop horn in the background. Ah, oh, so good. Power of water gun is stronger than the sword. <laughs> it's canon. It's literally canon. Gyarados the Howling Day. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh. So it's like Chen is moving forward from expectations or the past. Aura versus Palace. A side by side. Oh. Yeah, also Chen's smile on this one. So immediately 10 out of 10. Yeah. I feel like smiles are so much more meaningful when they come from characters who never smile. Oh. They just hit different. Oh, I see what's unique in that if you use an operator and what about the next you can't use them again. Oh, is that kind of like like Trials of the Navigator? The more she's awful at shooting. <laughs> That's so funny. Water gun from Oh Raytheon, by the way. Moving on from the cop to balance. <laughs> the zoom in. Oh. The bikini. The bikini damage buff is crazy. Yeah, what is it with swimsuits in games? Least favorite YouTube sprite? Oh, but you like her skin. <laughs> I see midnight. Oh. I feel like these are like positive affirmations for Chan. For like a, a moving on from something. I just need the one to carry me. Chen has the ducky on it too. Basically the best part of her whole altar. <laughs> that reminds me of the cockroaches and, and Grucker's IDs from Limbus Company. Oh, Multivariate Operations was a co-op event introduced during the Rainbow Six, the Rainbow Siege Six collab. And we know that's coming back, so maybe, maybe we'll see the game mode come back soon, PQ. Again, so catchy. The, like, piano in the background. It's not very catchy, like, is it, like, 4-1 fire? Four, one, six, minor, five. I think that's the core progression. So good. Classic pop. <laughs> oh, oh wait, multivariate was the co-op event where you control other players. <laughs> I've heard people talk about this. Oh yeah, Chen got closure in her summer event. Maybe this is like Chen from the distant future. Happy ending. On a vacation. The world is fine. <laughs> oh, no mention anywhere in the PvE. Chen can't shoot straight, so she just shoots everywhere. And that's why it's canonically AoE. <laughs> Incredible. I, that was so catchy, like 8.5, 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> I mean, 
I have been free to play for now midnight. The only time, I think chat bought me a battle pass for Limbus. <laughs> That's the only time I've paid in a gacha game. Next is buy 1k. Oh, this is Miski. I've heard so many things about Miski. Miski's an IS3, right? Jelly Boy theme. I love that scent. Great future in Arknight's universe. Yeah. I love the melody too. And like the lower, like the very deep bass or like other scents too. This little ghost to plush here. Miski's out with the water gun. Oh, Miski has two themes. Just that iconic. I love how music is changing into like this colorful, colorful blob at times. Oh, this is a worst luck scenario too. I like his IS3 theme. This one not so much. Oh, I see. It reminds me vaguely of like, I don't know why, like the Pokemon X and Y, like Street Pass or multiplayer theme, but like little hub world. I remember how many people raged getting him instead of Chen on the banner. <laughs> That's a rub. I mean, is Miski really that bad of a unit? I see was thought of as annoying and bothersome. Oh, it forced people to expand their roster of leveled operators. That just sounds like endgame to me. Oh, the tentacles. So maybe this is an illusion? Or they're taking over? Also the chord progression. The jellyfish in the sky, it's like the world's falling apart. Mavs and P5 Mizuki, Silver Ash and Passenger, instead of Chalter. I'm so sorry. The jellyfish everywhere. It feels so dystopian now. Oh, I was talking about collab event gotcha luck. In the worst case, as long as you have 120 pulls, oh, you can get two of the three here. I see here. I have to save. It takes forever. Oh, those chords too. The like keys in the background. Pretty good when fully built. That's most operators, so it doesn't say too much. Okay, so nothing that super stands out. Oh, Mizuki kind of bet. My Mizuki is P6, but at least I got the water gun. Also, like, there's a little bit of chaos in the background too. The background is like the, the synth progression. The key scent is kind of giving Undertale for me a little bit at times. And now like the bass too. We're like sinking into something else. And it's key distorting. Mandicore better. Change my mind. I have 90 pulls. Typhon, oh, drank 70 and didn't come. Typhon drank 70 and didn't come. That's so rough. Oh, Nami Child is the artist. I love how it's like swelling and building too. It's like, it's like we're on the precipice of something, like the verge of something else that's about to happen. What I feel with this song is neurotoxin. Oh, I can kind of see that. Legit, Manticore is better in some ways, but Ethan is best. Oh, he has hyper damage with arts and physical. Oh, so can't excel in any. So it's like a, a max all around. I, I have to say, I love Misaki's outfit. It's so like galactic, like a sea of stars. It almost reminds me of a jellyfish with like the umbrella as the top of the jellyfish and the coat, the way it sways as the rest of the jellyfish. Perhaps the precipice of Y1K. Oh, is it like Y2K? Y1K? Misaki does quite good damage with his module. Do you ever want to build the module? Ethan and Manticore are the best when you don't have Misaki. Ethan, just bide. Okay. It was very, like, dark, dystopian, electronic. So, so yeah. I, I'd say a solid 8. A solid 8 out of 10. Next is Toward Her Light. Misaki just needs to bind in other skills badly. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Misaki is a jellyfish. I love the beginning of this song already. It feels like, yeah, morning, spring even. Oh, or like an old cartoon. Oh, it's Salik, it's happening. Stay calm, it's happening. Oh, the flutes. Oh. Ah. Oh, 
it's so nice. Disney time. Disney vibe. Oh. It's so, it does feel like a princess. Adam Goodman. Oh, is the composer and used to work for. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> oh, it's a Victoria song. This also sort of feels very folksy, like bagpipe song. It's like a national folk song. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> Victoria nationalism propaganda. It reminds me of like Poet Soldier King. Like a very, like a rally cry almost. Oh, we already sold W's, I think, on. Oh. I think after a stream, if anyone wants to add timestamps in a comment, I'll pen it. If no one does, or actually, I'll plan to make the comment. If someone gets to it first, I'll pen yours. I love their country. Yeah, because, oh, Jane is a Victorian patriot. I love, I love the, like, banjos. Oh, now it's frozen. Or, like, fully white. That's kind of creepy. Timestamp guy. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like a rally for war. Which again, it's like this cutesy song with these themes that are these under themes or undertones of like horror, war, darker things. Jean of Arcanites. Orin the horn one has even more Victorian propaganda just to wait. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> we we love our Victorian propaganda in the mornings. Oh, or Undertales. Oh, sort of. Honestly, rather than propaganda, it's more like, oh, how the character feels. Yeah, I could see that. Like seeing Victoria, this country as, as like a hope. Oh, a liberator. Oh, a liberator heroine. I need to see I need to see our character's song. I need to see Salik's lore from the song and the story. Oh yeah, undertones. <laughs> no worries, gamer. Oh, and this vocal this vocalist is incredible. Oh. I would actually unironically listen to this. I would unironically have this on a playlist. Oh. The horn is way more militaristic. Oh. Overslept two hours. <laughs> oh, the sad vertical. But you could, you could scrub back in the stream if you'd like. Oh. Oh, those high notes. I love this. It's also kind of giving. Is it How to Train Your Dragon that has this. I'll be. I'll be honest and out myself. I haven't seen How to Train Your Dragon yet. But it, it, it's giving, like, the soundtrack. Oh, the propaganda doesn't work on me. Tower lips with Dublin. <laughs> oh. Oh, hope is exactly what Victoria needs. Oh, since chapter nine. Oh. <laughs> Pure patriotism. <laughs> Not propaganda. <laughs> but, yeah, it's very, it's very like happy and beautiful. Not to feel unwanted. Patriotism agree. Ursus war and joy. Oh, and the Zoom. That's so nice. Ah, oh, and like the strings at the end. My Spotify raft is full of Arcanite songs. And you're, again, so real for that beat too. Oh, we'll get a Terra song later. I think, okay. The fact that it was such a recognizable genre, like princess theme, and like hopeful, uh, I think I'll give it like an 8.5 or 9. It was really good. It was really good. And next is Bridge to the Dawn. Oh yeah, we're three and a half hours in. <laughs> Going strong. Oh, the Knight's theme. Oh, so Casimir's. Oh no, propaganda will make me fight against sarcasm. <laughs> Oh, and it's like really chill music. I love the animation style too. <sighs> That's so pretty. And like the way that the wind is catching their hair and their capes. I do have flame tail, by the way. Progressive rock. <laughs> this could be such an anime opening. <gasps> yeah, Pinus Silvestris. The Polish Night Pirates. <laughs> I need to finish. 
need to finish their story. Specifically for Flame Tales module, I think. Oh, Rat King theme. 2.0. Yeah, it's very like... It almost feels like something I'd hear at a rally. Oh, and the night robot's in the back. <laughs> Wait, I just noticed that. Flame Tail, please come home. <laughs> you, you've got this. Love Pine of Sylvester songs. If this is the vibe, <laughs> I think I will too, so. High Tech Nights, yeah. And like all of these sky, I don't know if they're sky bridges or like roads. This is so comfy to, comfy to listen to. It reminds me of another VTuber's opening, like starting soon screen. I think if any of you know Cinea Antimony, this reminds me of Cinea starting soon screen. Once you go flame till you won't go back. This is very true. There's, I mean, Elysium's good. Elysium's good. Orbital's great. But flame tail. And the way, like, the chords, the chords and, like, these, I don't know what they're called, but arpeggios, yeah, like, going up and down. They use polymer armor because they couldn't afford blade armor. They're knights, but two squirrels and one bird. The squirrel and bird nights. Oh, oh, thanks for stopping by midnight. <laughs> bye bye. Please take care of yourself. <laughs> oh, and thanks, Nantha. Yeah, thank you to everybody. <laughs> that means so much. There are a thousand starlight. <laughs> and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It's also very, like, calming to the song. I buy skins for the operators I like. Hoping for them to come home, but still no luck for Rosa and Flamedale. <laughs> oh, I like this part of the song too. Like, the. It's like there are so many guitars that are slightly echoing each other, and sh like echoing but with slightly different melodies. <laughs> it works so well. <laughs> yeah, Justice Knight is the real carry. <laughs> uh. No, a lot of knights use polymer and composite armor to cut weight. Oh, wasn't Flametail's armor made out of, like, scraps, though? What? Like, because Flametail's from the slums or something. I think I remember hearing something about that watching the TV. Already have iron, no Flametail needed. Oh, this is the good part? Yeah, it keeps, like, re rehashing a lot of the same bits. And, like, doubling down. I don't know how to put it into terms. But the guitarists are going off. Oh, in that transition, I'm here to find a rest after IS-3 because <laughs> they don't have enough operators. Oh, oh, I hope this is relaxing and fun. Yeah, oh, that that's so good. This part specifically, like the high parts and how they like had that. What's it called? Like staccato. Oh, the high, the high bits. Also, if you have Ash Log, it eats you. Her art shows her actually purging her armor to focus on shelling, which is what her S2 is. I also love the, the unit in the back, who like raises a lance every now and then. It has so much spirit. Believe in Texalter. <laughs> yeah, it's peak progressive. Hi, Ramiro. So real. So real. I progressive out of 10. 10 out of 10. I really liked that last one. Oh, her name's Wildmane, a free OP. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, the one in the back is Wildmane. And this next one is Radiant. It's so here. The Radiant is real. <laughs> it's the song of her. <gasps> I'm getting Billie Eilish vibes. And the door opens full speed ahead. <sighs> I love this animation. And the voice says, the chords at the bottom. Oh, they're so good. Okay, the chords. Radiance. Let's go. And see our night. And the animation is so smooth. So smooth. Oh, this is Nura. I don't like this song enough for playlist, but it's pretty good. This is incredible. Okay, if this song hasn't won an award, that's someone made a wrong mistake. A wrong decision. Okay. This is perfect. 
I have no notes. It's, there's so much momentum and confidence and motion. It hasn't won an award. Whoever decides on music awards. <laughs> oh, and the drop and the beat. Wait, <laughs> that's so good. The idiom, the, idi the idiom is real. Get out your horse emotes. <laughs> Full speed ahead. I just imagine like neural charging with the lance. <laughs> the radiant. Oh, and the, the text too. Such a gem song. <laughs> yeah. So good. And like the lower things too. The beats. And how they're like. I love all of the sound effects put together. And the bass really like elevates the song too. I think Renegade's the only nominated song. Oh, this part is so good too. I love the like repeated lyrics. <laughs> ah, and that melody. They're all piggybacking Blimmy into battle. <laughs> ah, so real. So much energy. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm getting Sporticus vibes. <laughs> Low key. Funnily enough, none of the famous girls actually possess the family's true bloodline powers. Oh wow. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> no notes. Oh, are you seeing this? Back and sides exposed. Even though she should be fighting in that outfit. I mean, <laughs> maybe it's just the confidence. Neural can look good and fight confidently without like any regard for, for health or getting injured. Renegade and Immutable gets nominated. I need Radiant. I need Radiant to get a nomination. Please. Oh, and this visual effects too. With, again, the like choir. Or the louder... The louder drawn out lyrics. Oh, that's so she can heal herself. The song that makes me want to go running at 3am. <laughs> yeah, if I felt safe enough in a neighborhood, I might go running at 3am. Oh, it's for distraction. Oh, and Laura anyway. Light armor, but good luck getting her. <laughs> Honestly. I know, but by that logic, you might as well not wear anything. So good. And again, it's building. Oh, we but the new electronic bits. And like the guitar building in the background, like the 8th or 16th notes. Oh, doesn't need armor to rush into you with our spear staff blazing <laughs> with the speed of light. That is very true. If you're fast enough, no one can touch you. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog logic. <laughs> oh, and this chord at the end. That was incredible. That was incredible. I'm surprised no one uses the crying emoji for Margaret. Oh, I mean, she's pure light. That was like 10 out of 10. It needs an award. <laughs> That needs an award. That might be my favorite so far. She only needs a little bit of her skin to heal. The artist just uses weird designs for art. Oh, Neural Altar. Oh, I see you. And this next one is Field and the Light. So much brass. And like orchestra too. It's like we're going up an escalator or some stairs. Here we go. Another Pinus theme. <laughs> this might be my favorite, like, genre of Arcanine. It's the Pinus Sylvestris. Oh, and yes, please, LP. Please make some extra scrambled eggs for us. <laughs> oh, wow. So this is their battlefield because they, like, fight each other in arenas. <gasps> and the drums. More flame tail. And the rest of them. <gasps> A strategy called fake opening to funnel attacks from the enemy where you want them to attack. Oh, really? And here's the pirate part for the little knights I was talking about. <laughs> We love our pirate knights. Yield in the light. It's very... What is this genre? It's just like rock, I feel. Oh, and the higher bit too. It feels like a racing game soundtrack, like Need for Speed. I haven't actually played Need for Speed, but it's what I would expect. And the low bits too. There's... I actually have that skin as my home screen. <laughs> Incredible fit. Yeah. Oh, they're very fast. Oh, I wonder if that's kind of why Flametail has the evasion buffs, and that's like what 
Blink Tail relies on. It's like light armor, speed, and evasion. Oh, like the slow building and the horns. Wait, those horns are really good too. And like the tension. Oh, oh, pretty much. I see. All about speed, like fencing, maybe. Ah, oh, and that guitar part. There's so much energy in these songs. It's like confident, like the energy that a sports team would take into an event or something. All speed all the time. <laughs> oh, they have a good combat composition. A frontline fighter, tank, archer, and cavalry. Oh. I'd love to wonder, maybe do a challenge run with, with just Pinus units. <laughs> That'd be so great. Oh, what I love is that flame tail and far too. The six stars didn't get separate themes for themselves, but instead the entire club got two songs. <laughs> Absolutely, Sol. I love that they, like you were saying, brought in more of the units. And this like guitar, this melody. So good. Personally, I don't like dodge mechanics. Whenever they don't dodge, it feels like, oh. <laughs> I, I get that PQ. <laughs> because it's definitely a roll every time. A balanced party. Fartooth is the archer. Oh, so off to the left. Even if it's a crossbow. <laughs> Very nice. And again, the guitarists are just wailing. Oh, try R6S team comp clear because they'll have a full team on a rerun and an event. That could be so good. This team for Rainbow Six Siege. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Yes, the, sec the second trail for Navigator has Casimir's night team. <laughs> and like this, this slow moment and then it builds. I also love the like banner at the bottom of the screen. And these horns. Do you like to gamble with your life? <laughs> Justice Knight is a sniper. <laughs> oh, Justice Knight, please carry us with your sniping. Pina Sylvester's I3, IS3 solo. I'm actually writing that down. I just need a few more units. I think I got the Knight robot recently in recruitment. I, I intentionally used the robot tag because I, I was still missing some. Incredible, incredible. Oh, not Justice Knight is the artillery. 200 damage. And Silver Lightning is next. Oh, like Silver Ash. That, for the energy, I want to give it like a strong, like a 7.5. It was really good. And I feel like it really embodied the, the group of people. On to Silver Lightning, the Disney Prince. Oh, Silver Ash's theme is so good. A snowflake is forming. It's very different. I love this background. The snow falling, the, the strings, and like the, the lighter picked strings, the plucked strings higher up. Oh, and this bird. This is so pretty. Oh, the swelling. I need Silver Ash to have a movie or something. Like a solo anime episode, a short, ep like special. The singer's amazing. Silver so Ash. Oh, <laughs> isn't the greatest, but his song is good. Not a choice. Oh, shooing, shooing. <laughs> yeah. I actually love these lyrics. Yeah, it's giving like, like Prince, like Frozen even, or even a musical. Oh, oh yeah, Silver Ash sort of has two events. Oh. Yeah, I need a Silver Ash show song. The singer, you're right, is so good. I really love the melody and the chords in the background. Ah, oh, and the suspense that, that the strings were holding. And a short manga, yes. Yes, Ginger Rocks. Oh. I, I'm still not over the singer's voice. The really high, I don't know what those are, but like, like seventh or like 
9th to 13th notes that the strings are playing higher. Oh, and the like suspense that they have. Singing about Oa's country and its current path, basically. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, we'll have to catch the rest. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Bush. <laughs> Please get lots of rest. All that's known is lost. So, like, I'm trying to piece together what's happening in the country. This manga isn't translated. Official translation might take a while. I'm adding it to my list to go watch it. I need to read the Silver Ash manga. Oh, it's such a strong voice, too. Oh, I, I love this melody here. And, like, the descending strings. And the airy, like, choir in the background. That just blends in. Oh. And a second event hasn't been released in global yet. Oh, wow. I have so much Silver Ash to look forward to. Oh. That, like, background chord part reminds me of a certain Sonic the Hedgehog song. Yeah, Guiding Light. Oh. And the, like, glockenspiel. It's the song boys sing in the shower. <laughs> yeah, boys don't sing sea shanties. They sing <laughs> Guiding Light. Oh. That note, too. This is so pretty. And the camera moving forward. You'll never see them fall. It's like this country is like being compared to the mountains almost. Just wondering how many, oh, how many things did you type down to watch later? I have a huge list LP. The concerts, the boss themes, they're on their way, trust me. Yeah, politics in a, nut in a nutshell. It's people alone in a room singing to themselves. That's politics. <laughs> oh, and he's like, quiet instruments in the back, and the like, plucked strings. Oh. Reminder that the other translated mangas are free on the official site. That's right. I did write this down earlier, B2. Fun fact, Cliff Hart, Silver Ash's sister, has a world, a worldwide life collab scan when Arknights collab with the WWF to raise funds. Oh. That was so beautiful. I am liking that song. <laughs> Ah, oh, silver lining. I think... I, I have to give it like a 9, a 9.5 out of 10. Like, impeccable. I think the singer carried. The instrumentation was so good too. Gnosis is time. Heal the world. Oh, Gnosis is also really nice. We sing the boy band song of Iberian. Oh, Iberian's before and after. Oh, this like staticky noise in the back. I love songs that, like, that intro or build up this way. Oh, make it about our place. For you and me. Fill the world time. Oh, another really talented singer. I feel like the singers have only gotten better and better. Not that the early ones were bad. This is the end. Kevin Penkin made this. Super nice. Oh, that, like, vocal trill. And the clock on this blade. This is the train wrecker. Oh, oh no, sis. Oh, and that like electronic bottom part of the song. It's like an anime opening. Yeah, the vibe or an event ending. Yeah, Alexi. Oh, I could see this being such an ending song. Like an episode ends, something horrible happens, and the song starts playing. As like tears are streaming down your face watching. And these chants too. I'm still, I'm trying to pick out all of the electronic, like distorted sounds in the back. They know exactly who to pick for their songs. <laughs> no, exactly, Kat, for real. <laughs> By the way, why did Gnosis appear in A Altar Pulse? <laughs> Starting to burn. I still don't know much about Gnosis' story. This sounds like a theme when the main character is yapping about the power of friendship. <laughs> hey now, Un. <laughs> but you're right. You're actually kind of right. It's like that, like, self-motivating song. Like, reminding yourself of how far you've come and 
and giving yourself the strength to go on. That's the vibe I think the song does have. Oh, break the ice event. I've written down so many events. Gnosis did nothing wrong. People will never forgive Gnosis for how oh, much. Now I have to go play this event later. We need much. So Gnosis, again, it's like talking about moving forward to the future, like with Silver Ash. I wonder if Gnosis made a sacrifice or threw somebody under the bus for the sake of like the country or something. Oh, Gnosis equals self-sacrifice. A real pro. The people who played the event know. Wait, I was thinking Gnosis would sacrifice somebody else. But self-sacrifice. Mont deserves better. Oh. The end. People can't forgive Gnosis because he got sitted on by Doug and Brecker and not them. <laughs> it's a jealousy, or a zeer. Oh, he was just too emotionally. Oh, he didn't understand. Gnosis is just <laughs> so cold. Save me from the end. Oh, and all that like brass. Looking forward to the leaks. Oh, Sylvan Hair's event. The Kimprakia coming. <laughs> so real. Is that the other Silver Ash event that hasn't been released globally? Oh, the jealousy of Degen Brecker is real. <laughs> and the singer too. I think the chanting in the background really adds to the, to the effect also. It's like, it was maybe a hopeful or like longing song. And there's like this deteriorating, deteriorating undertone with, with this distorted electronic sound. Even the light is dimming around Gnosis. Oh, too dense. Oh, Gnosis doesn't know how to really show love to people. Oh, such a neurodivergent king. Oh, and then Gnosis disappearing and leaving this tool. I get the feeling Gnosis just wants things to be better. Why is this song getting me too? <laughs> this song and, and the one about spring really got to me for some reason. But I'll, I'll just take another drink. But, oh, Gnosis equals coup today, but I won't forgive him though for the poor train. <laughs> This next one is Revel in the Rain. Revel in the Real. Huh? And I'd have to give Nose's song like an 8. 8 or 8.5. Oh, is this Ling? All the percussion. The really strong drums. Oh, and this is another Chinese New Year song. Ling's theme. Oh, kind of a stuck up intellectual. Huh? Another Sui sibling. This animation is so pretty. The transitions. There's one thing Ark Knights knows, it's their transitions. Oh, I can flick the snow. And this, the lantern. This one's amazing. Every Zui is a good Zui. I love the horns in the background too. Incredible, iconic. Blue woman, let's go. But yeah, I love the, I love these flutes and how they move in different directions. Some are, there are some like plucked strings. Ah, I love this genre of music just in general. And there's a singer in the background. Where you can put this song as your own BGM in Arcanites? No way. I have to find where to unlock it. Amdika, you wish. Oh. Oh, I love the horns. Are those horns? Yeah, there's some horns and like strings in the background. This chord progression is so good. Oh, I found the playlist. You can now see what song is next. Oh, it's so pretty. I think this playlist is private on me. Yeah. Or is that the other Ling song? Oh, it might be. Again, it swells so much. 
I, I think this, this would be such a good song to have a more in-depth animation for. As I say that, oh wow. So like this orange drop and plants start to grow. That's incredible. This design effect, it reminds me of the spring song. Patzel team is clutching. And this dragon, again, I know it's been there the whole time. Oh, this with like the strings and the horns just escalating and rising. Oh, it's so good. So good. So many siblings like the infinity stones. The more you have, the more powerful you become. Collect them all and you're unbeatable. I wonder if they'll ever merge back together into that one person. After this is the year. That's some strong alcohol. Oh, iconic. Iconic. Again, I love how it like flows up and down. The song feels like like flowing or rolling hills on a countryside to me. Now we need to spray Dephora wearing a lab coat and a soldier uniform to commit war crimes. <laughs> I think you're thinking of Medicine Pocket from Reverse 1999. But she was the gauntlet with oh her buff. Again, the brass. It's like we're in suspense now, but I love this. I think this is a really good, a really good song. I wonder about Shu as a character. And just the Sui siblings in general. Ah, this part kind of reminds me of Xenoblade a little too. Like an overworld theme during the day. Ah, ah. Truly iconic. Oh, she rises good. Anything else is spoilers. <sighs> fine, fine. Ruffle and the real. Okay, and these horns. Ending on a lot of tension. <laughs> All right, the food. Maybe I'll marry. Maybe. Ruffle and the real. That was very. I think the animation was good. I think we've seen better. So like seven, six and a half or seven out of 10. Not bad, really good. Next is, and yet it wanes. Oh, Ling is big sis, she was the mom. Okay, these whistles are, for me, they're giving like a commercial. Oh, and next is Golden Glow. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like the core caretaker of the siblings. <laughs> Oh. Okay, drums. Very nice. Is this Ak again? Oh no, it's Lee. I confused Lee and Ak for a sec. Single dad Lee. Lee's theme is fire. Okay. Go off. The way it just keeps reiterating. It makes me want to dance. <laughs> and the horns. It's so jazzy. Lee's the best non-vocal track, period. Okay, and this like instrument that takes the, the part of a melody or where a melody would be. Beautiful, beautiful. She makes sure they behave and they eat healthily. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Lee, everybody's a weird uncle. Ah, oh, it's like the instruments themselves are scattered, and I love them so much for that. That one uncle, so real PM. Yeah. Buzz. Okay, that part's so good. I love this melody and how it keeps rising and getting higher. And there are some words just like in the background. It's almost giving like persona or or a certain Bungo Stray Dog song. A Bungo Stray Dog song. This detective agency has a cute cheapy anime. I have to watch this at some point. I'm taking so many notes. Oh, there's a mini series of Lee's Detective Agency. Okay. I'm, I'm writing all of this down. Oh, he always wondered when. Oh, he'd be released ever since Lee's Detective Agency was revealed in the story. Did that come before Mr. Lee? Oh, and these like wind instruments are going off. Oh, yeah, Bungle Stray Dogs vibes for real. It's like. Like if Dazai and Fitzgerald merged, maybe. It's giving like the, the Port Mafia a little bit. 
but also like money. And, the, and it's a detective agency too. The OST is always oh, good to you. And the fire. I love, I love these like bongos in the back, but I also love the whistles and songs. I think they're such a good touch. Except like the generic commercial whistles. <laughs> Those are kind of a little overdone, I think. Oh, the OST from LDA is good too. Huh? He's the only operator to just ignore stuns. Also, this like faux guitar. Incredible. It's giving, now it's giving Lego City. <laughs> Have you seen those Lego City commercials where like someone says, hey? That's what this part is giving for me. So they ignore stuns. Also, Lee's really good. Made some events a joke. Ugh. I didn't get Lee in that last banner. Is that banner? I don't think it's still open. The one with the penance? <sighs> Eventually. Eventually. That was so iconic. <laughs> that was so iconic. Lee for the win. But yeah, I think Lee out of 10, a solid 9. <laughs> Next is Spark for Dream. Eventually. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, gamer. Hey, there's a man drowning in the Lego City River. No, exactly, okay, exactly. A man has fallen for a man in Lego City. <laughs> oh, I love this visual so far. This seems like such a beautiful place. Gigi Chan, Jamie's daughter. I do have a golden glow. And the new outfit, too. Time to glow. The hairdresser's hem. So real. I love the like sound effects that almost sound like like a spray bottle or like a bottle opening. And this animation is so pretty too. I love the life 2D. Oh, Nami. The same artist as Mitsuki. Nami's daughter, I see. I kind of see the, the resemblance too. And the vocals are so good. Nami's children are, oh, Golden Glow and Mitsuki. Susie, everyone's sweetheart. <laughs> I love that this is just in a straight up hair salon. It's so cozy. Oh. Golden Glow the <laughs> dog. Yeah, I was reading some of Golden Glow's lore. Oh, and like this is Golden Glow's ability. Electricity and resonating with electric or like metal. And the way the way the lyrics changed. I love the lyrics on this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden Glow's everyone's favorite caster. Yeah. Is that a Tesla coil? Oh. Blank scissors. <laughs> yeah, Golden Glow's S2 art, E2 art. It's kind of terrifying. There are like, like little cats though too. The hair trendsetter. <laughs> Her event is hella depressing. Oh, I think I unlocked some of <clears throat> some of the event with like the the records that you can get in the the store. But oh, doesn't Golden Glow also have a lot of siblings too? Oh, poor cat. The more she said to have huge untapped arts potential. She just can't control it well, and her art stuff helps her with it. Oh, so that's what it's for. Oh. Christina V does it again. Oh, so this is Blaze's voice actor, and the one who sang the Blazy P. Oh, sad P. God on air. Oh, those vocals are so good. And the, the effects in the background. Again, the percussion is so well designed. And this animation. This is the skill. Oh, she does. Trouble controlling her arts, so the Tesla seems to dissipate the static buildup. Oh, I bet it makes her hair look better too, so it's not all frizzy. Pink Corona forever. Oh, flying scissors. <laughs> flying scissors. <laughs> oh, Golden Glow is depressing, but not as depressing as the children of Ursus. Oh, I, I have so many side stories to go back and play. Still no idea if she's a dog or a cat. <laughs> have you, okay. Have you seen a dog with this sort of tail though? Jean-Liel. <laughs> Let's be real. 
Oh, but she does meet Red in her event. You could order gold ship, you could say. Oh, Project Red. Oh, really? She got trauma so bad. She now zaps people uncontrollably. Oh. I wonder if that's like symbolic of something. Like people say like hurt people hurt other people. Spark to dream. Spark for dream. Oh. That could have a double gotcha meaning too. <laughs> Sparking for your dream characters. Oh, a Scottish fold cat. Yeah. It's just sort of dog-like. Okay, this is Prosha... Proshanie? Proshanie, I think. But the Golden Glow song, like an 8.5. It was really good. Proshanie. Oh, wait, you can read that. I can read some Cyrillic N. I just don't know what it means. It's kind of easy. Also, I love this, like, a cello or a viola. Allegor theme. Oh, a goodbye. Boris speak alien language. It's not alien, Ame. It's a Russian. Or Cyrillic. Oh, it's Allegor. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy. I think we saw Heliger in... Oh, in another Slavic language. Grandpa's song. I love the strings in the background. It feels very much like a campfire song or like sitting by a fireplace. Hello, Dad. <laughs> yeah, back to Ursus again. It's in Russian. At least 65. <laughs> Another slap. Yeah, this one really does slap. But the sword here heralds my fate. Holograms. Oh, this is such a talented singer, too. It's like, this could lull me to sleep, honestly. I'm getting deja vu. Oh, so good. I'd love to learn to speak more languages. I knew a little bit of not Russian, but Serbian once. <laughs> and that's the reason I can read some Cyrillic. The red that was referred to as a different character. Oh, the Red Avenger. Oh, Proshani. Proshani. Farewell parting. Oh, I see you. Song is closely coming to us. Oh, and those... Is that harpsichord? It doesn't sound like harpsichord, but like... The strings... Funnily enough, the singers are, oh, <laughs> they're from the U.S. singing in Russian. <laughs> I see. Oh, in the way, outside, like, the colors are dulling, it's getting darker. Oh, this is such a beautifully orchestrated song, I feel. The way the strings accent the voice. I do like their songs. Also, have translation translations together with the lyrics. Yeah, beer. <laughs> That's so, it's so convenient. I think it's nice, especially for a global audience. I'm gonna like him. He didn't screw up my knee and dinner. <laughs> oh, um. Oh, um. So someday. Or can you ever get the... Can you ever get those siblings again? Oh, and it's swelling. This is so pretty. The, like, echoing voices. They serve together with... Oh, Patriot and Ursus military. So Frost Nova's father figure served with Helga, just as a regular polyglot plant. <laughs> I nothing like that, Goomer. I I'm not a plant for starters, but oh, 300 falls. I'm sorry, um, we will need a lot of his old war buddies. Oh, I'm so interested. Yeah, I had to take another sip of water. Oh, Gopnik. That was so pretty. That was a beautiful song. The choir is beautifully implemented. Ah, oh, for real, Alexi. I think I'd have to say 10 out of 10. It's just so iconic, I feel. Oh, screw up my Zhang Yu banner. A long vacation. Oh, already, I'm loving the orchestration. Oh, it's so smooth. 
It's so smooth. It's like elevator waiting music, hotel jazz, a long vacation. Oh, the one punch bear. So good. I voice when somebody knocks in my bath stall and I say occupied. This goes so hard. Oh, ours are in Victoria right now. The way the horns were just blowing. Oh, it's La Pluma. I got La Pluma recently. And is this Scotty? I love, I love this voice. This feels very, oh, it is Scotty. It feels very reverse 1999 to me. Oh, like the scatting and everything. Truly iconic. Oh, and Schwarz, yeah. La Pluma in bartender mode. Incredible. I love how we're seeing more of these characters get animated in different ways. The style reminds me of Path to Nowhere a little bit, not gonna lie. I'm having cruise ship party vibes. Yeah. We're just out out on, on the town, on the ocean. Yeah, incredible. And those horns, those horns are going so hard. Oh, on the piano. I love those chords that just played. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, and the horns stepping in. Oh, by the way, did you know Rhodes has a fully operational bar? It's called the One More Drink. That's so incredible. One More Drink indeed, Matasa. I wonder if that's where they are now. Just floating where trucking along on, on the Rhodes Island caravan. I hope that the cruise ship doesn't crash into an iceberg. Ah, uh, no. Too soon. Oh, and the scouting. Okay, this is incredible. This is, this is beautiful. I use this song every time I showered in my summer vacation. Oh, wow. Very nice. Also, good luck with you one more, more pole and <laughs> Me every day, literally. Hey, Red. <laughs> we went from depresso espresso to fungaritas really quick. I love how, how much emotional whiplash there is from EP to EP. Especially looking at them in chron chronological order. There are worse things in the north than icebergs. <laughs> yeah, like the horrors and like the sarcasm. The bar should be around middle layer of the ship. The info book released recently actually has a full schematic. I wonder if we could get furniture to recreate this bar in one of the, the lounge rooms. Yeah, they're just chilling. Ah, uh, and the horns, again, are going so hard. I'd love to maybe learn this piano. I know there isn't a lot going on with the piano, but... Ah, uh, Sarkas are actually oh, helping in the north. Oh, that's right. The actual demons live in the north. Not the Sarkaz. I really like the next EP after this one. <laughs> oh, nice days. I'll look forward to it, John Ria. Oh, the piano. Something about the piano combined with the voice lines. Oh, so good. Dark Knight's legit has a lot of music genres. <laughs> no, for real. While listening, Arc Knight's playlist is just like listening to the evolution of musical genres from classic to electronic. Yeah, it's like the full range of music. Oh, and these, these animations are so good. Feels like you. I'd love to live in the Rhodes Land ship. Oh, there's a hotel furniture one. Oh, nice. I'll have to keep an eye out. Okay. Onto Eternal Flame. That song. I could see myself crying to that song before this. Like 8.5 or 9 out of 10. Oh, what kind of music do you make? I. <laughs> I for grip. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for real. So, Eternal Flame. Again with this. This style at the beginning. Is this Ursus? <gasps> or no. Oh, the phoenix, angry bird, Flamara. Oh. Scattered in the sky. Oh yeah, the phoenix. Oh, and the drones. Welcome to Laterano. Oh, is this our first Laterano song? 
or first in a while. There was, I think, Archetto earlier. Oh, wow. Wait. Okay, the chords. And the ar arpeggios in the background. Beautiful. And the singing is so incredible. Okay, this needs an award. Is this the KFC song? Bouts the law. By the way, the singer for this also sings for the song in Ex Astras. Yeah, yeah, kid, the build-up is so good. That's so beautiful. And the keys, the chords. Wait till the beat drops. Really? Okay, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, the voice effect. This reminds me of... <laughs> of Cryo Shell, that one Bionicle band. Yeah, Ashes. Oh, and the lower voice too, mixing in. The Rhodes Island land ship isn't city sized. Oh, it's more like an actual ship, I think. If somewhat bigger, but still living with so many interesting people, it would be so nice. Yeah. Somehow the boss named Andoen sounds like my name. Oh yeah, for real, Anne. Yeah. The build up and drop were so good. And the singer, the singer is carrying, I think. Better on our music is all for the dubstep church music, especially Andoen's absolute fire. I really like this genre. It's really growing on me, not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Church step. Oh, I still laugh when I remember. The Pope is packing heat. <laughs> oh, and that little flowery bit too. Oh. Oh, and the target. Ah, oh, this chorus is so good. Boss music, such a long stream. Ah, oh, so good. Is this boss music? God dancing on dumpstep BGM. Oh, could we quickly play Andoen Boss theme? Oh, I could go find it. I could open another tab to the side. The Pope has a revolver. Okay. Let me find the boss theme to the side. Okay. It feels topical. And this visual effect too with like flames. Yeah, these are operator dreams today. But. Ah, oh, martyr boss theme. The Pope is Gabe Oh Noel, the creator of Steam. Oh, really? And the visual effect of like eternal flames and crawling through the flames from the ashes. Oh, that's so good. Our new skin fits this part of the song so much. Angry Bird, the better KFC. <laughs> Actually, okay. Just for the sake of the sake of keeping everything categorized, I might save the boss theme for a boss theme stream eventually. But I see it. I have it saved. I promise. Oh, it's just the meme. The Pope is Gavin. That's funny. Oh yeah, KFC is real and see unorganized apparently. Oh, this one's really good. The next is March On. And the last one, nine and a half out of ten. Incredible. Eternal Flame. Again, Monster Siren. Why am I surprised? It's always Monster Siren. Oh, it's Horn. Oh yeah, the Horn sounds too. Propaganda. So like a fire is burning. A city or a tower. Our favorite horn. Oh, more Victorian propaganda. Oh, and the, the other instruments. And this pose. This singer. Wait. This this singer, this vocalist is incredible. Maybe KFC Global too, but it's hard to do it. KFC Worldwide. I get that on. The horns really are carrying. Monster Siren is love. <laughs> Monster Siren is alive. <laughs> It's so pretty. Again, it feels very... It's like... It's similar in ways to... 
the like Victoria propaganda theme earlier. It was like a princess idealistic song. But it's like a, a battle cry even more so. For Victoria. Nationalism for a country that doesn't exist. Yeah, Dax. <laughs> yeah. Kinda makes me want to stand Victoria. Oh, it's a Hypergrips subsidiary company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Best military commander changed my mind. <laughs> oh, and these lyrics. We march on. Yeah, they said the line. <laughs> I love the high notes too. Oh, these are high notes. And again, all the strings and horns working together. MSR is actually both in game and real music. Okay. Oh, and this part the choir. The way that the choir and horns. It's like all the instruments and vocalists are in unison, and the drums are the only thing that's different. And the transition and gets a horror. I was not expecting the guitar. Oh, yeah, Rita's, Rita's very hardcore military. There's no pro propaganda and character themes because it's the character's view. We're talking about pro propaganda, it's the PV. Oh, I see, Matery. It can be fun to joke about propaganda, though. Oh, but yeah, Zaylich was earlier. Horn is a wolf. Oh, do you go Victoria or Vatican? Uh, are those the two sides? It's <laughs> dubstep versus Victoria's fighting. Yeah, carried so hard. The flames are burning brighter. This visual effect hits so different. Uh, they knew what they were doing. Uh, that's so hard. I think it depends on which one I'm listening to. Maybe I'm a little partial to Victoria. Just a little bit. <laughs> But they're both so good. What about all of you? Victoria or the Vatican? <laughs> Emotional load of seeing how brittle her shield looks after holding against so many attacks. Oh. Dark Knights even has a website just for the music. <laughs> that was so beautiful. I, I'd i say like, yeah, 10 out of 10. Victoria stands. <laughs> oh, Victoria. So real. And a grand adventure next. For Victoria, Columbia. Oh, the best song is coming. Ladder of Worshipper. Incredible. Wait. Okay, already. I love this. <laughs> now for the marching theme. Okay, it's like march on. How how Victorians view themselves. A grand adventure. How they actually are. <laughs> In my imagination. Oh, Doden, is this? It's the Doden theme. It's Myrtle. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> this is iconic. The wink. <gasps> Animated Doden. Oh, these are the Doden. Destroyer of worlds. <gasps> I love seeing them animated. Three and four stars. Welcome to the Myrtle group. <laughs> Truly iconic. Hobbits for real. <laughs> this is like Lord of the Rings. Somehow this reminds me of Cursed Happy Tree Friends. Oh. Wait, Myrtle's flag is her family's table club. <laughs> That's even better. I love the orchestration. And those like upgrade materials at the bottom. I don't know what they mean or what they're there for. Onward on our grand adventure. Durant is so lazy she used her Yeah, her species as her code name. Uh Oh yeah, like inventory. Well, here we are, marching on through these hills <laughs> on our just cozy adventure. I love the little voices in the background. <laughs> They're incredible. They've taken Durance to the Isengard. <laughs> They've taken the Durance to the Isengard. <laughs> uh, we're going out to grind with this one. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, Myrtle is the DP printer. Okay, flame tail though, flame tail though. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen Myrtle being used so much. It's like a song, oh, and an RPG starting down. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Durant's so out. <laughs> Who took the sleepy head to the fields? 
Yeah, Dora needs a nap, absolutely. It's like, also like those old timey cartoons too. Turtles, the most used operator in every CC. Oh uh, yeah, practically any standard bearers. That's fair, that's true. I love this. <laughs> oh, the horns. The horn's almost like getting jazzy too. And the glockenspiel. It's very marching band. Myrtle's literally the most used operator. The secret seven star. Oh. Takes from Elysium, criticizing Myrtle, who brings a flap to the battlefield. That's a bunny on. Honestly, you're incredible. <laughs> incredible. Oh, I stand my vanguard taxes. A grand adventure. I'll give you a solid six or seven out of ten. It was really funny and cozy. Next is a weight gun. Oh, Myrtle's broken at DP fronting. Oh, yes, Vector. <laughs> All made summoning noises. Oh, yeah, because undertides, like literally a weight gun. Again, with the like tremolo effect. Oh, wait. I have been called. This is actually incredible. The chanting. That's so beautiful. It reminds me of like a Fire Emblem boss theme. Adam Goodman has it added again. And the strings. This animation is so pretty. Okay. Inside the entire flag bearer category, the only one that uses a flag is Salik. I love that high bit with the strings. Awaken follow seaborns. Oh, like awakening the seaborn. Miss <sighs> Specter in this house we only know Laurentina. <laughs> oh, and this vocalist. I love how the choir is coming in too. Like the seaborn maybe awakening and joining the song. Oh, like Gura with psychological issues. <laughs> I'll never be a seaborn. That's what they all say, Ice. <laughs> That's what they all say. The first stage is denial. <laughs> oh, it's like waving. I love these lyrics. The way they're written reminds me of like a musical. Yeah. I need Arc Knights the musical like now. <laughs> like yesterday. Oh, this is such a good solo too. And the strings. She awakens from her brainwashed state, therefore the title of Unchained. Oh, a Spectre Unchained. So a Spectre Alter. I won't become a Seaborn, I'm already a bonus flame chaser. Oh. I'm with the Iberia on this one. <laughs> Embrace the Golden Age. Also, the eyes glowing red. And that opera singer. That's so talented. And again, like with the song from before with Scotty, we're seeing the school of fish. Or like, flowing fish surround Spectre. Mommy, sorry. And the bass, or like the bass notes coming up. Pirate Nun. Oh, the singing. And the whispering. That's so pretty. An opera singer said this is incredibly hard to sing. I have to go watch an opera singer react to this. I love the voice parts too. I like the snippet from the post credit scene in the Stilts of Her Office trailer. Yeah, I know she's kind of in the state of controlled insanity. Wow. Because like, Spectre and all of the, this is kind of a spoiler, but all the Abyssal Hunters are, are constantly dying but regenerating. And that's, that's kind of how the origin name, origin name and faction is getting caught off. My favorite line in all the Arknight songs is how made the crazy laugh into something melodic. Yeah, no, exactly. And they said they were talking about the tides. The lyrics are so good. She has enough concentrated originium to kill a small country, yeah, Russian. And yet her infection is what's able to keep her going. Difficult song to sing, yeah. Oh. oh, the solo was really good too. The laughing. All the songs and OST related to Abyssal Hunters are bangers for real. No, absolutely. 
No, because actually. <laughs> Difficult song to sing. I'm loving all this banter of love. <laughs> oh, am I awakening? Yeah, the skin is amazing too, Rada. Oh, and these strings at the end. Incredible. Incredible. Marco Meatball is an operator singer that reacted to the song before and gave some good analysis. I'll have to go find that. I'll have to go find that reaction on. Rapier or Rapier. Spectre stand here. Ah, <sighs> yeah, 10 out of 10 for Awaken. Oh, this is Irene's. The one everyone forgets about. The forehead. <laughs> Shiny forehead. Irene's theme. Oh, she doesn't use the Originium for arts or anything. It just holds her back. Oh, technically not infected. Because spoilers. <laughs> and these strings are so, like, powerful. At the bottom of the song. It feels like a foundation. Like a behemoth that's moving slowly. Oh, Exeter. I'm the number one stan. <laughs> oh, Kiana, let's go. Oh, that's right, this lantern that we've seen in some visuals. Oh, this is the old Irene art. <laughs> if actually, oh, you haven't heard this one. <gasps> I wonder what it'll be about. Spain without the A. <laughs> Irene has the same JPVA. Oh, is Kiana from Honkai Third? Really? Also that light in the tower in the back. And the bass note, the bass guitar note. The way, I love how the bass line works. And like tandem and different from. And the drums are so powerful. The lighthouse. Oh, Marcho has deduced complete stories from the characters correctly, just from the songs. That's incredible. Wow. The Inquisitor. Oh, and this distorted effect. It's like a grainy film. So, if I remember correctly, Irene like wants to prove herself. Especially after facing Scotty Alter. I hope Irene gets to be taken seriously for once eventually. <laughs> She's distorting. These strings. The melody. That string melody from before. Feels a little like Death Note to me. And then the storm is intensifying. The Spanish Inquisition. I live in Spain. What are you expecting? Oh, nice. Yeah, training to deal with the Seaborn. The Seaborn. <laughs> oh. Oh, and these this chord progression too. The fandom ships Laurentina. Oh, and Irene Hard. <laughs> and they're so real for that. Oh, this piano key also. It's like a calm in the storm too. Like a, a breath of fresh air before everything goes back to, to chaos. Irene taken seriously. <laughs> What are these words doing in the same sentence? <sighs> I'm sorry, gamer. <sighs> I, I should have said Irene. So not relevant. Irene irrelevant. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> and the gap in Irene's voice is the gap away. <sighs> Again with the descending strings and the rising like choir. The counterpoint is so good. <gasps> oh, her maid skin is nice too. <laughs> No one expects Iberia's Inquisition. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, isn't there one with... Oh, Irene and Lumen too. I love Spectre for doing that. Oh, Spectre teases Irene. That's great. I think teasing Irene is so real. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Kappa. I know the calm after the storm. A story in three acts. Before the storm, the storm, and then afterward. That was so beautiful. I... I really like Irene's theme. I prefer Oh Lumen and Irene. Oh, her development is pretty cool. But I'll let you find out that out yourself. <sighs> Soon. <laughs> I think not two days from now, but next week. I think still to Ferenavis. If... I have to go back and double check that my units are built enough to get through the story. But... It's on my list. Next is bluish light. Talk about Lumen. <laughs> oh, this, these keys are so pretty. Oh. Oh, and this... It looks like a map and a compass. 
and some sort of hair beads. The lighthouse again. The guitar is so beautiful. Oh, Jordy is here. Wait, this animation looks so good. It reminds me of like Galabalna and Shemaine from Reverse. Oh, Basil the Fish Boy. And this vocal. This vocalist is so good. Okay, this singer is incredible. And the keys are just so simple. Oh, oh, a beta fish. Oh, sad fish boy. This could also fit into a musical, I feel. Ah, oh. again, I need this animatic. Oh, the boss in that event's annoying. Oh, I see, I see. I wonder about this character's story. Oh, beta fish, but kind of Chad. Let it come. It's so <laughs> luminescent. Oh, oh, this these vocal lines hit oh, so hard. The rain is pouring, and the storm dissipated in the background. Oh, sounds like Aladdin singing. Oh, you're kind of right, Alexi. I can so hear it. Poor boy lost everything. Finally found answers and direction. Oh, so sweet. The live version and concert was superb. I'm so looking forward to the concert. I'm so excited. With the light. No, for real. So like drifting. Oh. This is so good. Oh, and the way the weather changes, the way the environment changes, is so pretty. First heir to ever join the Iberian Inquisition. Oh, kind of sounds like a love song to me. Or maybe so, Amir. I really love the keys in the background. They're so minimalist, but... And these strings remind me of Finding Nemo. The, like, Nemo soundtrack. Oh. And the way the guitar strumming builds. So, so beautiful. And it sounds... Oh, it is a love song. Yeah, Lama's so brave. I'm assuming. The lyrics are so nice. I love how they're like seagulls flying too. The second thing is also good too. Oh. As a straight man, I wish this man took me on the boat out to the ocean while playing guitar and singing. I, I think you may have to, to learn some new things about yourself, Alexi. <laughs> the fire awakening is real. Oh, and the light, the light he's speaking of is Irene. <laughs> Irene Sephora headlight. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I couldn't read through your whole your whole message. Anne. the harmonica, and the way the way Lumen closes his eyes here. The song talks about his struggles and how he's looking, oh, not for safe shores, but enlightenment. And so, like going past this like need for safety, but but moving beyond it to something deeper or more meaningful. Oh. <laughs> Jordy's so pretty. Next is Melting White. I have to say, Bluish Light, like nine and a half out of ten. It's, that was such a good song. I know I've been giving a lot of it high ratings, but they're just really good songs. Melting White. <gasps> Penguin. <laughs> Melting White. Or I should see, oh, the animations by Harlequin Wheels. I'm writing this down, <laughs> taking so many notes. I love this voice, the singer. Also, this feels like a Christmas special or like a holiday special event. Oh, Emperor. <laughs> Emperor's little waddle. Melting in copyright? Oh, it's not copyrighted. Is that? It's not. I don't think it is. Very, yeah, holiday low five. <laughs> oh, and it's our penguin friend. Oh, oh and there's Amiya and, and Shaw. Shaw animated. That's crazy. I love this visual. It's so pretty. Oh, it's the first holiday song, I think. Oh, 
the duck song. Oh, for a long time, End Sheep was my favorite song from our Polish uncle. Let's go back here. Oh, that note. It's just walking through a big city. I love Emperor's animations. And the really, like, lo-fi chords and beats. It's very, like, minimal, but it just works so well together. Put the left side of the road. I see a car. Oh, is that Excusia? Is that Excusia in Texas? Emperor's solo is just really epic. Emperor's Benton Bars. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Emperor to just go off. Oh, the one in Emperor's Shirk is Tupac. Oh, the IRL rapper. I'm putting this in my car next time instead of music for Drive Movie. Okay. This feels like the KK Slider solo. Also, I love the color change. Is this the Emperor solo? Oh, this is Emperor Hagwood's in chat. Glow sticks in chat. Emperor Koi. Quacking. <laughs> I'm beautiful. Impeccable. Beautiful. Oh, but refuses. Is this a JoJo reference? The quacks. The quacks brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> this is someone playing trombone champ badly. I mean, I mean, what? That's incredible. Emperor go off. <laughs> Fitting bars. <laughs> but yeah, and that like really soothing guitar and like strings in the background. It also means Tupac was canonical in the world of Arknights. <gasps> so real, so real. <laughs> Tupac canon. And only emotes and chat will ever use. <laughs> You're so real for that, Dax. <gasps> but yeah. Waku waku. Is this another language? Or just gibberish? It sounds so nice. It's like, it feels like a summer song. Like a beach song. But it works because it works with the winter theme too. But we're trying to diversify into ballads. <laughs> and realizing they're maybe not built for it. <laughs> That's so funny. Rhythm and literature. I... The last one, iconic, I'll say eight and a half, 8.5. Oh, just gibberish. <laughs> and we're at 64 out of 94. I, I think I might go until about six hours and then maybe see where we are. I might try and push through, but if we're not, if we're not close to the end, I might break this up into a part two. More EPs are still releasing anyway. Well, this one goes hard. The IS2 boss theme. Look closely at Magdalene's E1 art. She has Emperor's keychain. Oh, that's right. I think I noticed that before, Matasa. Rhythm and literature. So good. Oh yeah, this is the theme from ISU. Time to, time to learn some literature. And that red... I don't like this red fog. This red fog is such a pain in ISU. Fake French. <laughs> Oh, and the lyrics. And Phantom Fading On. I wonder if this song has Phantom of the Opera imagery or, or motifs. Oh, Emperor Spitting Bars, but can't get Magala. Oh, where's my beautiful cat? Phantom so hot, so true ice. And these horns and the percussion. I don't know what these words mean. Oh, where's Christine? <gasps> I wonder so much about the story. And what, like, is actually going on. There are some of the chords. <laughs> I feel like that was the Phantom reference. Oh, the playwright on the left. Oh, it's literally fake French. Oh, so like gibberish, but out of French. Apparently, according to the Rainbow Six operators, Terran languages sound like Earth language and mutated. So maybe this is real French, but mutated versions of our French. <laughs> it's funny. Being how cool Phantom is, 
Oh, don't forget that he's a cat boy. Oh, is he? That's right. That's right, this is our cat. <laughs> I love... Again, I've said this before. I love when opera singers are so talented that they can sing fake languages so well and convincingly. Oh, Gaul was destroyed years ago. Oh, that's right. France doesn't exist, but it did. The tongue... The Chanka said that Ursus was like Russia if it was written wrong. <laughs> wow. Oh, Gal is Arknight's French. I see. And the cities are gone, but oh, some of the people survived. Lucian. Yeah. I want to know Lucian's story so badly. And the swelling strings. So beautiful. I love, again, how it's like this whispering in the background. And it's almost like. The voices are the instruments, and the instruments take center stage again. Yeah, the playwright boss theme. So good. The chanting and the, the singing. I love the main melody too. That's why we have the grasso! Uh, I've, someone sent me a, a video of Thorn soloing the boss in IS2, so maybe I'll just get to support Thorns this time. Oh, and the mask glowing. I wonder if... I wonder if Phantom becomes Lucian. Or like, the boss anyway. When putting the mask on. And why would you have the mask on? Or maybe IS2 was all just one big act or stage player. Who knows? <laughs> they have a saying, forgive my Gaulish, referring to ours, forgive my French. <laughs> That's funny, Alexi. It's Dan Chan. Okay, 65. The Terran version of Napoleon got defeated. Oh, and rating the last song. I'd say it was really good. It was iconic. But was it? I think I'd say it's, se it's 7 out of 10. It's really good, but... But there are lots of other really good Arknight songs. I think Lynn said that in a live stream. Oh, your IS2 takes are half right. It is a stage play here. I wonder if it's like also so pretty, the instruments, the like dust specks in the air. Oh, this one's opera-ish too. Is this Evans? Wait. Time for Evanheimer to shine. We love Evan. There he is. Evan the depressed boy. I love Stan Chan. Oh, this animation is so pretty. Evan's pose, I think, says so much. He's still my little classical musical with the music Sunshine. No way. Oh, depressed. Oh, that flute. And the piano in the background. And the Arcanite Stan Chen remix. <laughs> it's literally an IRL song remixed with lyrics. <gasps> Look closely at the video. I spend my life. Okay. And there, there are English lyrics. Is this post the event story? Because the cello is sitting like, or the viola is sitting alone, and now Evan is also alone. It's one of the most beautiful ones. Oh, yeah, they use the actual stun as the bass, and opera singer that reacted to it said that. No way. Also, the music is. Orchestration is so good. There's that coat too to the left. Oh, Evan's expression. That's why he's posed. That's why he's depressed. Oh, it was Marco. Oh, and all this darkness. It's like Evan sitting in this darkness and looking out into the light. Also, the fact that Evan, a noble who's been raised to like act prim and proper, sit up straight, is like slouched over. I know Evan's alone, but... And Evan's horns are glowing. And the door left. Yeah. The door disappeared. And now just this music is manifesting. And the electric guitar. Oh, this is so beautiful. And the horns coming in. I called him Eppenheimer since his S3. It's so hard as Eppenheimer. He's an extremely funny event. 
I I played through most of the rerun, and then I had to go level my units. Also, this opera singer is belting, and the way the rhythm is working. No escape, no help. Just doing the with the skill. That's right, because I don't remember Evan's friend's name, but Evan's friend was like the only Saras. The cello playing would wake Evan from like sleeping with headaches, tossing and turning. The lyrics just hit so hard. Yeah. Funny isn't how hard people are coping for the mommy NPC. Yeah, the like evil mastermind. Craig, thank you. Yeah, I'm thinking of Craig. This, this is so sad. I mean, yes. um, Evan listens to rock and metal, which he hates to draw the voices in his head. So this is literally something Evan would listen to, and maybe even sing alone. Yeah, villain vibe for real, bodily. I wouldn't be surprised if Evan went on some sort of rampage. Evan's been through so much. Evan listens to metal music. He hates it, but he knows someone that hates it more. Creed. Or, or the person inside. The voices inside. Oh, and the soft piano. The, like, descending notes. The interesting thing is, the song has different meanings when you listen to it before versus after the event. Really? You can't help that... <laughs> she looks like Milf Texas. <laughs> yeah, that did come up in chat a lot, not gonna lie. Yeah, the voice says. Oh. I I have to give that like 9.5 out of 10. The door disappearing. All of the the environmental storytelling with the event story. Oh. Incredible. Random randomly. He's already rampaging with his S31 shouting bosses. Oh, the Aether again. <laughs> Goofy song. Is it more weird gore? Well, here we go. I don't know what to expect. It's giving like, like a weird cartoon. You know, like a cartoon that you would see on at like 3 a.m. And just forget you saw it the next morning. Swire and Snow's aunt, the funky is so back. Oh, you really like this? Incredible. More drones. This one's a bunny. The pros and cons on a crossroad. What was that takeout? <laughs> or just a drone? So a lot of construction's happening. Hesitating. So it was like deciding where to go. Also, I love that this group is hanging out. Comfy Jessica. <laughs> yeah, burrito Jessica. <laughs> That's so fun. Rich Cat and Burb Trio. This visual is so clever. A dice game. I love the lyrics. They're so high. And again, the guitar. Not sad, Jessica. Yeah. Oh, it's a rare Mandarin song. No way. Todito. Absolutely. I wonder what the song... This song came out a year ago. Or over a year. It has such a bop. Such a bop rhythm. And all those, like, clever instrument instrumentations. Like, the sounds they all make. Oh, BS is short for Black Steel, but I can't unread it. Yeah, on. I think it's so funny because Black Steel isn't it based in Colombia? So it's, like, based on, like, North America anyway. Spire Alters themes in Cantoneers. Oh, nice. Good swing vibes. We love, we love hearing lots of Chinese dialects and songs. Hey Derek, hi hi! What is she reacting to this incredible song about randomness and choices? Be random, be free, throw the dice, live a little. Yeah chat, this is a song, this is actually gotcha propaganda, I'll have you know. This is a song telling you to use all of your currency right now. You'll be lucky. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, P.S. is Colombian Mercs. <laughs> Beautiful lyrics. <gasps> it's literally the Gacha player's experience. Superposition state of infinite possibilities. 
It's like those songs that overcomplicate things. It's like an overcomplicated version of Gotcha. I love these dice visuals though. And Jessica just snoozing. <laughs> Time to gamble my hard earned F2. Free to play a random song, Jessica Alter. That's right, Red. I, I think you've taken a good moral away from this song. And again, the, I don't even know what to call these instruments. Whatever they are. Ah, and the like symbols. Whatever will be, will be. I mean, you're not wrong. Good vibes and good morning, Gray. Welcome back. Random randomly. I think out of 10, I'd rate it. Like a solid eight. It, it was weird. It was good. Yeah, it was weird and good. And next is All Hail Savior. Oh, another like metal, metal song. Oh, is this Gavial? Like a certain streamer once said, it's a goddamn Leviathan. I'm imagining the Archosauria, or sing the Archosaurus are singing this. Gav Alter, the Great Chief Returned. Okay, this vocalist, incredible. You're screaming! I love this animation. And it's very... This also feels like a Sonic song. Like a Sonic the Hedgehog song, sort of in the way it's written. Like Live and Learn or something. I love the like choir or the backing singers too, emphasizing some of the lyrics. So good. Axe Chainsaw. Oh, it kind of reminds me of a song from Oh Rupi. I've heard many a person say it's similar to a KC Lee song. No way. I, I feel like I've heard KC Lee songs before. And the screaming too. It works so well. It's very fast paced. Ah, oh, incredible. Abandoned. Friends turning to rivals. I don't think I've played the first Gavalter event. Yeah, but being a doctor is the scariest part. <laughs> Meaning she can, she can and will break every bone in your body if she wants to. Yeah. No, literally. ABS. <laughs> Does that stand for Black Steel, maybe? Singer for This is Christina B. Who has also done a live and also guested on movie songs. <gasps> no way. So rad. You have a good year. We're just a sacrifice. Okay. I have to say, this looks like a, th a thick tail. I don't think this is a thin tail anymore. <laughs> oh, there is one Casey the Arknight song. Oh, that Ruby music artists have done a song for Arknights too. <gasps> no way. These lyrics are so great. It's like, I'm getting that it's like Gav Gaviel is singing this toward the former comrades, friends, tribes, people that like left her behind. Then Tales of Primacy. Casey Lee actually has Arknight's song. Unfortunately, it's copyrighted. Oh, I see PM. That feels too strong. Her guard form is OP, but her medic form is four star. Yeah, no, for real, for real. But Oh, copyright out. I just haven't seen Thomini's tale. And those, and those guitars. I love when screaming is done well in music. And it feels like it just fits so perfectly. Chanting, the like jungle aesthetic. Oh, and it has come to light. This song is more or less her ideology. I love that we get to see more and more of some characters, like Gaviel, as the story goes on and they get alters. I hope we get to see that treatment with others. But Gav Alter and normal Gaviel together, and they be committing war crimes. Honestly, the Gav Alter and regular Gaviel challenge runs, incredible. Wow, I can see you're blasting this together with Dorans after the event at a party. Yeah, Alexi. No, literally. Undertopia. I'd I'd give the last one, 
like a 7.5 or an 8. It was really, really good. Gabriel's solution to healing. Beat up all anyone dangerous. No need to patch up allies. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Mayrody. Please get lots of rest. Oh, let's go, Posey Theorem. Oh, Posemka. Nice, nice. This song sounds so familiar. I love that. I love that vocal part. Also, this like black and white or sepia tone with a little bit of color. Oh, the color is so like, vivid. I love the vibes of this song so much. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard this before somewhere. This is so pretty. It's also giving path to nowhere for me. Yeah, Bozimka. Also, so you like the bluish light. There's another song with the full Iberian boy band, Lumen Thorns and Elysium. I'm so excited, BS. Also, this ribbon effect. And this, like, cozy jazz. The drums, the bass, and the piano, I think, work so well together. And the bass comes in. Oh, I don't know what that... I don't know what some of those characters mean. Pink Lupo. Oh, before and after is lovely. Oh, this is so pretty. And the vocalist. The way there are these like accented vocals in the background too. It's just so pretty. Chef's kiss. And the repeated lyrics. Oh, beautiful warm fine date vibes. Yeah. Or like like a toast. And we're getting a speech from Pozemka for some reason. I could also see this being repurposed into like a musical of sorts too. Oh, her real name is Avdotya. Oh, Avdotya. I see you. It just flows. It's like a swing. I love the swing beat. Oh, Avdotya. Chains are broken. And that synthesizer too. I was like sneaking in. She was so sick of Ursus. She went to chill with Durin's underground. I'm just so real for that Russian. I'm just so real for that. These, these lyrics and the delivery. I love that like little distorted off off keys and the two. She was the daughter of a round Ursus noble family. And somehow escaped to a different city. Oh. Honestly, more power to her. Okay, but who's holding on to the leash? Oh, is that actually a leash? I didn't notice. I thought those were just ribbons. Shells. Yeah. Stories about her journey and escape from her hell and finding a new channel. Like literally clawing through and finding her way down underground. To her under Topia. Now she becomes a Durin. <laughs> yeah, literally. Oh, it's so pretty. It's giving like those songs that people write about intense personal experiences. And the way that those songs tend to be the realest, especially when sung by their their writers. Oh, so pretty. The running joke is she's uncontrollably abdu abducts Durin. <laughs> Oh, all EP themes have a story. So good. So good. I, 9 out of 10. Solid 9 or 9.5. Honorary turn. Your star is next. She's just very, very protective of her new adopted people. Oh. I love that effect in the background. That, like, that synth noise. It is utopia compared, yeah, to what she was living through. No, exactly. Oh, it's a copyright. Forget I said anything. Chat, you're incredible. You're incredible. Your star, my star, <laughs> all star. Okay, we made it through. We made it through. 
Magic Theorem. Oh, Magic Theorem is next. I think someone mentioned this before. Just in time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a close. It's from DJ Okawadi. <laughs> star, star of copyrights. Yeah, your star of copyright strikes. Thank you, Antika. I even wrote it down. I even wrote it down up here. I was just so entranced by the Doden song. <laughs> oh, I will listen to those off stream though. It's a super nerdy love song. Oh, that's right. This is Dor Dorothy's song. Three month delay. I love the like, like the radio, the like announcer filter. So pretty, the funny yellow symbol. It's like in a lab. Dorothy. Oh, why the thumbnail is the IS2 stream? Oh, did the thumbnail change? I, I can go back and make sure it's updated. Is it really the IS2 stream? I think it's- I think there's a glitch. But for me, it shows a new thumbnail. I think it just takes a bit to update. But yeah, Dorothy Toko. The coffee cup. Okay, that's so smooth. With like little water droplet scents going up to the side so catchy but yeah we're getting out of the NPC gel with this one <laughs> absolutely oh there's someone running in the background oh nice love song with some good lines it is so good I oh and those horns I'd love to maybe learn this song I've been making notes off to the side a little bit about songs that could be fun to sing someday Oh, Okawari did two songs, both meant for students taking the university entrance exam. Hypergraph tends to release a song for the day of Gao Kao, the Chinese uni entrance, ex entrance exam, which is a super stressful day. I see. How nice of them, honestly. I love how the light is like panning back and forth. Well, that wasn't someone running, that was like a spider. A robot. Dorothy's event was delayed by two to three months on EM. Oh, I see her. Oh, this is so smooth and cozy. Let it linger in your view. Dorothy, the only operator I pulled as a waifu over meta. I don't think you're the only one who's done that, LP. Everything's alright in your star. Are the two songs, okay. I think we skipped every everything's alright earlier. Take a picture, don't forget. Yeah. It's a long stream. Hey, Yash. Yeah, there are a lot of songs. Does the name of Dorothy being forgotten is born? Oh, because of like the delay. Actually, she's both meta and waifu. Yeah, I could practically practically see you putting up your, your glasses red. I think the event rerun comes in the next few days. No way. That'd be so exciting. DJ did the speed of light also, but I like the flower dance most. Not Arc Nights. Oh, I'll have to check out more of DJ Okawari off stream. Well, there's Hussar's song next. Nice nights. Oh, this is such a smooth, cozy song. Dorothy's vision is such an event. Like, it's actually mind blowing. <laughs> Literally. Oh, she's Jerboa. Take a picture. Don't know when you'll be able to see her again. The camera zoom. Oh, the, the sticky notes on the computer. It was always there. But I'm more of a meta player. <laughs> oh, so it was something more for me. And there's the logo from the Columbus organization. I'm a completionist, so I want them all. You're so real for that. You're so real for that, Antika. Okay. I I have to say 10 out of 10 for Magic Theorem. Maybe even above 10 out of 10. I would really love to learn that song. The song is so smooth, I forgot we're committing war crimes. And the next is Enshi. Oh, Ryan Labs. Yes, thank you so much. It feels already so much more somber. Grim, even, maybe. Let's go, shooing, shooing, uncle. 
Oh, the golden daddy here. Oh, this is Minar. I'd recognize that sword anywhere. Neural uncle. Oh, Minar. Not loosening the tie. And again. The singer. The singer is so good. Modern showing. I love the ear. The like percussion after each of these lines. Depression incarnate. Pay attention. Okay. So it is a shield. My soul. Heart and my soul of the steel. So like becoming a defender or a shield in defense of something greater. Like sort of like self-sacrifice. Like no sex. Ricochet right back at me. I could recognize the sword anywhere. Is this a new type of harassment? No. I, I just use minor support unit a lot. Especially in the, the A altar event. So did you pull Typhon yet? Oh, it's next stream. I've used a couple of pulls. I haven't gotten Typhon. But we can use some more if I if I have enough in time. He's Arknight's version of Barry from Pokemon. Oh, oh really? The like, the office worker who's like depressed. Oh, singing about his feelings about the current state of the nights in the Casimirage compared to the past where pride and justice were a thing. Oh. So like how, and in, in Minor's view, society sort of fallen. Oh. Oh yeah, did everybody get Typhoon? <laughs> With that context, I feel like it's like it's like a clash of worldviews almost. Like this older, more seasoned generation or set of generations, and this newer and younger one that doesn't see any problems. And it's like this, this forced goodbye for a lot of people. Sung by Obadiah Brown Beach, who composed songs prior to this, like Palace theme. No way. I mean, triple threat. What can't the singer do? Casimir's capitalism is something. The fight of a radiant night. I learned justice may never exist. Oh. Hey, cute. <laughs> hi, hi. But you got Typhon. Congrats. So, like, Minor's questioning all of this. I once had to fight off a radiant knight. Yeah. Another neural. Does that reference a previous event, maybe? He's a veteran after all. The real knight. Unlike the ones that fight for money and putting on a show. Yeah. Because they don't fight in, like, a military. Exactly. They fight in sports arenas. Like, like, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, yeah, Obadiah is a composer, but also sang this song. The right words are, I had the fight of a radiant night. Oh. That one felt kind of shorter, but, ah, oh, so good. He's an office worker in the past and then changed his job to be, oh, a slave for a, a black company who did lots of war crimes. Oh, Rhode Island. I know I really need someone around. Of strong character and strength. Maybe a certain judge. <laughs> I could see Minor having a partner like Penance. To explain it a little, Neural Alter's name is Neural the Radiant Knight. Yeah. So either Minor and Neural the Radiant Knight had a conflict, or the Radiant Knight is a title that gets passed down, maybe. And it's a reference to that. That was so good though. I'd say like eight eight. Not eight out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. Next to Stainless Heart. Funnily enough, I was listening to Mortal Eye. <laughs> Typhon's theme when I did my pull. Yeah, I have Mortal Eye at the very bottom of this list. But I'll probably... Let's see. I think I'll go another hour and we'll wrap up wherever we are. And I'll save the rest of the songs for another stream. <laughs> but Stainless Heart. Fun fact, Adam Gubman has done songs for both Arknights and Reverse 1999. Wait, so no wonder there's a little similarity sometimes. 
stainless heart. Oh, the little, the little crab. That reminds me of, of somebody. Wait, <laughs> the one that, that like breeds crabs. Oh, this is you. Stainless heart goes so hard. Oh, again with like the screaming. I feel like Ar Arknights really likes its metal. <laughs> really likes its metal and screamo. Oh, have a nice sleep, Ave. Bye bye. Oh, wow. My name is JPVA, also voiced Alkritsuku Amiya. My name is JPVA, voiced Iris Via. Oh, no way. Oh, wow. The like grungy guitar in the background. And the singer is so talented, too. Fun fact our 1999 Project Mode and Arknights players have a mutual friendship. <laughs> So true, red, like a three way handshake. <laughs> no, absolutely. Rebelling against dictators with this one. Oh, he did catch you now for 1999 and Mortal Eye for Arknights recently. Also, hey, Graski. <laughs> Doctor. I really like catch you now, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll be back when someone says Spectre. I don't know a lot about this character's story. It's about standing against the invaders, again like horns, from the simple worker's point of view. Oh. So it's another like Victorian war cry. But it's more like like a lay person, everyday worker. I see, I see. Chapters 9 and 10. Ah, I'll be there soon. <laughs> Maybe not soon, but eventually. Oh, and a regular theme too. <laughs> Regulars. Engineer turned resistance leader. Oh, the little cute pet crab. Oh, it's 10 and 11. I see, I see. TLDR without spoilers. Working class boy raising up to fight against his people. Fight for his people. Why did I say against? So, like, like Alm from Fire Emblem. Or, or like that kind of story arc. I see. Like an untrained person thrust into this role. Seeing what is fighting against dictatorship. Yeah. Which is Laterano? Question mark? Or, or like someone affiliated with Laterano? It's so catchy too. And those animations in the background of like welding or construction. Yeah, Victorian. Someone earlier was talking about how, like, asking if I, if I had to choose between Laterano and Victorian, which I chose. Oh, Castle of the Invaders. It rocks, right? <laughs> no, absolutely, Alexi. I could see people headbanging to this. And, like, those guitar melodies, the, like, constant arpeggios, I think they really carry, too. The background is actually Londinian. Spoilers. Oh, okay. Oh, I asked that. <laughs> yeah, um, the funny stainless theme is called Stainless Heart. The executor Alter's theme is called Stained Coincidence. Oh, called Stained Coincidence, I think not. I would ship it. <laughs> I would ship it red. Laterano is Vatican. Oh, US style. Religions and love guns. I see, I see. And <laughs> sweets. <laughs> I mean, they're so real for the candy. But yeah, this song... I think this song has a lot of desperation. And it's like a cry for change. And maybe even like a rally. Because like you were saying, it's like this rally cry for a lot of normal class workers. Oh, I mean Italian gelato. Oh, I guess... Gelato's good. Have I had gelato? Wait, have I actually had gelato? I think I've I've known people who really liked gelato, but I haven't ever had it before. The gelato shops in Laterano were nice. <laughs> I'd say a solid like eight and a half for that last song for Stainless Heart. And next is Rekenda. Stone and don't don't eat any cactus tarts. True. All these voice, the voices, and how they sound like crazed. 
and like their their melodies. Hope that we get to stay and oh and Missy at the end. I hope so too. What makes you see a blow up for school and a graduation? Oh, that's news to me, PM. Maybe. So this is a queen that's coming back to like a throne, a dark queen, or like evil shadowy. I wonder who Oh, this is a Victorian. Is the siege? A member of Gunlight Giovanni likes it avoid at all costs. Yeah, siege is the um. I love that vocal chanting. It's so beautiful. And it's intimidating too. After chapter 11, I kept repeating this song for two weeks. It is kind of a banger, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, say burr. There's something, oh, the rubble falling too. There's something about like that lower arpeggio of electronics. I thought there was blood for a sec. That orange color. That transition was so visceral. The lioness. Queen of the animal kingdom. Hence Simba vibes. Yeah. The Royal Majesty Alexandria. Siege took a long time to get her own PV. Yeah, wasn't Siege one of the first six stars in the game? <laughs> OEP, yeah. Same VA with Artoria FGO. Oh wow. Siege is very important for the Victoria arc. Okay. I swear I want Siege to at least do an Excalibur and be happy. <laughs> I'll be happy. I'm okay with some like basic spoilers. As long as you don't spoil the end of things. The end of any chapters. We call it Arknight Saver anyways. So yeah. Also, I'll probably forget a lot of this context once I get to it in the story. So so no worries. Alright, wow. Got the chanting again. The drums are building too. And I can sort of hear like some electronic noises below all of that too. I know this like harp or like string playing. I mean she has a sword. Just saying chapter nine best chapter is spoilers. I don't think so, Un. That just gets me more excited for chapter nine. Yeah, right now I'm stuck at the end of chapter six, I think. But I again Derek. Hi <laughs> hi. But yeah, I think, I think I've leveled a little bit more. Oh, and that, the arpeggios. And also how like the rain is falling and the sky is doling again. Again, like a calm after a storm. So beautiful. Oh yeah, of royal descent. I think a PV, one of the PVs we saw, maybe a couple talked about that. And this next one is thorns, <gasps> thorns and you. <laughs> Sounds kind of scandalous. Is this the other thorn song? Time for Texas. Just wait until chapter eight. And the Siege song, maybe like a 7.5. It was pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty good. Yeah, Thorns Aware. <laughs> this is on the official Arknights channel too. Oh, it's altered the... <laughs> oh, this very... Is this meant to be like the mafia sound? Like a jazzy, like a, a gang owned establishment or club, like that trope. I've been stru stuck at the beginning of chapter seven for three years. Oh, that old cook. A cow said scares me. Oh, ice. Also, Slade for real. The disco ball. Texas, the pose. Regulus would love it here. Feels kind of like it's. Oh, Lapland singing. Because of the voice, yeah, Lapland's over behind me, standing in the corner. But yeah, also Texas Lapland, <laughs> so real. Oh, did you go do sentence yet? I don't think so. That's the penance song, penance song, right? I think that's still coming up, Doctor. People can change. I wonder if this is about Texas. Maybe even Lapland, maybe some other people. Siege has a sword and a stone. A sword and the stoned. A lion named Gawain. <laughs> She's Gartoria, but furry. There are... It does seem like there are a lot of references there. Um, I didn't know about some of those. 
Oh, I think there's a JP song where the VAs of Texas and Laughlin sang it together. Wait. I'm, I'm writing this down to look it up later. Because that's just perfect. That's literally perfect. Thorns in you. Oh, that final note was so good. It's also giving, like, detective vibes, you know? Oh, it's called Laters. Okay. The song name is Later. <laughs> nice, nice. There is one. Oh, L.A. Terrors. Okay. It's on my list. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I love how the drums kind of just accentuate this as they go. And can get, like, really intense, like, now. Or just be so quiet that you don't notice. Or you can look up later is later. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Zol. Thanks. Not detective vibes. This is Italian Mafia. <laughs> That's true, uh. But can you also... Can you also not see, like, Professor Layton just vibing to this song? <laughs> yeah, it's like Jazz Club. No, for real. I feel like there's an intersection with, I think, black culture, jazz, Italian culture, and like the stereotypical, <laughs> the stereotypical detectives. <laughs> oh, I think Texas JPVA is an idol. <sighs> no way. That wouldn't surprise me. There are also fan theme songs for some characters too. I should probably look those up. I'll add those to my list of things to do. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Do you like jazz? <laughs> Barry B. Benson. That was, that was beautiful. I think I'd have to say Regulus out of 10. Or maybe like a solid nine. A solid nine. It's show time. It's, speaking of, speak of the devil. <laughs> We're at sentenced. <laughs> it's penance time. According to all known laws of aviation. <laughs> oh. Uh, I think it's the noir vibe. Oh, often included in detective things. It's just in this case, it's shown from the mafia side. Yeah. It's like the same environment and setting. Just a different perspective. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is one of your favorites. My fave Arknight song. I'm so excited. This one's been hyped up so much. Oh, here's Penance. Oh, it's so quiet. But like, the percussion is so good. Huge Evanescence vibes. Oh no, so real, Alexi. This will be a lot of 10. <laughs> As a Persona game lover, jazz is one of my favorite genres. You're eating well today. Any Persona fans, absolutely. I let my morals get diluted. I, I'm getting DK from reverse. Yeah, the lyrics. Endless cannonballs. Surrounded by the gavel falling. Taunting me. I'm the one who will be sentenced. Oh, so like a judge afraid of being sentenced themselves. Oh, like after a deterioration of their mor their morals and and standards. I mean, her name is literally Lavinia Falcone. Oh, oh no, not quite. Imagine being the person of justice yet having oh to serve mafia families. That's the song. My hands are tied by an institution and ruins. Oh, so like corruption maybe. Of course, she's a reference to a real judge. A reference to Falcone, or Falcone. So talking about barely recognizing this reflection and serving someone else, whoever holds power. I love the umbrella pose with the rain. It's giving that one reverse 1999 picture with, with Burton. Gavel falls. Oh. So it's like, not just your morals deteriorating, but like being used 
as other people, as other people's tools to make their bidding, basically. When the criminals write the laws and govern the land, yeah, what is even the courts? No, exactly. I feel like Penance and Light from Death Note would get along. <laughs> They'd get along maybe a little too well. I mean, I'd become, oh, alcoholic like her if I was on her place. Oh, That does seem like a tough fate, absolutely. And now wishing for another life. This is so good. The, like, way... The, the sort of shadowy or... Or, like, levitating. The light background vocals work together. And the organs. It, it, it very much feels like a condemnation. Especially with how much organs have been associated with that in the past. Like a verdict. Fun fact, somehow the law in this Italy is related to Laterano somehow. Oh, isn't like real life Italy sort of connected to the Vatican? So maybe because Laterano was a sort of Vatican for a different sort of religion in Arknights, maybe it's connected somehow to Italy there. The song is her reflecting on how she became a judge to free Syracusa, but ended up having to work for the Mafia family. Oh, to gain influence against others. She got smashed in her new skin. Or was it winter? That's so heartbreaking. Like you work so hard for something all your life and then find out it's all, like you have to make really significant compromises or it's all meaningless or not what you expected. So it's called the law. Oh, so guess because more spoiler. Interesting. I'd give that like a solid eight and a half. I think that was a really... A really good story song. Go my way. <laughs> Vigil's theme. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, the piano already. And is that a vocalist? Or are those horns? I'm liking this. Oh, that is a vocalist. Okay. The moon, the guitar, and the red moon. The transition. Arcanites loves their transitions. Go my way is the worst six star. Old Town Rock, okay, wait, this is not just rock, this is rock and roll. Always give me huge Bruce Springsteen vibes, oh yeah. Why is the rhythm giving me Sweet Home Alabama? I can't unhear Sweet Home Alabama now. Yeah, it's like country rock, and the appearance, absolutely. Yeah, unexpected genre, but we'll take it. I can feel the Italian Mafia vibes. It's so iconic and like distinctive too. Empty castles. I, I need Vigil to get a rework, absolutely. I, why can't you be better, Vigil? These lyrics too. Breaking the family ties to build a home. I imagine that's talking about this Mafia. The organization. Late gangsters vibe, yeah. They're just not weak, is a wolf star weak? Yeah, mafia boss energy. No, absolutely. This is. <laughs> things will finally go my way. This is Vigil, si Vigil singing about finally becoming relevant in the meta. <laughs> also, that, that melody progression, these chords. So good. Sounds country ish. Yeah. It's like a conglomeration I feel of a lot of genres oh it has more biker gang oh I can kind of see that time to make a familia oh and that like the bass notes I hope whenever he gets a module we'll fix him and make him way more viable same same and the camera cut oh yeah a long time on your own unused compared to the other six stars yeah. Do you know that Vigil's pistols are actually just wands shaped as guns? I mean, aren't those just guns with extra steps ice? <laughs> but wow. That doesn't surprise me. Especially if they interact with Laterano. He's rebelling against the whole mafia system, so his theme reflects that. Also, these colors remind me of Texas the Omartosa. I'm assuming that their stories are connected somehow. Maybe even with penance? 
Fun fact, every gun in Arcanine is a wand shaped as a gun. <laughs> Until R6S. Oh. Oh, really? I mean, he's actually good. Having biased detectations thanks to certain slumberfoot owners in Teddy Teddy Water. Oh, it's the same event. Nice, nice. I'm actually really looking forward to that. I think more than just introducing me to characters, this event has gotten me really excited or like reacting to the character songs has gotten me really excited for the events themselves. <laughs> Even if they are older. Vigil, Tex, and Penis are from the same Sura Kusano event. Oh, wow. Okay, go my way. Just because the genre surprised me. Eight and a half for a nine. It was a good surprise. It was a good surprise. Next is Flame Shadow. <laughs> oh, Sira Kusano. Il Sira Kusano is basically... Oh, three people are sick of Mafia. Dry reform! <laughs> nice, nice. Already, more flutes. More like airy vibes. Ethereal. The flame. Oh, Reed's theme. Oh, Reed. He was also from Victoria, right? Fun fact, Vigil treats penance like an older sister or mother. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Lashini. I love this so much. Time for the flame shadow. <laughs> this is a healer, but... <laughs> the, the piano is so pretty. Especially with like the flute and those strings. The little like accents of piano keys. So pretty. Oh, this is the Tara theme. So the other Victorian theme. I see Matasa. The character themes are a good non-spoiler way to learn about the units. Yeah. It's like getting a vibe check. Or like a vague emotional retelling of their lives. I'm listening to the lyrics. The stars are so pretty. This also gives like, like a different sort of battle cry, like a calmer battle cry, like gaining the trust of your people. Oh, Tala is Ireland. Oh, Dublin group is <laughs> the IRA. Reed alters S3 blows up enemies to heal allies. So it, it's relevant to these lyrics. Reed ever garden. <laughs> Oh no, literally. I do see the similarities. They do look similar, Lam. The only thing that makes me excited about events are the enemies. I love this little, like, end our mission part. With, like, the strings. I know the choirs. The choir and Reed singing. Is this Nordak? Maybe it has inspirations that are adjacent to that CA. I think it's meant to be Irish. And the camera zoom, reeds sitting in a chair and a field of reeds, looking into the distance of the reeds. <laughs> and the big lyrics. Oh yeah, they really hit it on the head with the, the reed imagery. <laughs> For real. Aww. It seems like it's giving like a general, convincing everyone else to keep going. Like, like commander, a certain commander from Attack on Titan. Who had a speech. Oh, Victoria, Pascal energy. One of the best casters in the game, disguised as a medic. She finds the powers to help the people of Tata once again in a new way. Oh, it's so heartwarming. Like, literally. And Typhon has the accent to back it up in her English dub. Oh, yeah, I've heard people talk about Typhon's accent. I haven't heard it yet read, but I've heard people talk about it. Other oh, reads. The burning reads in the event were on my phone. Also, high C. There's a heavy arm there. Assuming I'm on the moon. Reed Laushini is going a different route from her sister, Ablana. Oh. I'm curious how these different. These different sisters and their different approaches will mesh together or if they'll conflict with each other. Irish dragon offers you an accord. Young Tarnish. Oh, still, why are the field she's sitting on well on fire? They're, they're just props. This is all just a photo shoot on. I like to headcanon that sometimes a lot of these EPs are like literal just photo shoots. 
Okay. I I think that last one was 9.5 9 out of 10. That one was really good. I think it really grabbed me. I, I loved the way the choirs were incorporated and like the etherealness. Her tidings to weep is next. Once again, chapter nine, the best chapter. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> eventually, eventually. Some more snow. Oh, it's another Chinese New Year, maybe. Or like one of the siblings. And that brass in the back too. Oh, it is one of the siblings. Chong Yu. Big Chong Yu. Big Chong is. Chong Yu is so real. Incredibly real. All this build up. Oh, Thin Tail. Here's a Thin Tail. <laughs> if you're looking for an example, I guess. Big Brother's theme. I love that melody. Again, it feels very, like, traditional and. That flute, that flute though. On top of it. Oh, let's go. The Chinese instrumental is just amazing. Yeah. No, literally. Okay, and those horns. And the way they build. The build and the rhythm and the percussion. That's beautiful. Fun fact Oh, Chong in Vietnamese means husband. <laughs> so some called him husband. I feel like. I feel like I knew that at some point. I also, at one point, knew a little bit of Vietnamese. <laughs> this is some poor lore. I wish they didn't fix his voice that. <laughs> Wait, well, what were they before? Also, this dragon form. I love how the flute is like ascending and getting louder and more intense. Ah, uh, the chords are so good. And the way the, the choir reinforces <gasps> and the transformation. The original Sui name is actually Shuo. Oh, the solo. Okay, thin tail, thick tail. Side by side, we have it now. <laughs> Once and for all. Oh, they can't. They fix. They. Oh, they can't be spam like Saga. Oh. Oh, that's right. They happen less. I think someone was talking about this before. John Maki. Okay, Nadio Nasu survives. <laughs> Nice, nice. And like the sun rays coming through as the music swells. Okay. And the strings. It just keep it just keeps getting brighter. Okay, now the Yonasu suit. Yeah. It's so pretty. And like the different rhythms too. And how they like mesh with each other. You have like the top rhythm that's, that's kind of melody and follows along with the percussion and then like this other off to the side bit here and there ah oh, it's beautiful i like this classic almost stereotypical chinese nature martial arts vibes yeah no for real i think there are really great places for stereotypes and archetypes <laughs> and this is one of them it just fits so well i had to find it I didn't see it for occasions like these. <laughs> the coffee pasta is real. But yeah, it, it feels so triumphant and like at a, at a peak or a plateau looking down on the world. And the flute again. The martial hero of the family after all. I have to learn more about these siblings. <laughs> I have to learn more. I love how young men and young ops have only Chinese instrumental and no lyrics. You know, that's all they need. That is all they need. That, that for me was like, like 7.5 or 8. It was really good. It was really good. Aniki energy. Oh, nice. And the next is Unto the Dust. I think we have time for, we have time for a bit more. Rat next. <laughs> okay. I like this electronic beat already. With like that, that snare. <gasps> and this is so pretty. This looks like the highest quality animation we've seen so far. <gasps> the rat with the bakery. 
This reminds me of Sokka. Is this Sokka? It's not Sokka. <laughs> the rat theme. <laughs> Dumpling is so real. Street corner bop, absolutely. Oh, it's Len. Just look at the two art. Oh, and this like electric beat too. Oh, wow. And the way it changes and evolves for people walking by. <laughs> I like those shadows. Did you know one of the most recent songs released is actually for her father, Altman Kochi? I didn't know that. Wow. Is, is Lin's father also playable? Or just someone who gets a song? Also, this like stringed instrument with the electronic beat feels so good. Staring at you silently, judging without eating. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just wondering while we're here. It's like when you pose for a photo shoot or an artist to paint your picture and you're just waiting for them to finish. <laughs> it's like an action shot. <sighs> DJ called Dewey in the house. <laughs> we're the ones staring. Chat, it's, it's not polite to stare. Oh, an event boss. Oh, another boss theme then. Her father's the Rat King. Boss of the Lungman Underworld. Friend and ally of Wei. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. I think that was revealed in chapter six. I could be wrong. Tell me your ends don't question my means. Wow, that's like a really, what a confident thing to say. Lin's dad is a boss in Code of Brawl. Or is Jay the misunderstood menacing looking friend von Merchant? <laughs> the story is hilarious. I feel like I need to go read more about Jay's story. Chad's told me some about it. I have Jay. Uh, so she's the rat princess. Oh, that makes sense. Pop for a little my F free to play account. <laughs> the sovereign. I would be too testy here. Is there someone in the background, like sneaking around the corner? Chen, best friend. Oh, we look away. Lin is gone. And all the food too. All the food disappeared. Yeah, Jay's story's in the profile. But it means I have to read. It means I have to do more reading. Rap battle with Emperor. Fellow live at Lin Haffers or Invincible. That was very... I really liked, again, the storytelling and the animation. And the electronic beat was surprising and good. I think I'd give it like a 6.5 or a 7. It was, it was really nice. Behind the spring, another spring song. I need 200 trust or something. Oh, maybe that's why. I haven't unlocked all of the story. Don't you hate it when operator clicks start taking shots of you while you just try to eat your dumplings? I mean, the name Click is there for a reason, Alexi. Again, I love this guitar and like the little finger play they have. Code of Brawl is also Bison's Leg Day event. Go oh, is that? I thought that was Aya for a sec. Who is this? Go Pink Bicycle, outrun all of the motorcycle and cars in, in the car chase. Oh, dear mommy. Oh, it's Guibal. The animation is so majestic. And like the music is, it's like this guitar that's like driving this forward, almost a grungy sort of guitar with like an, an airy, raspy, like set of flutes and other, maybe a synthesizer at times. I don't know if there's an electric or like electronic instruments mixed in. Oh, Kubai's theme. Sort of rolls funny. And add the vibes of just another day in Hong Kong. Yeah, just another Tuesday for everyone here. Cue the laugh track. Oh, is she called Chi Yubai? Oh, is it Chi Yubai? Oh, we should only really take 150. That's the new hard pity for non limited banners. Oh, well, those are actually Xiao, Xiao Long Bao. What? Oh, yeah, the, the cue is like Chi Yubai. Thank you so much. And I love how airy and... Oh wow, it was like light for a second too. And then it has this this heavier bass and foundation too. Oh, the guitar. The guitar. 
It's just going off with that same melody. I wonder, also the imagery, it's like caught between day and night. Like sun rays and the moon shining down. So maybe Chiyu Bai is, you is CH in Chinese. Thank you so much, Ahn. So I wonder, I wonder if maybe it's an internal conflict or external, or maybe, or maybe Chiyubai is caught between like two different forces and is a mediator or a bystander. Oh, in terms of story, the dragons of things, things event story invite, invitation to wine is straight up mountainous kung fu hustle supernatural edition. <laughs> that sounds like such a time, Zay. Eh? That sounds like such a good time. That is also on my list. Ah, so many events to catch up on. Oh, Chiyubai has very different meaning. Oh, it's Chiyubai. No, nothing else. Chiyu. Chiyubai. Thank you, CA. Oh, her story is really good. Okay, then. I... Again... All of these characters could be their own protagonists, and they kind of are, depending on the side story. And Chang Yu event had all leaders of Yan gathered in one place. Oh, really? I love how this motif keeps coming back. They're like a low, high, middle. There it is again. And all these like petals and flowers falling. So smooth, and the ending little strum. The 150 pulls only guarantee that the next six stars will be the rate-up character. Oh, you need another six star past the 150 to get her. I'd, I'd say that was like a 7 or a 7.5. Really good, really smooth and relaxing. Definitely on my like, listen to while I work and study playlist. Xiao Long Bao is, oh, a mini bowsy. A meat bun. Oh, but the outside wrap is thin and unleavened, and oftentimes after being steamed, the interior is very juicy and soupy. <laughs> that actually sounds so good, Matissa. Next is a sweet rendezvous. In Arknights, NPCs sometimes have such a great story, they become operators later. <laughs> oh, really? When has that happened? I'd love to know. Oh, who is real song? Never give up. It's just beautiful, and who is real is basically painting back rooms. This is so pretty and cozy. It's giving like, like an island theme. But it has, oh, there's Aya. Oh, oh, this is another Aya song. Cafe vibe. I'm assuming the same artist at the new A altar event themes too. Oh, very dreamy. I think that that word is so fitting. This treehouse is so pretty too. <gasps> Province and Skyfire. Oh, I love this singer. The vocalist is doing incredibly. <gasps> oh, hi, Caboose. Big tail Province. Yeah, there are there are thick and thin tails. Okay. Mofu, mofu. Gold like my aftercloud. I still haven't played through this event with Aya. Oh, the wordplay is so beautiful. I love, there's like this, there are like chords being strummed, and then between the chords, there are like these connecting individual notes. It just sounds so nice on the string instrument. Commercial song vibes. Yeah, it's like pre-order today to get your free 30 day trial of insert some weird medicine our lab has come up with. Studies show that <laughs> side effects may include. No, literally. Absolutely. Absolutely commercial music. Oh, sad fact A is almost deaf. Oh, yeah, not spoiler, she said so herself. No, I think I remember that coming up in the anniversary story. The song is so nice, I could just fall asleep listening. Yeah. I wonder if that respirator means anything. If it's just for like volcanic gas and exploring or if, if that's like another disability. Yeah, yeah, so cute. So many headbats all around. We're getting close to the newest ones. 
We just had to go through six plus hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think I'll take a break at six hours. That's why in the title, it says part one. And maybe by the, the next time we react to operator themes, there'll be some more songs too. That respirator helps, <laughs> helps their hearing. Wait, is that true? You don't know how. I wonder if it's similar to Gav Alters. The consequence of four years of banger content. Yeah, literally six hours of songs. The number of EPs and PVs and collabs, it's crazy. Harvest Moon collab win. <laughs> yeah, we've had Minecraft already in Arcanites. When Harvest Moon. <gasps> Using Project Red's obsession with Robinson's Tale. <gasps> Has that come up in the story? I've seen Project Red like pop in and out a couple of times, Rod. But that sounds like it'd be so funny. <laughs> I think I saw that in one of the PVs, actually. It might be misremembering. Oh, would you pat the province tail? I would. I would. With, obviously, like, with permission. Oh, what's in the profile files? I need to go read these. Hypergriff is actually a music label. The gotcha's just a side hustle. Yeah, what? What game developer releases Chuck's notes 94 EPs over the course of four years? Like, there are legitimate artists and bands that don't release that many. That's so many. And now she likes fluffy things. Oh, and the ending with the, like, the bunny and the flesh. That was super cute. I really liked that. Okay, I'd, I'd say like a solid eight, maybe an eight and a half out of 10. That was really fun. Like airy, floaty, cozy, squad unknown. They can look as well. Or like a music label and a fashion company. Have you, seen, have you seen how many great skins they didn't release? Yeah, Rad, no, for real. And the contingency contract musics are the most insane. So true. Yeah, and that's not even all the songs. You're so right, V2. <laughs> There's so many more. <gasps> Another animation, The Campfire. This reminds me of like the IS2 rest stop. Okay. Again, the attitude in this song is so incredible. It's so fitting. Squad Unknown. Operation Blade is just a fan favorite. They actually sell clothing too. You could actually buy Surter and Lawrence again outfits. <laughs> Bright notes furiously. Oh, Ina's the Horger wife. Oh, this is Ina's theme. Sassy sarcasm of it. I like the clapping and the like, the very personality fill the horn kind of off to the side. Very nice. The I'm going to Evan kill you song. <laughs> I mean, we love the Rage song sometimes. Okay, again, the horns. And the, the vocalist is so good too. Mark Knight's to collab with an IRL fashion brand. I'm still hoping for Red of Avenger to become playable one day. Someday, we can, we can manifest BS. <laughs> we can manifest. The game is a music company slash visual novel with a side of tower defense. Right now you have 15 side defense, 15 volumes you can eat through and read, plus the main story, and then the Entermezzi. Yeah. Though, I will say, the translation team, some of, some of the dialogue is maybe a little longer and wordier than others. But the fan favorite Mark found a family. So Drew, heroin is a spoiler, so I can't tell you about it. Also, this seems like such a great, a great depiction of this group <laughs> and everything they stand for. She said, "Go, if I recall correctly, she just cut her horns to look like a sarcasm." Oh, honestly, <laughs> that that seems very on brand for Inez. The game is like grandma stuff, and you get so much food when you visit. <laughs> and I think that's a good problem to have. Okay. <laughs> Okay, 
I love Dumbledore's 21 OPs again, being just a t-shirt and potatoes peeling in camp. That's right, but some people have a beach skin, a beach outfit that makes them so OP. <laughs> but <laughs> with Double Year, imagine Double Year got like a potato peeling skin that became so meta. Fun fact, we're bigger than the Song of Ice and Fire. Oh wow. The eighth chapter is literally longer in word count than Lord of the Rings or his Hern of the King. Those books are so dark. The Merc X family. <laughs> I mean, Merc family. You don't pronounce the X right. And that's why I haven't gone past chapter seven. <laughs> that's so funny. I love, again, the electronic sound effects. Oh, and bye, B2. Sleep well. <laughs> Please get lots of rest. I. These feel like. These feel like commercials for each of the story events and the characters involved. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was so good. Okay. I'd say it's it's giving like honor not honorary abyssal hunters, but the same sort of connection that a lot of the abyssal hunters have together. Not the same, but similar, like adjacent. Yeah, PVs. <laughs> the newer events are even longer. Yeah, like a good deal longer. And next up is morning dew. Moon with theme. <laughs> oh yeah, how long is Lone Trail? Mumu. Oh, it's so like catchy. I could hear people snapping. This could be elevator music too, or like hold music. You're calling a phone line and they put you on hold. I could hear this fitting. Oh, the first three side events are the year one events. So that's where the iffy wordy translation is. Mansfield break onward is where the reading gets more dynamic. Oh, okay. Oh, also these lines are so good. Tied to the ghost of you. This could be so good to cover. And the piano. Took me six hours to read. I love, it's so simple, the set of instruments. But like that rhythm, it's like a, a train chugging along. Lone trail is longer than near light. Or chapter eight. Oh. I love, I love that melody. The O's. Long trail is currently sitting at the top with 70, 78,139 English words. So many. Oh. No one like me doesn't mean you won't like me. Every doctor's duty is to increase elves' population. For Momo. Oh, because no one's like Momo anymore. Momo actually has feelings. Oh, oh, for the doctor after Lone Trail. The Lone Trail banner is the only banner that I voluntarily skipped. Oh. This song, it feels so, like, idealistic. Like reaching out for something you don't have and might never have, but like you believe you will. Mm. And putting on a happy face too, despite all the doubt you have inside. The last of the water elves. Oh. Lantra was so good that some director of a famous game praised it. Oh, that's right, on. Someone was telling me about this. I don't remember which game. It was like, not Alien Isolation, but, but one of those games. Was that like Metal Gear Solid? Does anyone have the chart that shows how many words there are? <laughs> oh, if you want to send that in Discord, the link is in the description, by the way. I would love to see that. <laughs> or if you have other, if you want to show off your polls or have other memes or advice. Oh, oh yeah, Kat, I think you were the one who recommended Momo's song a long time ago. <laughs> oh, Baldur's Gate 3. That's right, Baldur's Gate. By the way, her JPVA is Theresa Apocalypse from Oh, Honkai 3rd. Oh, and these guitars, the like extra notes in the chords. I don't know if it's sevenths or beyond. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. Oh, and the piano. Oh, this ending is so pretty. Oh, if I can post links, I can show the chart. Oh, I think you can post links in the Discord PM. Or if you just want to tell us where to find it. Morning to you. That was so smooth and cozy. Oh. Nine, nine and a half out of ten. <laughs>
Or maybe even 10 out of 10. Imagine getting the Baldur's Gate characters. A Baldur's Gate crossover? Wait. <laughs> so I think next up, and this will be the last one because we're coming in on six hours. And I'll save the rest of the songs for for the next time. <gasps> Sadly, that includes includes Stand. Or could we could we squeeze them out? It'd be a really long stream. <gasps> okay, dormant craving. Silence theme next. Oh, this almost also feels like like the weird core from before, the funky. <laughs> At first, listen, first impression. I want another tale. I don't care about Baldur's Gate and Arcanites. I want Arcanites and Baldur's Gate. Oh, snack. Oh, the yak theme. Mama Snake. I love the effects on the voice, too. The song changes people's opinions of the whole yak. Really? Instead of singing about our own countries. You the lead I'm so curious. Still don't want to read the name. Yeah, uh, save. Could 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 can mommy <laughs> too calm. Sorry for too unhinged snake lady. Again, this has that flow too. It reminds me of Aya's event theme songs and how like dreamy they are. Though it has like a darker like like the minor key present. Instead of like nature keys. Dark Knight story is so thick now. Oh, but hey, acting tail snake in his son. <laughs> Let's repair the damage. We may have a slight hatred for all Hayak because she denied me FOMO, but I'll say she's hot and her theme is amazing. <gasps> yeah, that's fair, Rad. You know, when you get an unexpected six star showing up and you're planning for someone else to come home. <laughs> I can be kind of rough. Oh. Who am I if I don't live to be the one who goes down singing? I got the electronic undertone and the beats. <laughs> so good. I like the chords too. Oh, it means yesterday. It's not really a spoiler without context. Oh. Korayak is, oh, a Kurkurkan, the feathered serpent deity of. Oh, my own mythology. Oh. I, I didn't realize. Technically an Oliveri and a Safra. Now I want an Arcanite spinoff of Pygmy Logistic Shenanigans. <laughs> As OVA for the real anime. Yes, please. I need to see what the Penguin Logistics are getting up to. I need to see this. More Emperor and crew. I also love how... How Hayok's eyes and some some of the scenery and environment glow as everything else gets darker around. Yeah, the inevitable death is okay theme. Yeah. She's dying due to shortened lifespan, so it talks about passing the torch to you. Oh. So it's like a going down swinging with all I have kind of song. Can you also do the cure to finish off the Lone Trail EPs? Oh, which one's the cure? Is that next? Oh, that is the next. Okay. We can finish with the Lone Trail EP, the cure, and <laughs> and then I'll be back eventually with some more. Arcanites, give me a tail fetish. <laughs> Chad is so wild today. Yeah, okay. Last one for real, for real. The cure. Dormant craving. I'd give it like an 8 or an 8.5. And yeah. Arcanite's design. Angel is so unique with the other depictions. In the other depictions, I'm so in love with this game. And you're so real for that. <laughs> and you're so real for that. Like, I think especially, is it Ambriel? I think Ambriel's like Angel with the shotgun vibe is just so iconic. And yeah. But anyway. Okay. On, on to the cure. <laughs> Silence alters theme about her taking care of Ifred. Oh, the cure. Already we're getting like the synthesizer. And this water. The cure. Executor is the angel with the shotgun. Oh, that's right. Umbriel's an angel with like a rifle. 
executor though. Executor alter though. So like the claps, the percussion seems very unique. And like the, there's a lot happening. Like these pads of the higher and the music. Embryos, the tax evader, the angel with the shotgun is executor. Oh, again with this like dreamy ambient vibe. Oh, but the harmonies are so pretty. Oh, the best one in Lone Trail after Galson. Breathing with the shotgun. Have you gotten the summer embryos again? I haven't yet, Kat, but I'm excited for it. I think I'll start the event in a couple days. I'll stream it and then grind off stream. Oh, Angel with the bolt action rifle. Yeah, the little known remix, apparently. For real, for real. Oh, it's so. It reminds me a lot of like Billie Eilish style, but hopeful. Their arts are literally radar lock. Yeah, this is the last one for the stream. And then I think we'll raid to somebody. Okay, I think I do have a good raid in mind. But, but yeah, if you read the manga, you can see how much she cares about Ifrit. Oh. I have to go back and read like all of the free manga now. Again, how the way the chorus is like filled with all of this and the verse just became so quiet. Oh. The like slow build and like sort of pan of the music and that butterfly animation. Imperial just got her skin in the new event. Yeah. <laughs> and it's free. You can grind event currency but without doing event maps. You're right. Oh, you're so right. I think I have a lot of currency already. I don't have enough for Embryo, but <laughs> I do have a lot. In the manga, they show you why every character close to silence wears one of her feathers in their clothes. Oh, I, I really have to go read this. I've read a little bit of the manga, not a ton. By the way, have you seen the latest TV on Rainbow Six Siege second collab? May I ask your thoughts on Doc? I think I've seen what Doc looks like. I don't know if I've seen the latest TV yet, heavier, but let me pull up a picture of Doc from Arknights. Because, because. Getting some sleep now. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Ann. Please get lots of rest. But Doc is somehow, oh, not a medic. Oh, and that's the end of the song. That was incredible. That was incredible. Peak. It's so peak. So real. That was crazy. That was crazy. And let me just switch everything over. But, wow. Wow. Thanks so much for stopping by. I made it to a thousand today. I really appreciate all of you. You're literally so incredible. So, we'll have more reaction streams in the future with... Arc nights, the concerts, I'll, I need to check some things first. Some boss theme, and eventually the rest of the character EPs. <laughs> Maybe some more things too. Likely to be like Palas and Heal Through Attacking. Oh, yeah. Thanks everybody for stopping by. It was so great to meet a lot of you. Red Matasa. <laughs> I, Selexi. I, I have a raid queued up if you'd like to stick around. <laughs> It's, it's a cozy stream over there, so if you want something to relax and work or study too, then, then yeah. But please take care of yourselves and, and go sleep or do other things if you need to. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with that, thank you so much, Starlight, again, for everything. And I'll see you all star side. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>